All right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Been some time, hasn't it? Hey, Lori, thank you for the five months. Welcome back, Phil. Glad to see you back. Got a fine Clyde plush while you were away. Legit cannot wait to put them in a cool spot in my home. Hello. Hello there, Free Spring. Hello there, Banana Boy. Hello there, Nasbo. Hello there, It's Youps. Hello there, Dashaw. Hello there, Neon the Cartoon. Hello there, Caspas. Hello there, Drew Age. Hello there, Distill Pizza. Hello there, Turtle King. Oh boy. Hello there, Banana Boy. Hello there, Coco. Hello there, Brickster. Hello there, Boogie. Hello there, Noel. Mr. Starry Sky. Hello there, Suki. Hello there, Nutella. Cat. You know, 12 almost. It's gonna be almost 12 months since the streams began in full, so uh, you guys are gonna get your 12-month badge soon. You're gonna get your the rat version, so we're gonna see who's really been keeping up with their memberships very, very soon. Thank you, Jorol, for the membership. Thank you, Unlucky Kitty, for the 11 months. 11 months, and soon I will get that rat badge on the 29th. Hell yeah. Hello there, Potato God. Thank you for the six months. Resident Evil with puppets. It's S tier concept. Oh, I have so much to talk about with this game, by the way. Like, uh, we just started, like, we're starting, like, right away. Because uh, I don't have the hangout spot prepared. Fun fact, for everyone that is just right now tuning in, this is not season four. This is not season three. This is kind of an off-season stream. Welcome to My Friendly Neighborhood. Uh, right now, I am going to be playing this game purely because I want I wanted to play a day one back when it came out. 3.5? 3.5? 3.5? Yeah, I guess you could, I guess you could call it 3.5. It's just an off-season stream, you know? This is this was not like scheduled on the weekend. This is just a random stream that I want to do so I can experience my friendly neighborhood. Uh, for those that do not know what this game is, um, if you're a fan of the channel, you know that I love survival horror, right? And if you're a fan of the channel, you also know that I like mascot horror. This is basically a combination of those two things. We are going to do some Resident Evil-like uh, gameplay, combined with friendly, creepy characters from mascot horror uh, media. Uh, this is kind of like a weird, anthropomorphized, puppet, like... Elmo, uh, Sesame Street, um, the Muppets kind of like uh, ordeal. I've followed this game's development for about a year. Uh, this was made by one of the Szymanski brothers. Uh, I've been following them on Twitter and I've seen all the little snippets of gameplay of this game and it looks magnificent. The reason for why I wanted to play this in the first place was I just saw a gameplay snippet of the player opening up their inventory and it looked just like the Resident Evil 4 inventory. So, this is my shit. Like, mascot horror, the, the trappings of mascot horror, plus the actual real gameplay of Resident Evil, this is my thing. So I need to play it right now, the moment that it came out. I bought it and now I prepared for the stream and now we're doing it. So this is why we are doing a off-season kind of stream. The reason for why I didn't start start on the hangout spot is because I am actually in the process of changing the stream layout for season four. Uh, we are the the reason for why I'm not calling this season four is because between seasons, season three and season four, and between season two and season three, you always have big changes. You always have remodels. You you always have additions, changes, a new look. And I am looking to have a new Phi model for the fourth season. As long as, uh, and alongside some uh, different animations for like the mouth movements and stuff. So we are going to consider this part of season 3.5 or kind of like an off season stream. 
Also, there's gonna be a special event this Sunday with Nick. I'm gonna get absolutely pissed drunk and play some fighting games with him. So that's fight and drink uh, number two this Sunday. But yeah, aside from that, we are just gonna be focusing on this game. Uh, this is my this is my stream. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not playing this for you guys. This is my game. I want to see how this game turns out for me. You know, I am desperate for more good survival horror. And if this has the trappings of mascot horror, which is like another one of my favorite types of horror media out there, I am going to consume this like a rabid dog. I'm sorry. Anyways, I'm gonna read the donations and then just get into the game immediately. Thank you, Katya. It's Samo Teeth for the three months. I'm so happy you're playing this because I'm so getting it. Just saw on Twitter and I can't wait to play it. Also, happy three months, Phil. Happy three months, Katya. Thank you, RTCL, for the six months. Saw that the game is out and I'm happy for stream. Thank you. Thank you, Bricksterman, for the three months. Hello, Phil. How you doing? I'm just chilling. Excited for the game, but I'm just chilling. Thank you, Ace of Space, for the six months. Hi, Phil. Is it a wonderful today in the neighborhood? Uh... If the day includes me shooting puppets in the face, absolutely. Thank you, Coco, for the two months. Spin-off season! Woo! Thank you, M25, for the super chat. This game is crazy. Thank you, Wolf Z Gamer, for the eight months. Let's go. Thank you, Just a Shadow. Thank you, Golden Bacon Little. Hello, Phil. Hello. Thank you, Meredith Lanthier, for the ten months. Welcome back, Phil. Hope you enjoy RE Puppet Edition. I am going to be very judgy when it comes to this game, because I know what it's trying to do, and I need to make sure that it does it correctly. Because survival horror is a very near and dear concept to my heart. Thank you, Werewolf Poison. Nothing to see here for the five months. Thank you, Jassy Boy. Thank you, Sonic Custom Company for the $5. Everyone grab your rubber duckies. This Sesame Street inspired horror game is going to be so much fun. Yeah. Thank you, Jorolol, for the membership. Unlucky Kitty, for the 11 months. Thank you, Potato God, for the 6 months. Hyperfix Ghost. Small Man. Neon the Cartoon, for the 10 months! Wow, 10 months! I finished the Smog 5 plush, by the way. I will check that later after I'm done with the stream. Neon, thank you. Thank you, The Cartoon Dog, for the 7 months. Sea Bass, for the 11 months. Pierre, 14, for the 11 months. Thank you, Nano Abyss for the seven months. Good to see streams again. Thank you. Good fucking luck on Sunday. I will. I will have. I have. I will have luck. I don't have skill for fighting games, so I will just have luck. Thank you. Thank you, Meta Star Warrior Knight. Hi, Phil. Happy to see you back. Thank you. Thank you, Lucifer for the six months. Thank you, Kine Glowstick. Uh, Wandering Rock for the four months. Well, since I've recently got into Hi-Fi Rush, Everyone did you see the script ending? I have not. This Sesame Street inspired horror game is going to be so much fun. Thank Duh. you, Cut. Thank you, Sonic. Uh, thank you, Banana Boy, for the nine months. Nine months! Damn, time flies. Thank you, The Still Pizza, The Doge King, Suki. Uh, thank you, Free Spring. Thank you, M MX Starry Sky, Lori Gitchy. Six, Cursed Dice, Atomic Spark for the membership. Thank you, Louie, for the 11 months. Have fun with this one. Really good. It just came out like a few hours ago. How do you know it's good? I'll have to be the judge of that. Thank you. You got Bare Bones for the $5. Hi, Phil. Hope you're doing well. I am. Thank you, Snowy Storm for the membership. Thank you, King Jason for the nine months. Oh boy, that's a lot. That's crazy. Anyway, I sleep now. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Melon Slice, for the 11 months. Thank you, D Geld, for the 6 months. Thank you, Moth Ghost, for the 11 months. Thank you, Jason Plays. Thank you, Ubi Foss, for the 11 months. Thank you, Purple Max, for the $2. Uh, hi, Phil. Nice to see you back. Trying to recover after Season 4 and buying the plush. Season 4 has still not started yet, but good thing that you're looking forward to it. God, I spent so much money. Also, will you think they're a Wesker-like character in the game? Probably not. It depends. This seems to be inspired by Resident Evil, but it doesn't seem to be bringing a lot newer concepts into the table. We'll see. We'll see. I, I, I've seen some gameplay snippets. I haven't seen everything that has to offer. So I'm not going to be a downer just yet. You Critter Soup for the $5. This is my first time super chatting. 
Hope you're having an amazing day, and I'm so, so excited for the new season. Hashtag bring back PP. Pee PP -pee. is still in here, you know? Like, hold on, let me let me go bring back PP -pee a little bit. Hold on. PP! Ah. Grabbed it off the back on my table. Help, PP! It's still here. He's very cute. I actually want to uh, buy some more PP products, considering that item label released like a big boy, like a few weeks ago. Very excited for that. Uh, thank you, Black Smile, for the super chat. Oh, thank you, Werewolf Poison, for the five pound. First time catching a stream. Can't wait to enjoy. Been ill today, so this will be fun to watch. Uh, you're welcome, uh, Werewolf Poison. Just come on in. Relax and see an idiot nerd out over Resident Evil and survival horror in general. That's about it. That's all, that's all about I, what I can offer you, really. Hey, you Sonic Costume Company for the five months. Hey, Phil. What game do you plan to stream next with Postra? Uh, right now, I just kind of want to wait until games that we're both interested come out. Though I would be very much interested in playing some Hollow Knight Pantheons with him and Azzy. That would be very fun. But that is for members only. Exclusively. Thank you, Happy Frex Goes, for the super chat. Hi, Phil. Excited to be in the cesspit. How's your day? I'm pretty good. Thank you. You could try Tanopia for the super chat. Do you hear them? The rats. They're rattling around being rats. I like rats. They're very cute, honestly. I would love to have a pet rat at some point, it's just that they don't live for very long. Thank you, Jacob Yeki, for the nine months. Hey, Phil, happy to be a member for my ninth month. Oh, you're welcome. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Thank you, Idaho Cool, for the five dollars. Can you play Soul Calibur VI on the fighting game stream? The character creator is amazing. Love your stuff, Phil. Sadly, Idaho, we cannot. We already have a huge amount of fighting games that we're going to be playing. Uh, if you want uh, me to leak the roster for the games that we're going to be playing on Sunday, we're going to be doing uh, Idol Showdown, Them's Fighting Herds, MK11, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and Fighters and Guilty Gear Strive. So that's going to be a lot of games already. Thank you, Hyperfix Goes, for the super chat. Thank you, Werewolf Poison, for the five pound. Thank you, kind of graceful, for the two dollars. Sesame Street gone wild. All right. Uh, thank you, Crown Games, for the super chat. And thank you, Cat Dude, for the five dollars. Hi, fool. Not much to say or give as I need money to annoy a friend. If anything, what month do you think season four will start? What most excited to show? Okay, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna make the f the chat freak out. Uh, right now. So, I know exactly when season four is going to start. It's going to start in October. And one of the first games that I'm going to be playing as a part of season four is going to be Poppy Playtime. So, look forward to that. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy it. Thank you, Vanessa, for the $1. Thank you, Payne, for the $5. Hey, finally got around to seeing you live. I've been watching a lot of your VODs, and you definitely became one of my favorite streamers. Also got the plush. Hell yeah! You guys are going to get the plush also in October, by the way. Very excited for that. I should probably make, like, a hashtag or something so that you guys can share your pictures with the Fi plush. That's... That... The Fi plush makeshift campaign, by the way succeeded beyond my wildest expectations. Like, I want to thank everybody here that bought a Fi plushie. Uh, we managed to get uh, over 750% funded on the goal. We managed to get, like, over a thousand Fi plushies out into the world. It is crazy. Not only that, but Makeship was so happy with how well the five plush is sold that I am currently in talks with them to make more five merchandise. It is not just going to be a different plushie. It's going to be something more special than that. And I'm very thankful to everyone that bought it during the time frame that it was available because right now there's not going to be any more five plushes that uh, to sell. The ones that you guys get, those are the ones that exist. 
So make sure to treasure them, all right? But yeah, good stuff. Uh, we're definitely going to make more merchandise of Phi in the future. But it's the the one the, the the normal Phi plushie. That's it forever. That that those were the ones that got sold. Hi Phil, hope you're doing well. Smile. Hey Barebones, thank you for the five dollars. I'm doing quite well. I'm about to play a game that I've been looking forward to playing for about a year. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. Thank you memes and music for the one dollar. Thank you Vanessa for the one dollar. And thank you Ty's commenting account for the eleven months and Lightning Wolf for the eleven months and Forrest the gamer. All right. <laughs> I want to see Phil get liver failure. Then tune in for Sunday. Because I don't think Nick is going to be any merciful to me again. I have seen nothing at this game. Then you'll have fun, Jorolo. Gonna be raw reactions right now. All right, speaking of which, uh, sorry for stalling once again. I just needed to make sure that everybody got their piece before we started. Thank you, Jack Dam. Big ups to my man for snow. Hey. Love these streams. Thank you. And thank you, Susie Bell, for the six months. Super interested in the recent puppet horror trend like this game and Welcome Home. Excited for how both stories will play out. Mm -hmm, thank mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Something about the main character. It is suggested that he has a broom stash looking at his map icon. Interesting. All right, thank you, Mythical Drawer. And thank you, Nyx Ravenblood, for the two euro. Hey, Phil, hope you're fine and you'll have fun. Thank you. All right, let's actually begin. I think I already got the settings down. The menu is a bit sparse, but... Ooh, okay, I like this. Your receipt. Difficulty survival. I will do a new save. Let's see what we got. Real life it's people. More real than reality. I felt like I was lost, walking through this dark tunnel, and the ground beneath me stretched on for an eternity. Interesting. Felt like I was dying. Oh, <laughs> hello, big man. Look at that disgusting burger. His lane, striking a passenger van that started a pile up, killing seven. In weather, we'll all be sad to see another band of thunderstorms heading toward the city tomorrow night. My friendly neighborhood. I just had this insane sense of of um, emptiness and terror, and I just, I just. I don't care who she sees. We're not even married anymore. She can see whoever she wants. What? So, Ashley, what did you do to end up solving your problem? I ignored it. <laughs> tried to Thank forget. You. I watched television. First time catching a helped? stream. Can't wait to enjoy. Be nil today, so this will be fun to watch. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Phil. What game do you plan on streaming next with Pastra? Hello? Ooh. Select difficulty. A difficulty for normal players. Difficulty for those experienced with survival horror. This will be tough. Can you not for me, bitch? In the fighting hey. game stream, Last the character creator the is amazing. Love your What's stuff, Phil. Aha! Survival horror. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you motherfuckers. There's two thousand people in the chat right now. You fuckers think that this is like a, the next mask of horror game? Psych! You got tricked. This is survival horror. Nice. Fuck yeah. Do you hear them? Ah, uh, the so good. They're ratting around, being rats. Thank you. Work order. A sprocket palm property management. Work order request. Client, City Network Broadcasting Group. Property, 123 Sunshine Sunrise Street. Date, July 8th, 1993. Room and assigned, 
Gordon J. O'Brien. Description of the problem. Vacant studio lot regained power last night and began re televising over top normal programming. The client has requested that the broadcast array on top of the central hotel be disabled to prevent further incidents. Supervision signature J. Note, crewman O'Brien is on probation for sullen and impolite behavior towards clients. Failure to satisfactorily complete this work order will result in termination. All right. Oh, how about you, Nat? Thank you. That's been there for days. Oh, the Hi protagonist food. actually speaks. Not much to say or give as I need money to annoy a friend. My neck if someone. anything, what month do you think season four will start? What most excited to show? This is not how I expected the game to start. I'm not leaving yet. I just got here. Brian? Have a weird start. I disabled the antenna. Oh. The last job of the day is always the worst. <laughs> you don't even know the start of it, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. Finally got around to seeing you live. Been watching Ricky a lot of bots friends. and you definitely became one of my favorite streamers. Also got the plush three. Thank you. Oh, check. Looks like a crank could go in there. This is so weird, by the way, if we are counting this in a, as an official mascot horror game. It's so weird to see the outside of the building. Usually, never see the outside of mascot horror locations. Office. One, two, three. Okay, this seems like a location that I'm actually gonna come back to at some point. Interesting. Oh yeah, that, <laughs> look at that! Look at that survival horror puzzle like indentation. Okay, yeah, this is definitely survival horror. Oh baby, give it to me! Oh baby, oh I'm so excited! Oh hell yes! Hello there, creepy puppet. Oh my god, look at this big fucking door. We got another big fucking door? Seriously? At the very start. Oh, the weirdo. Okay, so, uh, 2,000 people here and counting, so I'm gonna explain. Welcome to Survival Horror. These are gonna be items that we're gonna be collecting throughout the game. Uh, we probably need two of these to open the door to the, to, like, this chapter of the game. It's weird. How are we gonna come back to this later? Big fucking door. Yeah, just like in Signalis. We need to find the big fucking doors. Ah, another one. I guess the outside of the building is the hub world. So we got the aviary. We got building number four. The main building. Office. Public park. Interesting. <laughs> Look at that Resident Evil. There's an elevator. Maybe it still works. Resident Evil ass transition. What is this? What on earth? Ooh. Is this? This is silly as fuck. That's what it is. Did you know there's a Nightmare Before Christmas DMC clone game that's a sequel to the film called Doogie's Revenge? It's baby's first hack and slash. Thank you, Alex uh, Haltem. And yes, I actually have played that one on the PS2. I love that game. Even though I think it's pretty shit nowadays, but when I was a kid, I loved it. Can't do anything with this. So I already got the one half of that stone for the aviary. Okay. 
Hello? The grimmest goo. I think you can so for the two dollars. Raise <gasps> the curtain! Bring up the lights! The neighborhood is coming to town! Is that fucking Arlo? Uh, hello. I'm here to disconnect the antenna. Television's heartbeat has returned. A spirit of cheer brightens every child's eye. The cry goes round the kindergarten class. The neighborhood. The neighborhood. That's fucking Arlo. Okay. I I'm here to disconnect the antenna. I am Ricky the Sock. Your television will never be the same. We hold on. Did you say disconnect the antenna? Uh. Yes. Oh my, no, 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 no. You mustn't do that. That would be a catastrophe. It's broadcasting over the news. The news? No, no, trust me. The antenna is just fine as it is. Doesn't need any disconnecting. I tell you what, you wait here and, and I'll... <clears throat> and I'll... Huh? Huh? I'll get, I'll get you some... <clears throat> All right, Ricky, calm down, Ricky. Oh. <gasps> oh that wasn't pleasant. <laughs> Gonna take a sec. We got a silly little guy. Okay then. That is for building number four. All right. That was special. Gordon saying what everybody is thinking. Alright, so we already know that this is a high-grade Masked Horror game by the fact that we can't fucking jump. Like, you seen this? I'm trying to jump right now. I'm trying to jump over furniture. I cannot jump. You know what that means? That means that I can't just jump over, like, a fence and destroy the game's AI. Every time I play a 3D mascot horror game, you have enemies walking around and, like, coming towards you, and then you jump on top of, like, a sofa, and then they can't hurt you anymore. So the fact that this game does not allow you to jump for no goddamn reason means that it is already putting a lot more thought into the gameplay than most mascot horror games. I know that's a simple thing to praise, but trust me, a lot of people get that wrong. Uh, Mew Super Chats, $5, and says, Hi, Phil. Hopping in and out because of work. Hope this game meets your expectations. It's already doing that. Mew, thank you very much. Norman. Junebug. Leonard. Lianana. Uh, George. I can imagine those will be the main enemy types of the game. This area is off limits. Well, now we know where do we need to go. We need to go to building number four. And they go Pearl, Super Chats, five dollars and says, Phil, I think you're going to like some of the creativity used in, with the Resident Evil inspiration. I'm very much looking forward to seeing what that means. There's also a very specific some very specific movement movement details that I want to bring attention to. Hey, what the fuck? That? Walking puppet. There's some specific movement details that I want to be bring attention to. If you move left, right, or uh, back, you walk a lot slower than forward. You know why that is? It's because in original survival horror games, you were supposed to use tank controls. And in tank controls, you could only move forward fast. You could move side to side or back fast. So this is emulating survival horror movement. I'm sorry, I'm already geeking out about survival horror. I shouldn't be doing that. Anyways, let's use the key card. Nothing. Nothing. My friendly neighborhood. First broadcast. The City Tribune, Saturday, November 9th, 1968. Television's friendly new neighbor. Review of My Friendly Neighborhood by Richard Lightsbury.
This week, I saw the premiere of a new series on the City Network aimed at a preschool-aged children, My Friendly Neighborhood. The show centers on the titular Friendly Neighborhood and its resident puppets who, with the help of adults like Stevie, teach viewers about a variety of subjects including numbers, letters, and how to be a friendly neighbor. The show's catch-all term for age-old lessons about caring and sharing. While adult viewers may find their messages trite, children's hearts are captured by the neighbors. Each felt Purple becomes a beloved friend, whose words are hung onto with trust and devotion, rarely seen in older audiences. Previously aired as Ricky and Friends on independent public access television, the series and creator Al Gerswald were recently signed by the City Network Broadcasting Group and production moved into the historic City Network Hotel studio on the west side. Their move into the big leagues of broadcasting is accompanied by... Text is illegible. Right. Why is everybody saying men? Men. Hello? The Shadow Sapphire. Everybody freaking out about men. Thank you, Snake Bed, for the membership. Thank you, Awesomeus Alex, for the 11 months. Shouldn't be geeking out, bro. Geek out as much as you want. That stuff interesting. I better get a gun. Hello? Is anyone there? Just kind of chill up to be a friendly face in the background. Sometimes I get some clients. All right. Well, we should not get close to that. Need to get a gun before we do that. What the heck is going on here? I know, right? Let me test it out. Can I actually get close to this guy? I'm a really normal guy. I just kind of chill up to be a friendly face in the background. Sometimes I get some fine. No, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get. Yeah. I'm gonna caution already. Stay back. <laughs> He's so silly. Let's be excellent. Oh, we can go through here. Nice. So the puppets can't go through doors. Gun. There you oh. are. Now don't toddle hey. off again. I've got Thank some you. snackaroos waiting back in the lobby. Hey, Unity what's going Unreal on here? Engine. Your puppet also, friends are attacking. please keep oh, peeking out. I they? love it. How embarrassing. Definitely By Unity, way, Hyper Fitz Ghost. Your name? What? Your name, your moniker, your handle, your nom de plume. Gordon. It's Gordon. Gordon? What a beautiful name. I could hmm. say it all day. Gordon. I want Gordon. to shoot this fucker. Gordon. Is this a gun? Does it work? Oh my, that's where I left that. I was looking for it. Oh, oh, Get the fuck off me. Get the fuck off me. Ugh, fine. If you're gonna go gallivanting all over the place, then at least watch out for Pearl. Pearl? You know, the enormous bird. Big that bird? Crushes people. Ugh. Don't get on her bad side, is all I. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Yeah! That's the spirit, Gordon. Alright, alright, alright. Starting immediately. I don't have a reticle. Okay. Oh! I don't have enough bullets for this. Okay, we going, we going, we going, we going. Can I pick up the letters? No, I can't. Let's go. Shit. I'm already at red caution. I mean, red danger. I 
I like to start with pipe cleaning. Oh god, this is another guy. To make shapes out of. I'll make triangles and Coin. squares and circles and patch them all together. Then the fun part starts. Take your closest friend and separate all of their Red the light, green light. Based on color. This yeah. Will be what you make your crafts out of. I like to use Norman because he has all sorts of oranges and reds I can use. Now I start patching my pile. Fucking creepy, okay. <laughs> you look. Is that an upgrade? Let's continue. Of? Triangle. Doors locked. All right. Can we have a map or? There we go. Half of a medallion. Yeah, this is the Resident Evil inventory I want. Even the key items get Who sorted onto the inventory? A bunch of puppets or a war veteran. War veteran's gonna kick the shit out of these puppets. Let's just try not to take damage for now. So it seems that the enemies have about three three attacks on you until they put you at red, which is fairly generous for a heart mode. <gasps> Gimme! That is not an upgrade, that's just a magazine. You can use health Olax to restore health. Press tab to open up your inventory. Yep. And use. That is not enough, but I'll take it. About time, my friendly neighborhood needs more love. Interesting. Uh, exit Main Street. The neighborhood is having an outdoor b bazaar. Everyone is lining up at Leonard's antique display to try on a beautiful pair of earrings. Pearl enters, sees the earrings, and cuts into the line, pushing Li La Liana out of the way and causing a commotion. Stevie, standing up from the bench. Pearl, that wasn't nice! Pearl sheepishly glances around at the others, who are all glow glowering at her, and hunches back in shame. Stevie says, You can't just push people out of the way to get what you want, Pearl. It's more friendly to think about what other people about other people first. Do you see? Pearl shakes her head timidly. Well, maybe this will make it clear. Song, put another before yourself. Put another before yourself. Before you go, see if someone needs help. For episode 16. Interesting. So this is our inventory. Can we... Uh, check our notes, maybe? We cannot. Ew! Thank you. What will this do? Old, but still usable roll of tape. I use this stuff every day. Hmm, wonder what we're gonna be using that for. I want to get a map of the area. The mail comes every day. I look out the window waiting for the moment it appears. And then when it does, I rush outside to see what I got. <laughs> what a goofy little guy. Sometimes it's big boxes. I don't have a reticle to be able to aim. Can I fix that? Controls, camera, reticle assist. There we go. That's much like, much more like it. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoying the neighborhood, Phil. Absolutely. Press left button to swing the wrench. It's locked. Shit's locked. Oh, I can just shoot at that. And thank you. Blue circle key. We got a wrench. Are we able to, like, equip this fast? Can we fast? Okay, we can switch between. Very nice, very nice. So this is our melee weapon, and this is our main gun. Let me guess, I need a, bl I need a red diamond key for this. What about the map? There you go! 
<laughs> Look at this. It even has like all the all the doors that are locked. Thank you. Very nice. Umbrella Corp found Sesame Street. Oh no. Thank you, Ashton Miller. Sleeping can be the best part of your day. I always start by getting ready for bed. First, I get my PJs on so I can be warm and comfy. All I'm gonna destroy you with math. Next, I have a friend. <laughs> if you all right, that's not enough. When enemies are knocked over, you can tape them. Look at that enemy and press E. Oh my god, they get back up. Fuck you. Ernie, is that you? I love that you shoot letters at people. There's so much heal? Yeah! You've been healed! Considering seeking asthma treatment, you should get more exercise. <laughs> Very nice. You. Is this a safe room? You feel love your content. Fire 100. Thank you, DT Gaming. Listen to the safe room music. Yeah! Public safe station, $5. Oh my god, you need to pay them with tokens! I had one token, I had five cents. And I could choose between healing and saving. That's fucked up! But cool, okay. But now I can save. Yes. Sound stage map. Press M to open your map. Hello, baby. Oh, absolutely. Where am I here? I am right at the bottom right. I have to explore this a lot. And let me guess, this is the item box. <laughs> and this has tokens in it. And has magazines in it. So... There is no reason for why I should have the tokens in my person. Because the only things that I'm seeing are used, uh, tokens are used for, are healing stations and save stations. So I'm going to save my tokens and put them over here. Uh, order this around a little bit. Key items are also part of your inventory, which is... Interesting. Usually you don't get, uh, games like this don't usually put key items in your, part of your normal inventory. They usually put it in a special inventory. So that is going to be interesting to play around. I will not. Let me stash this key card over here. And we know where this will go, so we're going to stash it as well. We're just going to be exploring around this location. All right. Let's go. Hey, Kako, how you doing? I'm playing the puppet game. How close can I get to these assholes before they notice me? <gasps> Blue key card. I mean, uh, blue key room. Is it still in my inventory? It is. Oh, okay, 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 get, get the fuck out! <laughs> yeah, so you can get fairly close to them before they notice you. That's tasty. Please don't tell me that alerted anybody. Nope. Seems alright. 
extra noses, patch patches and stitches, googly eyes. Uh, thank you, Jay the guy. First time donating. I will join the toxic cesspit soon. My goose man. Thank you. Educating the world. This was in 1983. So about 10 years ago that this place got abandoned, I think. Wet parts do not touch. Don't say it, chat. You're better than this. Secret. I'm the cheat tape. I'll make triangles and squares and circles and patch them all together. Then the fun I wish that the map was bigger because I can't zoom in to check what I want to check. Alright, so. Oh, I have not found everything in this room. Interesting. What else is there? Fuck! Okay, yeah. It's taped shut. Well, I need some scissors. I love doing that. Come on, chat. Calm down. Calm down, chat. Let's see if we can... Shut up. Let's see if we can, like, circle around this motherfucker. Oh! Okay, they're fast. Excuse me, sir. Passing through. Take. Excuse me. Take, take, and get the fuck out. Fuck. Get the fuck out. She's crazy. Wee-oo, 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 wee-oo. Is it locked on the Rhine? Good. I cannot tape them. And there was nothing here. That was a waste. Shit. That was a total waste. Go back, Phil. I will, I will. Calm down. Just need to check. Nothing here. Yeah, yeah, we, we've completely mapped out this area. Yeah, this is all green. Thank you, Jorolol, for men. Thank you, Purple Max, for... Shut the fuck up! Shut! Shut! Shh. Shh. If you can draw, you can do Shh. more. Bitch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing over there. What Shut it! You? I guess they're immortal puppets, so that's why we need the tape to be able to contain them. Go. Silence, wench! Alright, we're back in here. So, that was basically the tutorial for what we should expect. Nothing out of the ordinary. We can use the blue key over there. Perfect. Let's try that out. Oh, big area. This must be one of the old sets. I am not ready for this. Let's check uh, this area out before doing that. That is a lot. 
Yeah, there's nothing here. Right, I'm a stupid idiot. Yeah, everything in the VIP dressing room. Always oh, need to go in there. Okay. Everybody prepare. We might die over here. There's a lot of enemies. Maybe just try to, like, stealth around them. They're surprisingly fast. They're very goofy, but if they get near you, they will fuck you up. Okay, we can get some coins over here. Square key! Shit. Locked. They're so crazy! I love them! They're so fucking crazy. Very good, very good. Don't get tired of waiting for your coffee to be cool. Don't get burned. Why sip when you can zip? Can you count to nine? Nine out of ten doctors recommend health olax. This is some Bioshock stuff. Hopefully I can get inside the square key. Yeah, square key room. Good. What the hell is that? Oh, that's scary. Okay, uh, that's... I don't want to get near that. Opila bird doesn't have anything on that motherfucker. Big bird. Snipe him. I don't want to get near that thing. <gasps> Holy shit. It sounds like a puppy. Holy shit, look at that thing! I don't think we can kill that! Oh my... That's fucked up! I, I'm just listening to what they're saying. I know, right? I just... I just started to pay attention to what these guys are saying. That's fucked up. Okay, I have to fight this guy. What are you doing, buddy? Good. You guys take a lot of damage, you know that? I think I think he knows that. Orange square key and magazine. That just about made us even, I think. Hey, typical Freddy. For the, thank you for the four months. Welcome back, Phil. I love the, the little letters just strewn about the environment when you shoot at, at them. That's adorable. Oh god, the bird is right there. Can I see my inventory before we head out? That is the orange square key. Are there any orange squares on the map that we need to go through? On the flower shop? There is... Nothing here. Oh my god, look at that bird. Yeah, okay, nothing. That is so fucking weird. Go to the flower shop, flower shop, flower shop, flower shop! Where is the square key? Unlock. Letter block. And a... Token. What is this block? 
A wooden block with letters on both sides. What is the other letter then? X and N. Obviously a key item. Can we increase our inventory? Or is this just the amount that we have? No, that is not a weapon, that is a key item for sure. You get Ultima Wolf plays for the three months. It was late! Also three month badge, nice. They're driving me fucking crazy, by the way. Like, I want to kill them all. Thank you. I don't have a, I don't have enough ammunition to be able to kill them, but ah, oh, they make me want to kill them so badly. Pizza, nice. It's pizza time. Right. No idea what that means yet. Uh, Cup of Tea has been a member for 11 months and says, Bit late, how's the game so far? It is excellent so far. It's starting off slow, but it's introducing its concepts masterfully. Also, look at that big bird. Opila bird ain't got nothing on that. Ah, fuck. Let's see what this has in store. Wait, there's another part of the pizza shop? Hold on. No, this is just towards Main Street. Okay. Uh, Phil, I saw a cabinet in the streets with a fish on it. Maybe, so maybe the pizza clock works with it. Let's see. Hope that you're right. Hope that you're right, because these guys are like... Getting a bit rowdy. Oh, we have to use it on this. N. Where's the fish at? Oh, this was the fish door. Thank you. Very good. And if I close that, it closes over there. Yep, perfect. Do you guys see any other doors like that that we can use? I don't see anything over here. These guys are driving me crazy. Oh god. Really hope that thing doesn't come over here. Yay! Oh, I need that I need that block. Is it gonna alert everybody if I just start shooting at this guy? Oh, maybe I can uh, talk to my my echo. Hello, welcome, welcome. Grab no <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh boy. Why don't we keep hanging out together? Ah shit. Uh, I wonder what happens when I scream. Oh. Where are we starting? Where are we starting now? Everybody run. <laughs> Nothing to heal. I love the one the one puppet screaming, We're all friendly! Alright, calm down. Hello, hello. Good. Is that a new type of ammunition? Shells. So this thing is gonna stay there and eventually get up. Hopefully I don't come back through here. <gasps> so silly. I love this. This is so silly. 
Okay, bird is leaving us alone for now. And I just did a loop around to this area. Anything special? There's no handle on this side. Fuck. This area should be officially done with, right? No, there's something in here. What could possibly be hanging around in this area? Maybe in the back over there? I hate, I hate those bird noises so much. I hate them. I hope they burst into fluff with the shotgun. Oh, if I could just gore them. I would love some puppet gore, not gonna lie. And that is clear. Very good. I don't think this game is capable of doing puppet gore, but oh man. We're gonna leave this in here just in case. I love mushrooms. They're the best. <gasps> What's the vision cone for that? God! <laughs> 22 bullets. Yellow caution. I want to learn more about this world. I need that. I need the red diamond key. Thank you. That is very much appreciated. The tapes are very rare, it seems like. The duct tapes, I mean. A, B, C, D. I'm trying to find as much duct tape as possible, and I only found one, which was like the tutorial one. So you have to be able to choose those very carefully. Alright, time to kill a puppet! I love- I love their voices so much. They, they make me giggle. They're so cute. Very nice. Do you think I should save right now? I have a lot of tokens, but... I think I can handle it. Wait, is the bird an insta-kill? If the bird is an insta-kill, then I may want to save. Yeah, I can hear the bird outside. Love the save- loving the save music, by the way. Can I turn up the music? No. Let's organize our inventory and then save. I have shells, but I don't have a shotgun. I'm gonna stash those. I still need the keys just in case. The duct tape is very useful. Stash the money. I'm gonna use that to put on the plaza. And I'm gonna move this into my inventory to save. Phil, I had to come back to like that apparently one of the things Hello there. they showed after taking over the broadcasts was canonically puppet cannibalism. Jesus fuck. I wanna see that. I would tune in to see puppet cannibalism. Seems the item box is not even like limited. Alright, we're gonna stash this and use one of these to save. We're not gonna heal. I love that these... You can choose between healing and saving. That is brilliant. Thank you. Puppet cannibalism. This is what happens when you leave your puppets unattended for... two seconds. They start eating each other. Alright. Where shall we go next? 
We need to continue exploring the main building in here and go into the courtyard on the right. Bought it. Puppet Vor. This is Neon the Cartoon's personal nightmare. Hey, boo. Thank you for the five months. This Christmas stream is brought to you by the letter, letter T for Toxic. Hi, Phil. Nice to see you hyped for this game. Probably gonna play it after work. You should. So far, it's pretty nice. Uh, anything else in this building? Yes, we need to open up this door. Maybe I can find the diamond key on the courtyard? I'll have to go out, though. Hell. Thank you, Dandy Doodle, for the nine months. Hi! Hello there! <gasps> the bird is there. What is the bird's cone of vision? Alright. It looks like it's for the male. Yeah, no shit, Gordon! Hopefully she doesn't scream. Go 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 Oh, I needed the onion for this. I knew there was one more. Think of purple mats for the two dollars. Here's a nice puppet fact. Big Bird was supposed to go on the challenger. Yes, the challenger. But he didn't do to his size. In another universe universe, Big Bird fucking died. Big Bird fucking died. Got that. Ah, shit. <laughs> Wasted one bullet with that. Yo, fucker! <laughs> Fuck out of there! I love it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but come on. <laughs> what are you doing there, buddy? You okay? You okay? <laughs> when you nod, but she keeps sucking. What a silly little guy. Oh god, he has a thing in there. This is literally me. <laughs> Oh, fuck! Grab it! Grab it! No. <laughs> Stupid puppet. <laughs> I love this game. So fucking silly. By the way, I that's extra funny because it's a survival horror, like, cliche to have a monster pop out of a bathtub when you drain it. That's like, that's like a fucking stupid joke, like a stupid reference to most survival horror games. It's so fucking stupid, I love it. Uh, that's a, I fucking love this game. This game has personality. Okay, so... That is... Pepperoni. So we need to open the pepperoni and onion doors. That is so silly. Detour. M. Tubula Throwdown. Best survival horror game for 2023. Dude, you do know that. Ooh, oh. oh, that thing can look into windows. I'm not safe here. Dude, you do know that Resident Evil 4 Remake came out like. This year, right? Like, this game is cool, but it's nowhere near Resident Evil 4 Remake, I'm sorry. Well, do you do when you get upset? Mm -hmm. you get 
All right, fish. So fish, pepperoni, um, what else? And onion. Jesus Christ, woman! Jesus! Jesus! The dialogue is fucked up. I love it. And she's just crying now. BPD, motherfucker. Alright, so we need to open fish, pepperoni, and onion. And to do that, we're gonna need to come back to this place like three times over. Oh boy! Bipolar puppet. Oh, this is gonna suck. Where is the pizzeria? Yeah, same. Relatable. Oh, man. How, many, how much dialogue do these puppets have? Okay, I'm gonna have to come back here a lot so this thing dies. Permanently. Die! We're gonna have to tape this one. So, we are going to come back through this location like three times over. So this thing needs to get taped up. So that we can save on resources. Hey Sora, thank you for the two dollars. I'm at work right now, so I couldn't be here at the start of the stream. Neither can I stay for long, so how's the game so far? It is exactly what I wanted. It is silly survival horror. This game is silly. Very good. I approve. I love the silliness. Puppet bondage. Yeah, exactly. Oh my! Okay. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Run. Ah! Ah! Ah, what's a waste? Fucking run. Ah, shit. No, you're not. Stay away from the children, you fucker! Yeah, these these guys are fast. Yeah, see here. If I hadn't taped this guy up, we would have had to dealt with deal with him again. So it's very good that we did that. Keep her out of the kindergarten. All right, so now we need to take care of pepperoni. Yes. Oh shit, we need to actually solve the puzzle here. Yeah, okay, we have that already. I just need to get the resources from the other boxes. Did we alert her? We did not. Good. What if we go over here? Okay, the bird is gonna come up soon, so we need to get out of here. Love how that puppet that just chased you is just an average TikTok influencer. Green hair and pronouns? I already went through here, right? Sorry, I need to double check. Welcome. <laughs> yes, I went through there. <laughs> I did. I did indeed go in there. <laughs> How dare you jump scare me, you asshole! 
Alright, we need one more go around. <laughs> that faker! Alright, now change it to the fish, and let's do one more go around. Hopefully the bird doesn't get us. Ah, fuck! Oh no! Don't look behind you! Just keep moving! Just don't look, don't, don't look, don't look, just keep moving. Keep moving. Don't worry. There's nothing behind you, Phil, just keep moving. I fucked myself. <laughs> uh, you know what? You give me a lot of trouble, so you get taped up. The fish door should be around here. The physics are so silly. Glasses? Glasses with some plastic eyeballs on the back. Are you sure those are plastic? Hmm. I'm not sure, man. My favorite music. Alright, now we're gonna go back to the main plaza and solve the puzzle. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Shut up. Few bugs is to be expected. I haven't seen any bugs so far. I've just seen janky physics, but that makes it, like, funnier in my opinion. Alright, let's solve the puzzle. N.P. Ne... Ne... Neighborhood. Neighborhood. Neighbor. A letter that came out of the machine. Obviously put it on the... Box. Yeah! Maybe this unlocks a different part of the studio. Thank you, Gordon. Very, very, very smart. What does this unlock, though? A weather-worn crank. Looks like it was used somewhere outside. We're gonna go on the outside, boys! Alright. Anything else uh, remaining in here? There is a red... There is a red diamond key that we need to use in here. We don't have it yet, though. We need to do something in the dressing room that requires a... Scissor? And we have something missing in the stage for atrium. Prop department... Has something in there. <laughs> And what else is missing in here? And apartment number three has something missing. But that's where the guy is. Well, well, well. It's time ah, for completionist's sake, let's go to apartment number three and see what's up. Nothing over here. Nice! Good. We're gonna have to kill that guy, by the way. In in the bathtub. Just kill them all. You could TNM18 for the super chat. You could Darich Linton for the $20. Jesus, man. <laughs> Back in, there you go. Eh, it wasn't that important, but completionist's sake. For completion's sake. Yep, uh, we have the entirety of 
The main street completed. Very nice. Let's get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of this nightmare. TV nightmare. Do I have to kill the bird to get the diamond key? Hopefully not. Fuck out of here! We are going to go outside. I sort of a puppet backflips again. I'm gonna start wheezing. I love how violent the physics are. Like, like if you really wanted to make it like realistic, I guess you could like tone down the physics of the puppets. But no, keep it that way. Keep it that way. It's fucking hilarious. Being wanting to send you money for the past month, but never made it in live cause of work. I got paid today. You deserve it. Thank you, Linton. That's very much appreciated, man. What is missing on the scene stage? Thank you. No more money. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Linton. Uh, if if you're short on money, please don't donate to me. It's all right, man. I very much appreciate it. And it's night. All right. We're properly beginning the game. Oh, let me guess. I have to go there. It's time to fix. I don't know what that means, but we'll try it out. Secret entrance. <laughs> Got it. Got it. There we go. <laughs> what do you expect, Gordon? Well, no getting back up that way. Oh, we're in the main game. A, B, C. One, two, three. That's copyrighted. Fuck you. Gmod physics are funny. Yeah, like, please don't tone, tone down the physics. I want it to stay exactly like it is right now. Lock from the other side. You're in the demo. Demo time. I have not played the demo. Your clip has 26 slots because it's the alphabet. That's perfect. Oh dear. Hey, Ricky. Oh my. You seem to be stranded in the basement. How do I get out of here, Ricky? Oh, haven't a clue. Never come down here myself. Why? What's got your overalls in a knot? I'm trying to get to the roof. The roof? <laughs> What's so interesting about the room? The room. Down here's much more intriguingly musty. Unrelated, how do you feel about blood force head trauma? What is it this time? Well, Ray, of course. He's the best sort of monster janitor thing. But he's a little obsessed with uh, organic maintenance. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Out of pipes and clobber people with his wrench. Great. Are all of you puppets crazy? Yeah, pretty much. Well, Ray has always been a little grouchy, even before the shutdown. That's why they moved him down here. Only way out is by elevator, and he can't figure out how to use the buttons. Elevator. Got it. Oh, silly me. I forgot about the elevators. <sighs> really, Gordon, I wouldn't bother. The cables are probably rusted. I don't think they even... I like your more. live streams, I'll and you help chance. get through a tough time wow, in my life. So Thank you, Linton. And stuff. Look, I gotta go... Wash my hair. You piece of shit, Ricky! Give me a mirror. I know, Gordon. Gordon doesn't seem to be the type that watched much television when he was a kid. Television will rot your brain, Gordon. The City Tribune, Friday, February 4th, 1972. War is over! After 20 years of fighting, the city government has finally declared a complete withdrawal of troops from the northern continent, called the War of Horrors. The conflict, which mainly involved guerrilla confrontations in the rainforest, resulted in almost 100,000 casualties. Unlike previous homecomings, veterans returning to the city's main docks were booed and hissed, reflecting the negative attitude of many adults towards those who volunteered to serve in the war. Hoping to protect their home, but 
and the eyes of the public, helping to perpetrate these horrors. The Northern War was also, has also been called the first war fought in the living room, due to the televised newsreels that kept civilians at home up to date with events overseas. Interesting. Where is that gonna fit into the story? Sora Studios donates two dollars and says, My break is over, but this game looks absolutely silly. Have fun, I'll draw something later, probably. Thank you, Sora. This game is absolutely silly. You've been appearing in my recommended since security breach. Hmm. Honestly, don't blame you if you don't want to touch the DLC. I don't want to. Thank you, Ghosty. Oh my god, look at this environment. I don't have a map of this area. These fuckers. <gasps> We're gonna get this key now. Very good. Out of order. Sip sap, here comes the signals. Oh, now I understand why you why you fuckers are saying men. Okay, I get it. You guys are obsessed. Jesus. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hello there, baby. Let's get writing. <laughs> That's a shotgun. That is a big shotgun. Hello there, baby! I'm to Papa. I like that the amount of letters is indicated by the the you letter at the top. To some of Norman's voice lines, they're some of the best in the game. Thank you, Ridge Edges. I'll do it after I finish. This, uh, this is payday. Hank's inventory diary. I was hanging around the office last night to keep the pipes from freezing, so I had time to work out the kinks on my latest project. The output is pretty flashy, but it uses up a lot of letters, so I'll need to conserve ammo. Hank. Let me guess. I need the... Yeah, I need the shells for this. Should have brought it with me. Cool guy, Nikola Tesla. Look at that dreamboat. He was probably racist. Studio rules. Be friendly to your neighbor. Keep quiet on set during filming. With... Ah, uh, it's too blurry for me to read. Token. Shells. Nothing else. <laughs> Thank you. All right, this is gonna be our main workhorse weapon Hello, for the Phil, day. Happy spooky time. Thank you. I'm already planning and making stuff for a scream theme to my bedroom window. My hands hurt. Good luck with that, Jack. Out from the other side. We are gonna save the shotgun until we get enough ammo for it. But this is gonna be the thing that I'm gonna be using. Whenever I need to take care of a problem. That is creepy, actually. I need bolt cutter. Bet your ass this is gonna be bolt cutters, by the way. For some reason, every survival horror game out there needs to have a door that needs to be taken care of with bolt cutters. It's a rule. The bolt cutter rule. Ah. Fighting with them doesn't seem to alert the others though, which is nice. What is this? Hello? Oh! <laughs> Fuck out of here. 
What is what are these things? Because I'll find out later. Rat! We fixed it. <laughs> a lot of nonsense over here. Oh, we don't have a map. I need a map. Give me a map. Give me a map. Need that map. Oh! <laughs> don't worry about that. Thank you. The war is about is the Vietnam War, which ended in 1972. Many people thought America and other armies shouldn't have joined in, hence the booing. Right. Looks like it came off a plug. Ain't gonna do anything by itself. Star shape in the back. I don't think I needed those glasses. I need to find a I need to find a safe room. Really bad. Why is there an X at the back over there? Fuck <laughs> it! <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> you puppets are very silly today. You puppets are very silly. You fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. It's locked. <laughs> oh, that made me actually kind of jump. Being very silly today. Hey, Sir Kukagi, thank you for the five dollars. Hey, Phil, about to head out to work, but wanted to give you a little something. Thanks for being entertaining. No problem, thank you. The City Tribune, Thursday, August 16th, 1973. The Puppets Pirate Cove. Pirate Cove! A triumph for the family. As the My Friendly Neighborhood franchise grows, it was inevitable for Gerswald's precocious puppets to make the move to the big screen. Fortunately, their first outing is a appealing to more than just the younger crowd. Everything from the sumptuous sets to the scintillating score brings the swashbuckling spirit into the theater in a way that both children and adults can appreciate. The plot centers around a young lad named Clark, who sets sail with the puppets in search of treasure. They soon, however, discover that the terrifying Captain Crocodile is in control of the ship, and it's up to Clark and his plucky sea hand friend, Ricky, to... Continued on episode four. Interesting. Oh, these guys are gonna wake up by the time that I return here. Phil, hear me out. Phi puppets. A hand, a phi hand puppet would be interesting. I don't have anything to open this up. I think you're knowing Brad for the four months. First stream I've watched in a while. Hey, you Phil. Hello. Glad to see you here. Can't really climb up, sadly. That bitch has a big, wide cone of vision. Phi hand puppet would be very interesting. This is not a safe room. Why am I going here? Yep. Alright. What do we need to do with... This metal piece? Let's find out. Let's go back to where Ricky was and see if we can open that door. Shut up. This one is slower. Seems like the slower they are, the bigger their vision cone is. Makes every enemy kind of unique in a way. The one problem that I have with like most mascot horror basic enemy. Whoa! Okay, uh, rem remember that l for later. 
I think. Remember that for later. Yeah, the only problem that I have with, like, basic mascot horror is that... Thank you. There's not much variety in the main enemies. Really cool to see this you playing cool. this game. I've been interested since the demo came out. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you, Xerox. I'm gonna have to go through here a lot, so this bitch is gonna die. <laughs> Get that in. Yeah, so this puppet is very short-sighted, but she's very fast. What is this? Fuck you, rat. Each enemy has some sort of variety to it. I like that very much. I hate her voice. Probably out of date. Gives you a pep to your step, I guess. Faster movement, probably. Reminds me of a Sazel. What is this? Log Sims incomplete. To all personnel, due to the construction of the new stages, this blast door has been locked using a punch card combination. Please insert the appropriate punch cards into the three terminals to open the door. In the event that you have lost your punch cards, this machine can be used to print replacements. Oh. Uh, looks like it needs power. Well, shove it in there then, Gordon. It's right there. Is that not what you want? Oh, it's incomplete. Need to complete it, okay. Oh, God, what is this puzzle? X? Nine? No. Seven. Ten? Three? Uh-oh, don't fall. <laughs> Thank you to Muji for the three months. Your stream is saving my sanity at work. Thanks. No problem, man. We're just chilling out. Playing a really good game. Danger, this machine is remotely controlled and may start without warning. What's the goal? We need to get out of the basement, essentially. Oh, <gasps> safe from theme. We're safe in here. Very safe. This save room theme seems to be inspired by RE7. I recognize a lot of elements from the RE7 safe room theme in here. Get me that map! And... Square plus two, triangle minus one, circle plus six. Why? Why? Okay. Stash these. We already... We don't need this at the moment. I don't think we need the glasses. Circle key doesn't seem to be useful. I love that the amount of items that you have in a stack is represented by them physically being stacked on top of each other. <laughs> That's you. brilliant. Just popping in and out and I can see you're in the demo area where all the YouTuber played. Well, I have not played this before, Tony, so... I'm getting this fresh. This is why I don't play demos, by the way. Or like, early access games. 
because a lot of people recognize these areas when they originally played them. Now I just get to play the entire game without actually spoiling myself, you know? I like doing that. I like to already know what's going to happen when I play a game. Let me just... Here. So yeah, like, demos are nice if you want to see if you are actually going to reload. Re reload, come on. That's weird, okay. Uh, demos are nice if you are not convinced that you're going to want to buy the game, but if I want to buy something, I will just buy it. I maybe refund it if I really hate it. Where am I in this? Oh, on the left here. There's still something missing in here, which is interesting. Do I need to open something up? Oh, I need to open this. Right. And I don't have a key for that. But yeah, in my opinion, uh, just if a game, if a game it, that you're interested in is about to come out, don't play the demo because it's just gonna give you a snippet of the game that might not be representative of the entire product. Just wait until it releases, uh, buy it, and from the first two hours of it, see if you like it or not. I think that's a better system than a demo. Now, for chapter-based games like Deltarune, like, I don't mind because each chapter is its own thing. So I don't really mind playing that early. Also, I'm pretty sure that I would have been spoiled by the entire internet uh, if I hadn't played Deltarune when I did. But yeah, just have some patience and try to play the full game when it comes out. Don't, don't try to rush out and play, like, an unfinished version of it. Fuck this bitch. <laughs> the developer definitely exaggerated the physics on this, but I like it. Funny Muppet game. Uh huh? Hey, who's there? Who there? Uh oh, Bonk! <laughs> Oh, shit. Hello? Hold I wish I could have read that. Shit. Oh, my God. That's a creepy face. Jeez, that gave me a scare. What was that? I don't know, Gordon. Could I have uh, read that somehow? Is there a way for me to read the notes in this game? Notes T N B F F. Thank you. Episode script. Uh, Ray's workshop day. As Stevie and Ricky enter, Ray's workshop is overflowing with enormous piles of sewage. Ray, where are you? Ray emerges from behind a large pile of sludge slowly, eyes downcast. Ray, what gives? Everyone's sinks are overflowing. All the drains are clogged up with junk. Ray growls half-heartedly. Hmm, I see. Someone made fun of your plumbing and now you're too embarrassed to keep on working. Ray whimpers and nods. A pipe rattles and groans, spewing more gunk into the growing pile. Ray, if we don't get this cleared up soon, isn't the sewer going to blow up and destroy the entire city? Ray, sometimes people make fun of us, even when we're doing the right thing. That's just how people are. But you can't let them t you can't let them tell you how to be friendly. Don't listen to the haters. <laughs> 
office Snoma arrested for using a firearm to shoot children's dolls. Oh, yeah, dolls, sure, Grimace. Don't listen to the haters, Ray. Huh. Looks like part of it's missing. Here we go. Oh, I... Shit. And I can't take that. I need to get go back to the safe room and get the thing. I'm stupid. I should have kept that with me. It was obvious that it's going to it was going to be important. Shit. Hopefully she's not up again. What is that? Dude, fuck off. I need to go through there. No, Ray. Fuck off, Ray. Bat. Shut up. Bat Ray. Get the fuck out. Goddamn Ray. Bad dog. Can't even speak. Grab this. Anything else that we need to take? Uh, I don't think we're going to be using these keys in this area. Kind of wondering about the glasses, though. Eh, we'll see later. Take the keys. All right, fine, if you tell me. I mean, just in case, though, right? Like, we don't want to go back in here just to take the keys again. There we go. Besides, I don't think we have that big of an inventory problem right now. Like, I think it's going to get really bad later in the game. Especially if we don't have an upgrade system for the inventory, so... Right now we're good, but later we'll try to organize our inventory a little bit more. How's the game so far? It is exactly what I wanted. Like, uh, like to a T. Exactly. Get in there. Oh, shoot. Of course. Of course. Okay. When you go to the park, bring some food for all the wild animals. Stage two is still red. What other things are here that I could take with me? I'm wondering if the check marks mean you can toss the items, like RE2 Remake. The check mark? I can discard them right now. <gasps> You're completely right, Gallium! Yeah, the game wouldn't just softlock me by allowing me to discard those items, right? If that's so, then you never use the glasses. I may regret to use those later. I really wouldn't do that if I were you, honestly. I'm gonna reload. I kind of regret doing that, actually. Yeah. Sorry. Probably for optional routes. Yeah, if I was a game developer and I was doing that, then... Yeah, I would save these just in case. We don't know if the game... Me allows us to use these again. But we're gonna take this... But, since it has a check mark, we're gonna keep it in our item box. How about that? Don't worry, we didn't lose any progress. Because we just went back here to get the power source anyway. I overslept! How's the game going? Pretty well, Octojoker. Fuck this bitch. <laughs> He's so silly. Lunch is my favorite meal of the day. 
Hey, Grimmers. Hey. Uh, thank you for the $2. Hey, Phil. How do I hide a body? I need some help. You need to chop it up into little pieces and then flush it down the toilet. That's usually how it works. You're so creepy. Jeez, that gave me a boy. Do I have just the thing for you? <laughs> oh shoot! So put the power source in there and then put it on the machine. Got it. I think we can outrun this guy easily, right? <gasps> Look at that mask. Shut up! I want to make new friends! <laughs> new friends sound very... <laughs> Guy's insane. Thank you, Phil! It worked! Now I'll never have to deal with my little brother ever again. Wow, you cut up fast, boy. Put it in there. That's the sound of a CRT fucking turning on. Come on. Thank you. That's a terminal sound. THX Phil IT worked. Now we'll never have to deal with my brother again. Yay. Square, square, square. What is this? A punch card from the boiler room machine. So these need to be punched, I guess? Let me check out the combination. Miss Chief Aid has been a member for 10 months and says, if they start singing, hell no. They are singing constantly. If anything, that just motivates me to like, shoot them in the face. All right, so. We need two square, no, square plus two? Triangle minus one, circle plus six. Is that like the total of what we need or? Plus two, minus one, plus six. Plus two, minus one, plus six. First, regular possible, I guess. Uh, C Bass says, hey Phil, how's your, uh, who's your favorite puppet in the game so far? I really like Ricky. But to be honest, I'm like, I'm a fanboy of like, hand puppets, especially suck puppets in general. So that's not really that big of a surprise. Hmm. Oh, I think that we need to build this number combination to reach this. So we need to reach three. To reach three, we need... If, if square equals 2, and triangle equals minus 1, and circle equals 6, then we would need 2 squares and 1 triangle. Would that work? That's how it works. So it's just math, essentially. Okay. So now we need to do 10. To do 10, we need uh, one circle and two squares. That's kind of cute. I like this. 
Ew, math. Cool. And now we need... Apparently this is wrong. Apparently we need... Seven. So, let's try to do that. Well, that is circle, square, triangle. What an overly complicated system. Uh, Potato God, Super Chats, $2, and says, Phil, I need advice on how to get free Robux. Have you tried Googling it? There we go. Should I save? Is this a boss? Fuck it. Wow. I wonder how deep this goes. Will you find magic in ink down here? Probably. Oh, we're totally gonna fight that guy. Hopefully we don't lose. Otherwise we're gonna have to redo that puzzle. Good thing I saved a lot of my ammunition. Fast bitch. Keep running. Keep running. Yeah. Save Phil, god damn it. No. Oh, I still need the key for these things. And triangle key. That's just morbid. Just like lying on the on the table like that. We're definitely gonna get the yellow key now. And that is nothing. Okay, calm down. Calm down, okay. Weirdly atmospheric. Strange kind of breaker box. Ah, oh, it's gonna be to Pop out of there. No. Soundstage basement. Boat. Nothing in here. Yes! Perfect! Just what I needed. Nothing here, nothing here. Nothing here. If there's nothing here, why are you populating the safe rooms with four different cabinets? Also, is it me or is Gordon like really small? Like, some of the perspective on these objects is, like, fucked up. Like... Is Gordon a manlet? God damn, Gordon. The City Tribune, Tuesday, June 17th, 1975. Letter to the editor. As the mother of a four-year-old who is devoted to my friendly neighborhood, I am frightened by the tone of the morals on that show. Just yesterday, one of the characters said, You should always think of others before yourself, even when it's uncomfortable. But what if someone takes advantage of you for doing that? What if doing what's uncomfortable ends up exposing you to hurt and danger? Is it really a good idea to teach children to be so reckless with their own well-being? That is completely true, actually. I want my children to live the fullest life they can. So, I don't want some TV producer filling her head with dangerous, self-sabotaging ideas. I think from now on she'll watch something else. Fucking HATER! But she's right, actually. Kinda weird how that works. I used the healing station. I'm an idiot. Ah, fuck. Oh well. Welcome home and footage of this game live made me appreciate puppets and puppet horror in general. 
Puppets are awesome, man. I love the new wave of puppet horror that has popped up on the internet lately. Absolutely my jam. Uh, Seabass Super Chats $2 and says, Hey Phil, uh, who's your favorite puppet in the game so far? Oh yeah, I said Ricky. I said Ricky. There is absolutely no items in here. Uh, this is just a combat arena. Very big combat arena. This is the first room that I saw of the game when I saw the first trailer. That is fucking terrifying, okay. Thank you, Arcade Punk, for the $5. Does this game have boss fights? I am not sure. Again, I have not seen anything of this game. But it is a survival horror game, so I can assume so? This is a maze. What a mansion! Not good, not good. Wait, did I just do a loop around? Wait, what? Hey Phil, how's the stream coming along? Perfectly! I a joke about your paper shooting gun, but now that I think about it, it would have been... terrible. Oh, that's great. Fuck you, Arcade Punk. Hate puns. What is this doing here? You just did the same mistake that I did with the breaker box. What does that mean? Hello? Oh, perfect. Oh, and it goes all the way back around to here. Like a save fast travel system. Yep, okay, perfect. We don't need to come back here, but that is good to know. I think the glasses are for the bird. It didn't have eyes from what I remember. That is true, the bird did not have eyes. Will it be friendly to me if I give him the glasses? Mm -hmm. yeah. I am not sure if I should approach the bird, but maybe I could? We will come back to that area eventually though, I promise. The key is by the breaker box. Oh, thank you. I will come back to that when I can. So that goes back into the circle area, which I don't think I need to go. Oh, there's a place on the right side that I do need to go. All right, we're gonna go into the circle area. We're gonna go to the left side. We're gonna check this out, and then we're gonna come back to the breaker box area. Are you gonna play Hello Puppets? Probably not. That game doesn't seem to be as good as this. Ah, uh, I just learned it. Out of order. There's no power. I knew it. Shit. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Play Hello Puppets. It's good. I'll have to get my hands. Aha, uh -huh, get it? Hands? On a VR headset for that then. Maybe I'll play more VR games on the next season. We'll see. Oh yeah, it's VR. Yeah, it is VR. I'm getting flipped up, turned upside down by this. 
Nope. All right, we're gonna come back to the to that area through here. We are going to get the triangle key and open up those doors. Where could that key be? You've probably been asked this a hundred times, but have you played Ultra Kill? I have not, but I want to. I am saving it for when it comes out of early access, because like I said before, I prefer to play games when they're properly finished, rather than play them on early access when they are not at their best shape. Now, where the hell is that key? It's not here. Oh my god, it's right there! To everyone, someone keeps taking the breakers that you use to open these doors. So I put them in those lockboxes around the basement. Here's a map of where they are in case you need to get through. Janet or Hank? There we go. So did you mark those on the map? Yes, you did! Now we just need to open up those. There you go. We need four of those. There were four boxes around in the basement. So we're going to have to put those in there. Got it, 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 got it. Forgot I got these messages, but four months, yay! Welcome. Fuck. We're gonna go all the way around, because I don't want to deal with these. start playing more VR, will you consider checking out the RE VR conversion mo mods? There is VR mods for RE8, 2, and 3, and maybe 7. Yes, I will! I very much- that's one of the first things I want to do, actually. <gasps> they- they spawned! Will you consider checking out the RE VR conversion mods? There's VR mods for RE8, 2, What is the best place to go? Seven. Shit, I don't know if, like, I need to go through this one or that one. How many puppets are in here? Two. Seemingly two. Fuck you. Can I- do I have tape? Yes, I do. Good. Only one, though, which is sad. My favorite new pair of socks? I got it in the mail. A letter from the- Hey! Hey! Shut up! Hey, Shut up! Hey, Shut up! I Shut up! What when I scream. Ah! <laughs> the laugh is so silly. Uh, yeah, I love them. He sounds like Kermit. Go right, go right, go right, go right. They keep talking, too. They just keep on talking and talking and talking. It just makes you want to shoot them. Shit. Raise. Fuck. Shit. Piss. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Raise lair. Stay away. But I don't have the key for it, but I'll keep that in mind. I love how he just launched back. Alright, so there should be a box over here, right? Yes. The club fuse goes on the left. I need to... Please don't forget about that. It's very important. Club goes on the left. We need to get two more around the building. That one should be... There's two more on the west side. I have no idea where to get that. Okay, one is in the safe room. The other is 
near the office. Okay. Mm -hmm. West side. Yeah. This game is like you mix Bioshock and the Muppets together, and then you add simple but charming mechanics. No, this is survival horror meets mascot horror, 100%. Uh, if you want to have the closest games to compare this to, think Resident Evil 7 meets the Muppets meets mascot horror. That's my take on it, at least. Survival mascot horror. It works so well. You know, if you really think about it, scissors would be like a OP item in this. Ah, shit. Hey, hey, <gasps> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> He's just saying, hey, 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 hey. Idiot. Fuck out of here. Okay, the diamond is second. Why is there a red spot over here? I don't know. By the way, hello! How are you doing? It's just, it's just there. Like, it doesn't pop out or anything, it's just there. Okay. So we've already gone through here. Uh, we need to... Get the other one, which is in the safe room. Can we help up the man out? No, fuck him. <laughs> Still need the bolt cutters. Oi, 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 He got stuffed in the locker by his bullies. <laughs> yeah, forget about that guy. Some of these guys are like unexpectedly creepy. Like you don't think they'll be they'd be creepy as they are. I love them. I wish I could learn their names. It's fine. This bitch is fast, so we need to run. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey there. Hello. <laughs> it's okay, man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> He's so adorable. Oh, it's so adorable. Oh, he left. He's so sad. They're so fucking funny. They have so many lines, too. Like, I have not heard a single repeat one. And the spade key is on the right side. All right, boys. Time to head back to the east. Hey, Phil. I got dragged down the river last weekend. Hope you're right, man. Are you okay? Also, thank you, Bummerman, for the membership. Again, a thousand lines per puppet. Jesus, fuck! That's commitment. If that's true, then that's real commitment. That has to cost a fuck ton. Because of the voice actors and stuff. Mm, left. Yo, bitch, come here. <laughs> well, to be fair, if you're gonna be hearing these guys talk over and over and over and over and over again throughout the entire course of the game, you might as well make a lot of lines for them. They would get annoying really fast, if they only had, like, a couple of lines. Right? Back to the breaker box. So this is... Club... 
diamond spade. <laughs> what the fuck is this cult shit? Give me that. What the hell? Why are they doing that? Cult this shit. <gasps> Look at the little marketable figure! Look at that. Look at the figure that you can sell. Marketable figure. I would buy that, honestly. If I can pose it around. He seems very poseable. The cardboard penthouse. Alright, bolt cutters it is. It's such a cliche, I love it. I don't really mind marketable products as long as they have a place in the game that you're making, you know? Like a lot of people in mascot horror in the mascot horror community like resent the idea of like making a game with, like, memorable characters for merchandise purposes. But honestly, it's fine. If you make good characters that people want to buy, like, plushies and figures out of, like, that's completely fine. Make them memorable. It's just, you know, you actually have to make the game good as well. Don't put- don't put a merch button in the- in your first game. When you don't even know if it's gonna be successful or not. You gotta have priorities, man. But aside from that, absolutely. Merch is awesome. Let me see where we need to go now. To the right. Cough, cough. Hello, neighbor. Cough, cough. <gasps> That's good. How, how strong are you? Insert glam rock chica's five lines here. Exactly, Ostomus Alex. <sighs> Fuck you. That's a tough one. Please tell me I can tape you up. I don't have tape. Shit. Thank you. That's a tough one. Everyone keeps saying men, but every time I see MFN, I can only think motherfucking men. Let's go on an adventure. How did he not see me? Thank you, Queen Gua Gua, for the membership. Magical Screw Up has been a member for three months and says, I return from the heavens. I descend upon you to tell you that I've been here for three months and I haven't regretted it yet. Thank you. The secrets. No idea what that is about. Thank you, Tony, for the $5. This must be the elevator Ricky was talking about. Are you sure, man? Oh, that seems fairly simple. I should have saved. Oh, it actually worked. Interesting, but I saw another elevator. That's weird. There's other things that we haven't done yet. I guess we'll need to come back there later. Yeah, we 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 haven't unlocked a lot of stuff. Weird. We got most of the basement done, we just need to get some keys and the sound stage. Interesting. We will come back there later, though. Diamond. Need a diamond key for that. Green triangle for that. Great. It's starting again. That's what the broadcast thing is about. The puppet's road strip. Summer, 1978. The Shadow Sapphire. The Mystic Maze. The Puppet's Big Heist. <gasps> hey, Ricky! Puppet Space Quest! Womp Mump Caverns. Puppet's Pirate Cove. 
The Puppets Storm Chicago, a musical movie. Man Studios. Look at this mansion! Yeah, this is Resident Evil, baby. This is my jam. Yo, Ricky! I found your ship, buddy! What you playing out, boy? Like an exit. Locked. Of course it is. Yeah, it was locked from the outside too, idiot. Mansion. Look at the mansion. Oh, you can see the puppets actually playing. Like, back when they were active at the studio. Is Ricky just like... You're never gonna see Ricky's bottom half? Fair enough. Man, this game is big, actually. Not working. I wonder how many areas there are. Is that a real hamburger, or is that just, like, a fake plushy burger? Probably a fake one. This place hasn't been touched in, like, a decade. We're out the demo now, folks. From here on out, it's uncharted territory. Nice! Fun, Phil. Thank you, Gluebird. I mean, I've been having fun in general. Oh, what the fuck is that? Is that Grimace? <laughs> Thank you. Guten Abend, Phil. Guten Abend. Have you ever played Bioshock? If you did, did you like it? I played Bioshock when I was a kid, and I very much did. I would like to replay it on a stream, hopefully. <gasps> the bird does have the glasses! Speaking of Hello Neighbor, I've actually been thinking about the dumpster fire. What even makes Hello Neighbor specifically mascot horror? Uh, Arcade Punk. Mascot horror is defined by... A game with marketable characters that are made mainly to sell merch. Lore that can be deciphered through ciphers and secrets and rare easter eggs and jump scares. That is mainly what mascot horror is about. So, Hello Neighbor would absolutely fall in there, you know? Like, it's mainly lore and marketable characters that codefine mascot horror, in my opinion. This game is absolutely mascot horror because it has marketable characters that jump scare you when they get near you. Now, it's a good one, don't get me wrong, but it's still mascot horror. Mascot horror combined with survival horror, which is my two favorite genres of horror ever. This game really catch the creepiness of puppets. They don't need angry eyes. Yeah, no. Sharp teeth and profanities because that is not needed. Yeah, no, like the creepy. I think the creepiness of this game comes from the puppets just acting fucking weird. You don't need to make them have sharp teeth or bloody eyes. You need to make them act like weird creatures. Like, I saw an uh, idle animation of one of the puppets, like, doing, like, a... <laughs> like, freaking out. Like, in place. That was plenty creepy. I don't have the map for this area yet. They're unnerving. Yeah, pretty much. What is behind door number three? Oh, nightmares beyond my comprehension. Nice. Tutorial. Press four to swap to the punctuation. This is just a grenade. <laughs> That's lovely. Our inventory is getting quite filled up, boys. Yeah, okay. We don't need these anymore. 
There's no other place in the game where we would need a lockbox key. Yeah, we just discard these. Fuck, fuck them. Taking place, taking space in our inventory and all. Are these like real puppets or are these like decoration? Go find out. What is that? Ew. Phil, please never do that again. I will not make promises, Dandy. Just went through that. Nothing here, just decoration. Is that a golden trash can? Why? Hello? Velvet mask. There's no room in the toolbox. I need to organize my inventory then. Move the grenades up here. Health drink. Shells. I don't know what to use the chocolate bar for. Of course! Uh, actually, uh... Fuck! I need the grenade. Shit! Did it eat my grenade? I don't have the grenade anymore. Fuck this. Get me out of here. It ate the grenade! I didn't get to use it! Shit! Fuck. Apparently, if you try to use the grenade and you get grabbed, it just eats the grenade. Shit. I'll have to remember that later. Wear the mask, Phil. That's not how it works. It's probably a key item. What, you think this is fucking FNAF 2? You think if I wear this mask, the guys are not gonna come kill me? Oh, that's adorable. That's adorable, chat. Holy fuck. Where the hell do we put this now? Like, this is survival horror, so we should probably put this somewhere in like a pedestal or something like that. Don't make fun of them, it was a good idea. Sure. Chad is being adorable today. Oh, fuck me, okay. Okay! I don't like that one. I don't know, but it is not safe to be around it. Health legs, duct tape. Fish and chips. Oh my god! Is that thing an insta-kill? Probably an insta-kill. You need to fight that to progress. Well, ain't that a bitch. Hey, Phil, what are your thoughts on playing Half-Life 2 mods in the future? I would very much like to cover Half-Life at some point, Lurtus. One of the best shooters of all time. Though I personally prefer Half-Life 1. <laughs> Not so tough now, are you? Oh, shit! Ah, shit! Alright, I grab everything that we need. Run, 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 Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's not gonna stay down. You do when you get upset. You 
let it get you down? I say a slur. Is that Kronos eating a fucking hot dog? That's a Kronos. I love Kronos. That is a very tough enemy. I'm gonna tape that up. Oh, you know where that mask would go? What about that, um... Pod like, that place with all the... the busts of the characters. Maybe we can put it there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to go back to that area and put the mask over there. Bitch. Wow, you can actually see the city around this place. That's weird. Hello there, Rule Finlandia. Welcome to the membership. Nice! Our inventory is definitely getting filled up quite fast, but... I have a lot of useful stuff, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> so adorable. The mask is pogging. No, it's not. Fuck, it is. How dare you make me think that. Fuck this room! Lunch is my favorite meal of the day. Of course. I always eat the food that most represents how I'm feeling at lunch. What sort of things do I eat? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> when I'm feeling happy, I eat watermelon. Aww. When I'm sad, I eat leftovers. Aww. When I'm confused, I eat the roadkill outside. What? When I'm angry, I feast upon the tears of my enemies. <laughs> when I'm smart, I eat everyone else's food. Oh. When I'm in a hurry, I... Oh, uh... Well, uh, maybe I shouldn't, uh, talk about that one. What?! <laughs> ADHD puppet. Dear old... <laughs> you need a breath me! Oh! Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Tape that guy up. Do 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 I love the main theme of this game as well. This is... not a connection to the main area. TV studio? He's like my family, for real. Oh, maybe I can uh, talk to my, my Echo. Hello! <laughs> These guys put a smile on my hey face, there. man. They're so cute. It's, it's uh, nice to meet you. Hello? Oh, he left. If you can draw, you can do all sorts of things. Grab your pencil and let's go on an adventure. <laughs> Nothing in here. So first, Try... Diamond key. Just take your hand, make three lines, and connect them together. The audience cheers. Okay, Exciting now, music plays. And lights flash around the, the stage. Wow, Ricky, it's the great. eating game. Now Here's our star, Goblet. Goblet enters See? and takes her you place at the podium. Okay, I'm gonna inside. fucking kill this Take dude first. Ah, oh, I can't kill him. <laughs> Let's try again, but make the biohazard symbol instead. <laughs> biohazard? Okay, uh, Was that a Resident Evil reference? Alright, now let me read it. Oh my god, this room also has one of them. Hold on a second, I need some peace and quiet. I learned my numbers when I was a kid. I need some peace and quiet. <laughs> to read this. Mm. 
Oh my god, it's never ending. Kill every single motherfucker in this house. <gasps> That's creepy. I don't want to deal with that. At least they're one shot. This game, oh, I love this game so much. Oh, that is so fucking stupid. I love it. Did that just put a smile on my face? That is so. That is so bad. I love it. Okay, finally, I can read the fucking note. The audience cheers. The music, the exciting music plays. Lights flash around the stage. It's the eating game. Here's our star, Goblet. Goblet enters and takes her place at the podium. On stage, a number of succulent dishes lie atop the numbered podiums. Oh, it's that big green thing! Goblet begins to reach towards one of the meals. No, Goblet, you need to wait until I ask a question. Ready? Okay, which one of these meals contains cauliflower? Goblet snatches the meal closest to her and downs it in one gulp. A buzzer sounds. Oh, no! That was not correct! Okay, how about... Without waiting for another question, Goblet begins downing meal after meal. Plates go flying, the audience is cheering. No, no, Goblet! Episode 364. These also need to be taped up? That is not worth it. Fuck! What? Come on! Did I just waste a bunch of resources doing that? I did. I'm stupid. Go! <gasps> Don't worry about that guy. More glasses. Everyone! This safe has been installed to keep vulnerable items out of the hands of the neighbors. I don't want to include the combination here, in case some of them can read. <laughs> but let's just say it'll help you see the flip side of things. Barry Green, head of security. Okay, so they know that the puppets are sentient. That's interesting. Flip side. Looks like something's missing. Hello? One, two, three. Something's missing. Looks like fun. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Let's play a game. Press the bell to start. When it's your turn, either draw a card or play a card Thank to move you. that many spaces. First to the end wins. Been a waste five hmm. more euros to say hell yay. Can't wait for you to try change. Heard of this mod months ago and seems interesting, I don't know. No problem, artist. Thank you very much. I'll keep an eye out on some cool Half-Life 2 mods for the future. Special spaces. If you land on Norman, draw a card. If you... Junebug is wild. If you start your turn on Junebug, immediately play the top card of the deck. Poor Leonard is so slow. If you're on Leonard, you can only play one. Uh-oh, if you land on Goblet, you lose. Uh-huh. Oh, that, that bitch has the fucking diamond key. All right. Three, two, one, two, three. All right, so. We will do one, two, three. 
we will do three. Oh my god, okay. Angry. All right. One, two, three. Hey, you can't do what? Oh. Guess I gotta follow the rules. Oh. Wait, what was the rule that I broke? He's like a drunk kid. When you when it's your turn, either draw a card or, or play a card to move that many spaces. Alright, I'm gonna do three. Okay, so I should draw a card? Okay, um... I can just... do that. Okay, if I do two, then I lose. Hello, boy? Oh, he drew- he drew a card, okay. Let me do two. <laughs> He's so violent. Okay, I am going to do- <gasps> No, I can't do that. Draw a card. Okay. Do two. And die. What? Oh, what? But I did it though. What? You asshole. Oh, you landed on June bug. You have to immediately immediately play the top card of the deck. Oh, I have to, f it doesn't do it automatically. <laughs> That's fucking silly. I have to physically, you can only, yeah, I have to physically follow these rules or that guy will slap the shit out of me. Land on Norman, draw a card. June Bug, play the top card of the deck. Leonard is slow. If you're on Leonard, you can only play one. All right. Shit. Slap your bitch ass. So do two. Two. And three. Battle of the Minds. Do three. I wish I could do two right now, but I can't, so I'm gonna draw a card. God damn it. God damn it, okay. Draw three. One. Oh Play no. One. Fuck! <laughs> My nemesis! A children's card game! <laughs> hey Lucky Graham, thank you for the four months. Hey Phil, hope you're having a great day. Glad to see you're enjoying this game. It's giving me some good belly laughs. Dude, these puppets are so silly. I love them. All right, all right. Play, play, play to win. Play to win. Play to win. Play to win. Good. 
at a children's card game. I can't believe it. Fuck you, my dude. I like that Gordon had to play around, pl play along with him, too. Like, he didn't just shoot him. Alright, very good. Now we can unlock a lot of stuff. <laughs> Everybody in the chat is hyping up the fucking children's card game win. I'll take it. That's a very fancy key. I can't grab those, which is a shame. Does that mean that I unlock this? I did! Very nice. Man, silly Gordon. Cards versus humanity, more like cards versus Phil. I would love to play cards versus humanity at some point on stream. This is really bad. Okay. And I don't have a map for this area. Please don't tell me that guy's an insta kill. Is he at least away from this area? Yeah, he's just the one guy. Very nice. Goblet sounds are grotesque. Okay, he se seems to have moved away from here. Oh, it's just, just a roaming entity. PO3 would be rage quitting by now. Thank you, Arcade Punk. Yeah, uh, Goblet is just a roaming entity. Fucking hell. Is this just Muppets Resident Evil? Pretty much. And it's awesome! You say that as if it's a bad thing. I'm just starting out in the game, too. Like, we've been playing this for like three hours, and I'm just starting out. Like, this game is big. Fuck! That's bad. That's a lot of them. That's a lot of them. The accuracy of this gun is not the best. Oh, <gasps> finally, I can save. The mask. There's no room. Okay, just hold on a second. Hello, Mousy. Let me adjust my inventory, and I'll be with you in a short moment. So discard these, we don't really need them. I was correct in not taking the glasses. We are gonna... Actually, I just... We have enough ammo, let's just stash, stash these away. 
Uh, let me get the full clip first, though. Stash. And take. We got two full clips for that. I don't really have to use the candy bar right now, so I'm gonna stash it. Move these. We need the masks for some nefarious purpose. I take the duct tape with us. We're gonna stash this healing items because we don't need them right now. And that should be good. Safe station. Hello, Phil. Back from eating a Sammy. Not tears of my mortal enemies. What did I miss? Other than you executing Elmo. We are currently in the heart of the game. It is like... It's, it's, it's devolving so well right now. I am very happy with how this game is going. This is exactly what I want. Like, if you want, if you want to, like, give Phil, like, a game to, like, tickle his brain, this is the kind of game that you need to make, you know? Like, like, limited resources, exploring a map with dangerous enemies that you need to think about, like, if you need to use the resources or not, like, different weapons, a shotgun, I love shotguns, and different puzzles. This is just my game. Like, I I love this. I'm absolutely enjoying every single moment of this. Fuck off. Where do we need to put these masks? Hopefully somewhere close to this place. You're gonna be a problem. Ah, uh, shit. That was a waste. Red Diamond Room. We love a good brain scratcher. No, you don't understand, dude. Like, this is my type of game. This is the kind of game that I spend dozens of hours awake at night playing over and over and over again to get the best times and, like, optimize my runs. You, 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 you people think that FNAF is my favorite type of game of all time? No, fuck you. Survival horror games are the best. Men. God, this is the best. Just like right now, I'm thinking like going through the the different rooms, mapping out the entire area in my head, seeing like which items I need to use and which places. Like this just keeps my brain entertained, even while I'm not doing anything. These are the hydraulics for the elevator. Where's the fluid tank? I like that Gordon knows what a fluid tank is because he is a, like a repairman. You go, Gordon. I like also that the reason for why he doesn't just leave this place is because he needs to complete the the job that he was given. Otherwise they'll fire him. Like this is he's on his last legs. My man Gordon is on a mission. He needs to get that paycheck. My man Gordon needs that bag. Fuck you. Fuck. What I don't like is how inaccurate this gun is, personally. No healing items because I just took all that. This is just to adjust my movement speed. Not sure if it'll give me any health. Nothing over here. Reset the FOV? No, I like 90 FOV. Goblet. Very good. And open up this. Nothing over 
here. Sad mask. Where do we put these masks? And look through here. I do wish that, like, I do wish that there was actual items in these inspectable locations. Is it because I'm playing in survival that there are no items in here? Like, is the game taking away items from me because I'm in a harder difficulty? Probably, right? There would be no reason otherwise to just have empty inspectable locations. Bubblegum! The meal! The meal comes every... Fuck you. <laughs> Insane weirdo. What difficulty are you on, Fistnum? Survival! Yeah, there's no items here. And then when it does, I rush outside to see what I got. Sometimes it's little pieces of paper. That's a, this is just a nightmare hallway. No matter what, I always open it immediately. If you can draw, you can do all sorts of things. Grab your pencil and let's go on an adventure. What? Learn the alphabet? Let's see. Welcome to your lucky. Can't tape that one up. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you Phil. Hello there, you lunch meat. Fear and hunger. It's a survival horror RPG maker known for being extremely cruel and is a superb brain scratcher. I would love to try that out. Uh, there are two survival horror games right now that I haven't tried out that I'm going to try it out on stream next season. Those are... Uh, what was the name? Okay, Fear and Hunger, and there was another one that Postra recommended me. Do you guys remember... What he said, it was like something, something, something would, something, something. Dark wood. Yeah, there we go. I, I want to try dark wood on season four. Absolutely. Plague inscription. Our friends feel a lot of feelings. Junebug had a good day. Norman had a bad day. Liliana found the big mouse. George got caught off in traffic. So that is happy. Sad, scared, and angry? Yes. Junebug is this one. Happy. Norman had a bad day. Oh, <laughs> so sad. Liliana found a big mouse, and George got caught off in traffic. We need one more mask. Be good. But yes, I will play Dark Wood sometimes during Season 4. So where they can see the outside. Is that the RPD? No, that's just our uh, generic building. I thought that was the Resident Evil 2 RPD for a second. Nice. Save stations. Mm, I'm gonna heal and save. Why not? I have more tokens than I have healing items. Bill's got that RE2 on the brain. Dude, I'm playing a survival horror game. Fuck from the other side. Hey Phil, have you ever considered playing Fez? Fez is not my kind of game, man. Like platformer, like indie platformer, like 3D spacey kind of thing. That's not really my type of game. This is my type of game. But, maybe. <sighs> And fish is an asshole, though. Alright, time to get that last mask. If only I had a map of this area. It would be easier. Mm. 
Hmm. Do you guys remember any other red diamond key anywhere in the in the office? Oh my god. Just joined. Is the game good so far? It is magnificent. Very good, very good. Need to put a film in here. Put a film. Real. The City Tribune. Fra Fur Day! Fur Day, November 16th, 1979. Puppet Space Quest. Out of Touch with Reality. By Richard Lightsbury. Two out of five stars. There's nothing particularly wrong with Puppet Space Quest the latest addition to the Mind Friendly Neighborhood media franchise. Once again, we join the puppets as they embark on another grand adventure, this time on a journey to find the planet Oblong. And once again, they are joined by the hapless B-tier celebrity to provide some dramatic core to the neighbor's antics. It's all well constructed and even amusing. The problem is that it's just what we've come to expect from Gerwald's felt friends. What stands out most about the film is the sheer barrenness of the translunar landscape. And I don't just mean visually. Here, there are no dazzling treasures, celebrity dreams, or gut-wrenching crime sprees to hold the audience's attention. All that space has is men's tired, childish moral vision. Even when they travel to the other side of the universe, the puppets can only offer the same moth-eaten yarn. Wow, that's mean. That's a mean review, Jesus. Fucking hater. They're just puppets, man. They're just doing their job. What is this reel for? Antique movie reel. Looks like it would barely work. It do be like that sometimes. How to use the Lumilux Infinity Play Projector. Step 1. Insert reel into the projector. Press corresponding button to start projection. The Lumilux Infinity Play Projector seamlessly loops the film by asynchronously rewinding from the collector reel during playback. Okay. Do I need four of these somehow? Hey, Kaylin Paulin. Thank you for the $2. Wasn't there a red diamond door where the bird is? Hold on a second. <gasps> yes, there was. You are right. I just need to find a way back in there. Thank you, Kaylee. This is the relaxation room. Did this guy disappear? No, he's still there. <laughs> nightmare, 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 nightmare! Alright, I clearly need something in there. But I don't have anything. Let's see. Hmm... What does this mean? Left side. I guess I don't have the thing that I need for this right now. Dice pips, I guess. All right, well, I need to remember that that thing is over here. I just did a full loop around in the entire office area without a map. Guessing you need a set of dice? I will need to find that somewhere around this place. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> the, like, I would be able to go into the studio section if the door was open, which it isn't, so... That is sad and cringe. This is still out of power, right? Yes. Where else could we go? Where else could we go? I guess I could go back the way I came from. But I don't have the keys to be able to- Oh my god, it is right there. Hold on. I'm gonna go back. Yep, there is a diamond key right over there. This will probably have the last mask that we need. Probably, right? Was that the last use of the key? No. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> nice, the film reel. I Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought he was just hiding in one of the stalls. <laughs> what a silly. These puppets make me laugh, man. Like I love them. Even though they're like my enemies. They're so fucking silly. This is a dark area. Pump piece? What is that? A metal piece for a tankard or boiler. Did I cover up this area? Yep, everything is done. I didn't get what I wanted, but I did get something. Could I explore the rest of this? I can't go back to that, is the problem. Like, I can't go back to stage four. And I don't need to come back to the triangle rooms, because I don't have the triangle key. I guess we could check out the stage. But I doubt that there's much of anything in there, aside from just... Maybe, like, one health item that I missed. Hmm. There was a boiler that you found somewhere. I don't remember where that is. Is the game actually scary, or is it just goofy? No, it's goofy, 100%. But there are some bits where the puppets just freak you out. Just a tiny little bit. But it's not its not a scary game. Like, it's not gonna make you piss your pants. But it's okay, because... Like, it has personality, you know what I mean? It's goofy in a good way. Yeah, absolutely goofy. You still need to give the glasses to the bird. I will do that, I just need to find a way back to stage four. I wish I could get like a key to open these doors as well. Nearly a full, full year. Thank you, Duffy. Only 11 more days until people get their badges. Does nothing happen when I press this? Seemingly nothing. Nothing.
I think this game would be great for a first time experience of the genre and gameplay before upping the scares. Would you say the same? Oh, this seems like a perfect introduction to survival horror to people that don't know if they would like the genre or not. I absolutely agree. Like, if you are not uh, the type of person that enjoys getting scared, but you still are intrigued by the concept of survival horror, you should absolutely try this out. I'm not saying this is Baby's first survival horror game, but it's a very nice introduction to the genre. And if this game is, like, popular with Let's Players, I will be so happy. Because this, this kind of game is my favorite genre of game of all time. So if this is gonna make it more mainstream, I would be delighted. You know what I mean? Absolutely delighted. Eight Bit Ryan made a video on it. Perfect. Keep him coming. Absolutely keep him coming. Take a Dark Dragon for the membership. Yeah, I'm definitely missing something now. Like, I've explored all there is to see on the office, but I have not. Oh! I have not found the triangle key. All right, let's put the reel in here. Two. Oh! Okay. What is that? It's just sitting down. Aw. That is war. Aww. Depressed. Aw, poor gal. I guess the puppets really didn't like the war. I'm gonna go check him out. Thank you, S5, for the four months. Hello, Phil! Four months. Also, would you play FNAF Secure? No. Oh no, that was Coco Gojira. Thank you, S5, for the four months. Hey, Phil, you cool. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, S5. Now that's what I want to see. Hmm. Thank you, Sam the Toaster, for the $10. Oh, hell no! Mo Mozart Lacrimosa for the depressed. Are you gonna be fine, man? Do you happen to have a mask anywhere with you? Oh, hell no, Mozart Lacrimosa for the depressed Bingo Boo Floor pulls it. You okay, buddy? Everything alright? Life can get you down sometimes, huh? What the fuck, Gordon? What are you doing? First time I ever saw a movie as a kid, there was this scene of a man riding into this big, blazing sunset, and I remember when it came up, it just caught me. I don't know if it was the plot or the music or what, but my heart just suddenly leapt, like... like I had just heard an old friend calling my name. What are you doing, Gordon? And I sort of forgot myself and turned around, thinking someone was behind me. But all I saw was a little star of light coming from the projection booth. No one else turned around. They all were just focused on the screen. You know who you're talking to, right? It so real. So solid. <laughs> I didn't know what to make of that. And eventually I forgot about it. Puppet wrist. I got distracted. 
just came back to me now. Oh my god, Gordon was a war veteran. They're besties now. Holy shit. We actually managed to befriend one of them. That's kind of sweet. So that was just completely optional. That's really sweet, actually. Very nice. Unspoken PTSD Riss. Alright, well, we managed to befriend one of them. I guess they won't be bothering us any longer. Very good. What a cool no moment. What, Meanwhile, there's just these crazy assholes mumbling on the on the floor. Ah, the boiler stuff. Right. There was a thing that I needed to use. Pump piece. Metal piece for a tankard or boiler. So I can't use it here, but it is part of this puzzle. Save it for later. <laughs> uh, in the Fanverse Discord, there is a guy talking about a Resident Evil-style FNAF game. Would you be interested in playing it when it comes out? Absolutely! When it comes out, though, when it's actually finished. Resident Evil game take a long time to, well, come out, by the way. My guess is that their creator died in the war. That's a good theory, Liz. Wow! Wow! I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, nice, a cheat tape. Like, I feel like I'm missing, like, the map area. Like, there should be, like, a safe room. There should be, like, a safe room with, like, a map somewhere around here. I feel like I'm just missing it. Hmm. That's weird. I was so th terrified, I thought you would shoot her. What? No! She's pacified. I will shoot this bitch, though. This one deserves it. Fuck no. The shotgun is, like, a little bit glitched, I think. Does that imply one could befriend all the insta-kill characters? That's kinda cool. I think that you can ultimately befriend these guys, it's just that they are crazed because they've been stuck in this building for like 10 years. Finally! I've missed this room like five times since I've like passed over this place. Yes! Give me! Finally! Executive hallway. Not gonna stick around because I really want to play this for myself, but just wanted to know real quick how is the game so far. Excellent, uh, excellent S5. It is a little bit glitchy at some points. Like for example, the shotgun indicator on the bottom right said zero, and I accidentally wasted a shot because I thought I needed to reload, and there was like some misspellings in some of the notes. But aside from that. This game is excellent, you need to play it. The main core gameplay is there and accounted for. So absolutely go buy it. Like, yeah, sure, like it just came out, so there might be some kinks here and there to sort out, but the core gameplay is perfect. All right, so 
we are in this area, we need to use the diamond key for that area. We've taken care of most of this. We just need to find the last mask. Don't you come close. Very nice. I think Amanda the Adventurer had a bigger team than this. Um, pretty sure that this was made by one of the Szymanski brothers. And I don't know who else, honestly. It was uh, published by Dread XP. Maybe it's a one-man show. Like, I followed the developer on Twitter. Like, he was making progress, like, throughout the entirety of the, the past two years. So... Yeah, I know, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Don't worry, chat. Don't worry. I wouldn't miss that. Don't worry. Alright, time to put the ma final mask in. This is on Steam, right? Yup! You nearly fooled me! Fuck you! Where do we put the masks in? Statue room on... Near the kitchen. No. Not near the kitchen. Yes. Mm. Let's go back. You yeah, need to go all the way back. The mail, the mail comes every day. <laughs> Silly little guys. Mask is for the puzzle, right? Yep. Yeah, it is. Need to go up here and place the mask. And that's it. What is this for? This is gonna give me the green key, right? Bet your ass, bet your fucking ass that this gives us the green key. No. Fuck. Gotta head out now, but man, this game has been fun to watch. Enjoy, Phil. Thank you. Two. Three, four. Well, I can just take all of them, right? Good. Well, I was completely fucking wrong. Well, my bad. Now I need to go to the safe. Yep, you are right. Let's not save for now. We will do that when we actually get the key. Okay, the save has to have the green key, right? The save has to have the green key, right? Like, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Has to, right? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Fuck. I just joined. Is Phil liking the game? It is absolutely masterful in what it tries to do. And it's also silly. Like, look at this silly little guy. Need to go back into the cafeteria room, or like the playroom, whatever that thing is called. It should be on this side of the building. Was last here since you first got out of the sewers. What has happened since? We found a big green monster and then we befriended it somehow by putting like a sad reel of war in like the projector room. All right. So three, six, one, five, two, three, four, six, five. <sighs> three, six, one, five, two, three, 
four, six, five. The puppet race. Wait, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, but we need to do the flip side of it. How do I know the flip side of it? I don't have a- I don't know what- how- I don't know how- I don't know how... Dies work. Hold on. How do I know what the back side of these are? Two, five, six, one, four, three, three, four, six, one. The opposite sides. Opposites I add to seven. I never knew that. All right. This is a good puzzle. Oh, well, no, it literally just tells you right here, so. Yeah, there we go. So, this is one. <laughs> and six. Opposite sides add up to seven. Thank you so much. I never knew that. To be honest, I don't really play with die that much. Four. That'll be five. That would be three? No, it would be two. This would be... That would be three. Yes. This would be one. And this would be two. It is still not the green key somehow. Hydrotastic. What? Is this for the boiler? There's a healthy amount of fluid in it. Ew. Yep, this is for the boiler. Need to go back into the... Boiler area. Gonna make a hydrogen bomb. The game was made by the two Szymanski brothers, John and Evan. Nice. Where did... where was the stage again? Stage 3, live audience, that we need to go into the main hall for that. Alright. That can give you the mask, Phil. No, the, the mask puzzle is already done. In fact, we used the mask puzzle to get the gas canister, so don't worry about that. I'm gonna tape that up. That one has been a problem for a while. Okay, uh, we have a AR for our, our going. Or, 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 uh, okay, uh, we've got a P for for fox fo 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 Really feels ad libbed. So leaping can be the best part of your day. What? I always start by getting ready for bed. First, I get my PJs on so I can be warm and comfy all night. Next, I go to the bathroom and grab my toothbrush. They're so goofy. All right, this has to have the green key, right? 
I'm gonna shit if it doesn't. Yeah, it should fix that elevator. Wait. Elevator to where? What? This game seems silly in a good way. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, right, the elevator to there. Okay. Yeah, 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 Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. And I know what I'm doing, I know what I know what I'm doing. No need to panic, no need to panic. Here we go. Thank you, Sal the Sloth, for the membership. Mine. And mine. And that's a tape, but I can't grab the tape. Look at the little figures! Cute. Grenade. Two grenades. Okay, this room is a... CO office. Got it. The waiting room. Hmm. <gasps> yeah! Okay, this is an important area I need to say right now. Perfect, 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 perfect. We are going to... Keep that. Still need to use the red diamond key back in stage 04. We're gonna... Stash the candy bars because I don't. We don't need to use them right now. Save. Save the game. Alright, boys. There should be something important in the CEO room. Maybe it's a boss fight? We'll see. No? You forgot a coin in the last room. Hold on a second, thank you. Where could that coin be? Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I like to see the map on this game be green. Very much appreciated. Cave Johnson here. <laughs> I love this portrait. A. Gerwald. This wow. is the guy that invented the puppets. Would love to have a view like this. It's not really that impressive, Gordon. I have low standards, man. Front key. Maybe this will unlock the front door. Yeah, good thinking, man. Yep, that's how it works. So we are gonna go out. Oh, we're gonna I'll go out in front. We're gonna go back to stage 04. We're gonna open up the. We're gonna go open the main stage red door. Probably find the green key in there and then come back and open up everything else. I fucking love survival horror! <laughs> love it! Is there a writing on that portrait? Uh. Nope, it's just a regular portrait. Either that guy is behind everything, or he died, which is what, why the puppets are going crazy. Like, I don't really know why the puppets are going crazy right now, but the two leading theories are either that guy made them crazy on purpose, or he died and the puppets went sad and now they're revolting because of that. That's my current interpretation, at least. Also, we're gonna take the glasses. And we are going to... Oh, that's it. 
Save? Uh, oh, we'll, we'll save, like... We'll save when we're back in stage four. All right. The puppets were never the same after Vietnam. Unironically, though, that's the plot of this game. Puppet PTSD. Riz the bird. I wonder if, like, we can actually help the bird, though. The puppet inside me that died that day. What the fuck? I opened up the inventory at the wrong time. Okay, uh... Sure. Oh! What's that? <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit! That's silly. All right. Really, man? <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Do I need to, like, shoot at the eyes or something? Yes. Okay, fuck it. I'm just gonna throw a grenade when she starts sucking. There we go. <laughs> oh no! Do you know how fucking ridiculous this is? I guess he doesn't. That's the best. Oh, we fucking nailed that. Somehow. Let me go explore a little bit. There's some parts in this that. I have not fully uncovered. <laughs> Bro doesn't care. It's not even the apocalypse or anything. This is just happening, like, inside of one room. Which I think it's funnier, actually. Uh, City Tribune. On the war. A reflection. Last month marked seven years since the end of the war. So it seems like a good time to reflect on the impact that it had on our lives. I think across the whole city, the war has left us feeling troubled. We were called to service for the sake of righteousness, love for one city, and protecting others. But in the end, we found that those calls were just noble lies. And behind them, the horror of reality thwarted our starry-eyed ideals. We left home as heroes and came home as murderers. But this tension leads to a question. Why should we care about right or wrong, or friendliness, as the children's show children's show puts it? Following such things can have a terrible cost. The only reason would be if there was some overarching purpose, some guiding goodness to, to our wanderings in the world. But that is exactly what an injustice like the war calls into question. Perhaps it is time to put aside our old ideas. Perhaps it is time to look for other sources of hope. 
Perhaps the wise man is the one who lives for himself. I see what's happening. Still not everything in this room. What else could I possibly have to pick up in here? Nothing? Oh. That's that's helpful, thank you. Very nice. So my current guess is that the CEO of this company made living puppets. Eventually he died for some reason in the war. And the puppets are trying to lift the spirits of the population by hijacking the TV to make sure that they don't get corrupted by news of the war or like other kinds of like harmful programming, at least in their eyes. But the puppets have a fucked up view of the world, which is why they are broadcasting harmful lessons. Something like that. Something like that. I still don't have the full picture though. Like the how and why, why now. Like this seems, this place seems to have been abandoned for like years, right? Why specifically now did they go haywire? Like I'm not a theorist. I'm just kind of going off of what the game is telling me right now. Also, there is one thing in this room that I still haven't picked up, and it's driving me crazy. Where is it? There you go. It's really hard to see these interactable spots. Alright, time to move out. A hundred percent puppet game. There is still something in the live audience room that I haven't picked up, but we'll come back to this area eventually, so I don't think that's that big of a deal. Alright, let's go outside. But that's just a theory. A game theory. Okay, Gordon, what's next? I don't know, man. You know, you could just shoot off the antenna, right? Thank you, Quantum Sushi, for the membership. How's it going? Oh, I'm having a blast right now. Also, I should probably put the other half of that medallion in the aviary, but we'll do that later. Alright, time for some stage four action. Oh, <gasps> that's what was missing. We need to go into the... Off-camera room. And maybe check out the dressing room, actually. Bird up! Oh my god, these things are back! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck them. Glasses, the bird! I will in a second, just calm down. Secret.
we should save right about here. Give me the tokens. Is that it for the key? No, the, the red key is still in use. Interesting. Uh, Liam Ar Arnold has been a member for 11 months and says, Hi! Hello there! Sumbified935 has been a member for 4 months and says, If you haven't, you should play a hat in time. It's a cute little platformer that's cool as hell. I have played that game. It is cool as hell. But maybe I'll replay it on stream. Because I played it with a friend. And I don't have much on my save file. Done. All right. Now let's go give those glasses to the bird. The Cory bite for the four months. Hey Phil, enjoying the game? You're raining out of two. Fuck! That's a reload. Fucker got me on the shin. You're raining out of ten. So far, I can't give you uh, a rating so far. But I'm very much enjoying it. I wouldn't say it's like the best survival horror game of all time, but it's like a perfect introduction to the genre for people. Creepy fuckers. It looks fun so far. Absolutely. I'm not saying that it isn't. Yo, Birdie! Would you like your glasses back? Yeah! She's happy! Are you good? What are you gonna do? Hello? That's cool. Oh. Let's go see what she's doing. Baton has been a member for four months and says, Hello there, slime man! Hello there! <laughs> Hello? Friendship? Friendship? That's a good girl. There we go. See, nice and calm. Aww. It's been a long time since you saw yourself, huh? It happens to all of us. Puppet wrists. We all get shocked sometimes when we look in the mirror. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Aww. Okay, so yeah, you can just help these puppets sometimes. <laughs> shocked face. You like what you see? I guess Gordon just like has some risk for puppets, I guess. That was completely optional too. Again, once again, that was completely optional. So you can help the different animals like in the areas. You can help the green uh, goblet. You can help the bird. That is so cute actually. That is actually for real so fucking cute though. You can help the Ray the Plumber out in the sewers, Phil. I will try doing that. Let me guess. Oh, you use the boiler for that? Off camera is still red. Phil, do you plan to stream the entire game or not? Dude, when I play a survival horror game, I don't finish it. I, I mean, I. I don't finish streaming until it's done. I'm gonna keep playing this until it's done. Like, don't you worry. This is not the kind of game that I will, like, leave until I actually beat it. Like, this happened also with Signalis. Like, these games, like, feed my brain in just the right way. So don't you worry, like, I'm staying here until I beat it. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. <laughs> Burb. That is the entire west side of stage four done. 
Very nice. Are you gonna 100% it? I'll sure as hell try. I love these wholesome moments. They're actually super cute, though. Jesus. Where is the then the fun part starts? Take your closest friend and separate all of their parts into little piles. That's fucked up. Color. This will be what you make your crafts out of. I like to use Norman because he has all sorts of oranges and reds I can use. Now I start patching my piles of red onto the pipe cleaners. Could oh, I need the green I key for this. In front of you? There is nothing in front of me. Yep, still need the green key for that. But I can use the red key in the room over here. Box on the what? shelf? The box on the shelf, Phil! Okay, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. We're gonna get in, we're gonna get in. Need to attack the lady to get in. Oh, okay. Yo, bitch! Very nice. Perfect! Oh god. That is not the one that I wanted to open. This one. Who needs Riz when you have a shotgun? Did that use up all the spots for the red key? No. Interesting. What is gonna be here? Okay. Kind of weird. Not gonna go in there. Very welcoming. Oh, is this some demon shit? Is this some demon shit? My friendly neighborhood. Is this some demon shit? This looks like some, some, some demon shit right here. The City Tribune. Thursday, August 26, 1982. My friendly scandal. Richie Bromine, known for playing Stevie on the long-running children's show My Friendly Neighborhood, is leaving that production after one of the puppet performers, Ray, attempted to hit, on, hit him with clothes iron during on-set conversation. All right. Performers. Right. The fracas erupted after Bromine had made critical comments about the show's creative direction, including creator Al Gerswold, according to eyewitnesses. It's always been like this on set, said Bromine in an interview. It's not just Ray, Pearl, Goblet, Ricky. They're all crazy, he added. This has been a long time coming. No one takes me seriously because I'm on my friendly neighborhood. I'm ready to have a career that's more widely recognized. Right. Combination lock. That's not gonna get me anywhere. 
Ah, shit, well... Can't really do much on this room, can I? We can go check the re check back in the dressing room. And that's about it. I know that there's something in the dressing room that we have yet to do, but it's not like we can cut anything up. We don't have any scissors or anything, so... Let's try to go back on the sewer and maybe try to help out the, like, Ray the puppet there. The demon core? Think of how duct tape will play into the game once people know the routes. I'm sure people will debate endlessly over which puppets to tape up. That's the magic of survival horror, uh, and Cure Drag Dragonheart. Especially because there's a lot of situations in this game where, like, there's, like, a lot of annoying puppets, and each puppet has, like, different, like, levels of health, and... And maybe I can solve that puzzle. Hold on. Hold on a second. No, no, I can't. Definitely can't. But yeah, this game seems amazing for speedrunning. Going into the hole. What is this place? Oh my god, okay. Oh, it's the back... The, the parking place, okay. I wish I could talk to Ricky again. Ricky was pretty nice. This is also where we put the red key. This should be the last use of it, right? Thank you. Yep! That's it for the red key Howdy card. Phil. First stream I managed to catch. Hello there, Lousy! Excited for FNAF Plus. Thank you! Thank you for the five dollars, Lousy Lou. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Do we go into the public park, or maybe... You guys think that the pump piece will help... ...to help out Ray? If we go into the sewers... Um, I don't think we need to go there yet, because we are missing the green key for that room. I don't think we'll be able to help Ray until we get the green key. I'm surprised the game hasn't given us the green key so far. Let's explore the park. If we find the green key, then we'll go back to the sewers and help out Ray. How about that? Hate those assholes. Locked. Bill, you need to riss up everyone to get the good ending. I like that I'm not sure if you know that's the case or if you're just making that up. But I will try. Maybe all that Gordon needs to do is make some friends. Nice, very nice. Safe room. Map immediately. Very nice. This is a weird map. Let's... Save. Um, the pump piece is probably for... Pump piece is probably for Ray, right? Tankard or boiler? This is probably for Ray, so I'm just gonna save it alongside the medallion. Gonna move these over here. Put the grenade over here and stash the healing atom because we don't need it. Yeah, this is very beginner friendly when it comes to survival horror. 
There's a lot, like, I have a lot of healing items and a lot of inventory space. Usually, survival horror games, like, limit you a lot when it comes to these things. Alright. Save up! It was for the breaker in the basement. Yep, so we will keep the pump piece until we go back to the basement. How about that? What are some of the harder survival horror games? Signalis, uh, Resident Evil. Hmm. Resident Evil 7 Hardcore Mode. And according to Postra, Darkwood. Yo, Ricky! You there, man? Gordon, where are you? There going? you go. Where do you think? What's the matter with you? Don't you want to be our friend? You have a funny way of making friends. I'm lucky I haven't been hugged to death or eaten. Okay, I admit we're not at the top of our game, but you can't throw us out just because we've made a few mistakes. I'm just doing my job. Uh-huh, sure. I take it blasting your way through hordes of allegedly psychopathic... Allegedly? ...normal day at work for you, hmm? Seriously, Gordon, who hurt you? The uh, war. What are you talking about? No? So you were just born a bully? I'm not a bully. Surprised you're not a detective. They're always bashing down doors and brandishing <laughs> guns. Or maybe a GI give you a chance to rampage through some small defenses. Don't say that, Ricky. Say what? Don't talk about the war. Why not? Just saying. Seems like exactly the sort of place you... Yeah! Don't take shit from him, Gordon. <sighs> this game was not made for a higher FOV, by the way. There's a lot of assets that just, like, stand in place on the corner of the screen. This was definitely made for a lower FOV. Which is kind of weird, considering that the game has like 120 as the max, and I'm using like 90. Oh shit, I didn't expect to actually open that. Rare Ricky L. So that's why the arm is exposed. Yep. I'm using a higher FOV than the default, but... I like 90 FOV, so... I'm not gonna change that anytime soon. Playground. Locked. I have a feeling that Ricky is either gonna be like the best friend, like the best guy in this game, or he's gonna be like the fuck. What was that? Dogs? I was gonna say the final boss. I need batteries. Dog, 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 dog. Doggy. This is for the basement. There's a shortcut to the basement. Nice. Oh boy, keep your eyes peeled for some dogs. More triangle green keys. Oh, give me that already. Oh, this is where it, this is where they're going to come in. Understood. What else is here? Ooh. <gasps> Finally! Use this to dissolve whatever's blocking the elevator in the hotel. I forgot about the purple jam. Barry's jam solvent. Sometimes jam clogs up the hotel elevator. If this happens, you can unstick it by applying this compound. This is just like the Rest Evil 1. Like. Plant 42. Like. Mixture. Step 1. Add the following into the mixing station bottles. One jug of Lumalux film developer. One gallon of weed out, weed killer. One tub of virtuoso trumpet polish. Step 2. Turn it on the water using the tap. Step 3. 
Press the following buttons for the indicated times. Red, one to two seconds. Green, one to two seconds. Blue, three to four seconds. Green, two to three seconds. The final solution will be dispensed below the mixing station. And give me that. All right. This is just like the Plant 42 Resident Evil 1 mixing puzzle. By the way, another uh, survival horror game that is like very hard, Resident Evil 1 Remake. You will have a really hard time with that if you don't know what a survival horror game is. Funnily enough, that's the first game in the series. But it's like the hardest one for newcomers. All right, oh my god, we can finally use the green key. I'm so happy. Something big is going to come out of this hole. I can just feel it. Why did uh, Gordon sound like Brooklyn Mario? I'm pretty sure he is from Brooklyn. You know, he's just a plumber. Or not a plumber, he's like a repairman. Nothing here... Jesse. City Tribune, Monday, September 7th, 1981. Editorial. Last night, I was watching a rerun of one of the old newsreels from the war, when one of the stories jumped out at me. In one operation, a platoon of our soldiers found themselves trapped in a collapsing mine. As they ran to the entrance, one of the timbers supporting the tunnel began to fall, until a private, Joshua Hartwright, caught it on his shoulders. As he held up the wood, his friend scrambled out under his outstretched arms until, after everyone else was out, he let go, and the tunnel collapsed in on him, burying him forever in the earth. When I heard that story, I felt a mixture of emotions. Pity for the waste of human life, anger at the injustices of the war, but most of all, I was horrified. Horrified that a person might have to do such a thing. Horrified that it was being held up as an inspiration. To lay down your life for someone else. To lose everything. To have the veil torn and the scraps of your life vanish into nothingness. How could anyone ask someone else to do that? Who would do that voluntarily? And if you don't, do they call you a coward? <laughs> I like this game a lot. I like this game a lot, a lot, a lot. Hell yeah. All right, time to use the green key. Power pack. In here. Health cola. Ammunition. We are absolutely destroying this game so far. Let's go back to the basement. Surprised that the dogs haven't been active so far. Hey, Bear Bro. Thank you for the seven months. Hey, Phil. Can't wait until season four. You're still the only streamer I've subscribed to. I can't wait to see what you got cooking for season four. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. God, I fucking love this game. I love this game so fucking much. It's so fucking good. It's so fucking good. This is just what I needed. After a long, drawn-out day of hard work, all you need in your life is a good survival horror game to sink your teeth into. Speaking of sinking your teeth into something... Now, let's go help out the Ray guy. This guy's so powerful. Where is the green key? On the left and right of there. Yep, go to the left. Hey, Shauna. Ooh, nice Code Lyoko reference. Thank you for the five dollars. This game hits a lot harder for me seeing these news reels as my grandfather was actually in the Vietnam War as infantry. 
Thank you so much, Sana. This game hits a lot harder for me seeing these news reels as my grandfather actually was in the Vietnam War as infantry. Hey, hey, that's not gonna fix it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, trash everywhere. I can't turn it? That's what... Yeah, I need the boiler part. Okay. I'm gonna go get the green key stuffs, and then I'm gonna come back with the part. Actually, yeah, yeah, I put the part in the safe box. Damn it. <laughs> Thank you, small man, for the two dollars. I love media with remains of tragedies from the war. Man, war is awful. Move he this over here. I don't think I need to save right now, do I? I feel pretty fine. Yeah, I don't need to save. I'm pretty confident. Oh. Oh, maybe I can uh, talk to my my echo. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey there. It's so easy. It's it's uh, nice to meet you. Oh, he left. <laughs> when you go to the park, bring some food for all the wild animals. For birds, you can bring sunflower seeds. Sure, not saving is always a good idea. Well, it isn't, but you know, you can you can you can take a little bit of a risk, you know, just a little tiny risk. It's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna do anything bad to anybody. And stash this. We will save when we're back on the surface. Don't you worry. What do you do when you get upset? Let it get you down. Let me tell you about the time my friend Leonard got me all upset at him. First, I uh, <laughs> I'm a friend. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, silly. I'm a risk taker. Don't you know? Give me that. Another reel. Heist. 152. Is that a bottle of vodka? No, a film developer. Yeah, this is what I need. And there is one more thing left in the room that I was just in, but I don't know what that is. Welcome! Welcome! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, nothing here. <laughs> Thank you. There has to be something in here. How hard is the game to get the hang of? I'm wondering if it's still worth getting for someone like me who sucks at games. Lol. Uh, ex Expo Dev. Expo Dev, currently I am playing a harder version of the game, and it's easy as fuck. I think you should absolutely get this game. Like, this seems like a super good entry-level survival horror game. If you want to get into the genre, you should do it with this game, in my opinion. It's like perfect if you... Because, like, it's not that, it's not scary, it's not really that scary, it's not really scary at all, it's just, like, startling sometimes, but it's, like, mostly comedic. And it has a lot of cool mechanics in it, and it has a lot of, like, it eases you into the gameplay very well. So, you should absolutely try it out. If you are curious about survival horror games, you should try out this game. 100%. 
All right. So we could do stage two. Let's go back uh, and help out our little friend Ray. How about that? <laughs> Thank you. That settles it. I am definitely gonna stream this. Also, are you planning to play Ruin? I assume not Lamal. No! <laughs> Absolutely not. Thank you, Pinku Cat, for the five dollars. Now imagine Kermit running at you down the hole. <laughs> okay, I thought about it. Yeah, I thought about it. It's pretty good. Looking Kermit. There you go. All the trash now is nicely covered up. Please don't tell me we have to fight Ray. <gasps> what do you want? Yes. Peaks. Yeah, I, 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 I just look when when you've got a problem, you can't just clam up and start hitting everything with a wrench. That won't fix anything. Peaks. Good. Well, I'm going now. Gordon has that puppet wrist. Wait a second, is Gordon, like, teaching these puppets, like, legitimate lessons? Is that what we're actually doing? Like, we're teaching Goblet about, like, it's okay to be sad. We're teaching the bird, like, it's okay, like, to be happy with how you look like. We're teaching Ray that you don't need to, like, bash your way into fixing a problem. We're giving these puppets actual life lessons. Oh, that's gonna affect the ending, isn't it? Interesting. Gordon is literally dad energy. He's being a dad to these puppets. That's adorable. Multiple endings? Yeah, it seems like there will be multiple endings. Teach all the puppets for the good ending. Yeah, okay, I'm into that. Now we need to go into... Stage two. Yes. Fuck, I hate this guy. <laughs> Gordon is actually giving them good advice where the show itself doesn't. Yeah, pretty much. I would like some advice. I'm a game design major and one of my projects is a survival horror inspired by Evil Dead and mm -hmm. Manoir among others. What elements do you say are vital for a survival horror to succeed? Thank you, little kitty. That's a very good question. Okay, so I'm gonna start, like, rambling now. Essentially, if you want a survival horror game to succeed, you need to have a good combination between resource management and exploration. The two tenements of the survival horror genre are all about exploring a location that you slowly unravel like a puzzle box. Imagine yourself being trapped inside in the middle of a maze. And inside of this maze, there are different doors that you need to open up little by little. Like, you're peeling like an onion, layer by layer, but from the inside. You're trapped in this location that is scary and, like, tense and is filled with monsters and enemies. But through your wits and through your determination, you're able to slowly make that location feel, at, like, feel like home. You can unlock, like, fast travel points, you can unlock shortcuts, you can unlock tools that will help you progress through the entire location, and eventually you're essentially taking this environment and making it your territory. You're taking away piece by piece, you're taking the environment away from the enemies and turning it into your own. You see this map right here? 
This map, how every single area starts out as red and eventually becomes green, that it's like that. You are taking each piece of this location and you're unraveling it like an onion. And you are using your wits and your resources and your guns and your combat and your puzzles to be able to solve the location. That's what makes it so satisfying. Each little room is like a mini little piece of territory that you're conquering as you go through the game. Eventually, once one part of the room or the area is complete, you can move on to the next one and you can use different guns, different act, like different upgrades and different uh, tools to be able to tackle the next area that has a lot of like enemies and puzzles and stuff like that. It's all about gaining territory, solving puzzles, and using your resources in a smart way. Um, if you are trying to make a survival horror game, please don't think of the enemies as actual enemies. The enemies of your survival horror game don't need to be really that interesting. All they need to do are enemies that will drain your resources if you use them incorrectly. Imagine an enemy like a door. A an enemy is between you and progress, and you need to use your guns to be able to essentially pay them. You're essentially paying the enemy five bullets to be able to open that door and go through that area. And if you're smart and you know how to avoid them, you can pay them less bullets. Like, you can pay them two bullets. Or you maybe you realize that you can go completely around the enemy in this room. So you, if you're, like, smart and you know how to navigate the game, you don't need to pay the toll every time to go through that room. You know? You can dodge the enemies and not have to pay the toll uh, in that area every single time. You can use other items, like the, the duct tape in this game lets you completely tie down a puppet so that you never have to actually pay bullets to him ever again to go past him. And that, that you can see me doing this during the stream. You can see me always moving around the enemies first before actually having to shoot at them. Because that's what survival horror is about. It's about conserving your resources, thinking about what you need to do at specific points, what kind of like resources you need to keep in your inventory, and where you need to go next to be able to unravel this giant onion of a game. Sorry. Sorry. I just fucking love this kind of system. It's so good. Where else are we going now? Like, for example, if I'm fast enough, I can just move around this bitch. Like, I don't need to shoot at her. I just need to move. It's not necessary to, like, kill these guys. Oh, there was a cave -in, in here. What? Oh, it prevents me from going in there. Oh, shit. Well... Like the war story! Holy shit! Yeah, the cave-in! Aw, oh, man. Poor little guy. Need to go through there. Oh boy. <laughs> yep. Managed to do that. Nice. Now I need to find a way to go into the boat. Oh, I fucking love this. Oh! <gasps> I can't access the boat! Motherfucker! Does that mean that I can't completely clean out this area because I don't have access to the lower waterways? Oh, 
Oh no. Maybe I need to come at this from the entrance in the main area. Uh, all right, well, 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 we will come back to the surface and we will do that. Thank you, uh, Lertas Altcho for the five euro. Sleeping can be the best part of your day. I always start by getting ready for bed. All right, let's go. Hey, Phil, you want to hear a story game idea I had? No! But thank you for the comment, anyway. Dog? 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 Dog! Bad dog! Fuck you. That's a tough doggy. Duh, they don't go down. They don't go down at all. Oh, there's gonna be three dogs and I'm gonna need to put food in these bowls for them. Poor pups. Probably haven't been fed in a long time. Oh. All right, yeah, okay, I understand. Why does Gordon have such empathy towards the puppets? <laughs> Thank you. He's such a weirdo. Okay, one more question before I dip eventually. Yeah? About the survival horror tips. What do you think a really good survival horror Half-Life 2 mod would be? I have never seen what you're talking about, Lertus. I mean, I guess you could make it. You need to follow the... Need to follow the tips that you essentially need to take like Resident Evil and Silent Hill as a blueprint for that. I don't think it's impossible, but it sounds like something really hard to make for a mod. How do I escape this? Ah, I need to go all the way out. Cry of Fear? Cr yeah, actually, yeah. Cry of Fear is a mod for Half Life 1, isn't it? to pay the toll. Yeah, okay, if you want a really good example of a survival horror game in in as a Half-Life mod, play Cry of Fear. That game is masterful. Really scary too, like unexpectedly so fucking scary when I played in. He's got so smart. Doggy. <laughs> Finally got off work. Didn't know this game this got past demo. Not dude, it released. Like I'm playing the released version. Uh take and take a token. No, I have enough tokens for that. Use this. And save. My man Gordon has such a long arm, it's ridiculous. Hello everyone! Hello Sora, how you doing? Still having a blast with this game. Oh, I need the... Medallion, 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 medallion. Sorry. Take it. Take the medallion pieces. Ah, oh, the... Ah, oh, this is full, hold on. Stash, stash, move. Uh. Mm. Move, stash, stash. No, 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 no. G give me, the, give me back the green key. And no, fuck. Take. And then move, put this over here, put this over here, and that should be good, right? Take. Oh, that takes such a... 
But I can still do it. Yeah, motherfucker. And nothing, no key items. Discarded. Perfect. That is also another survival horror thing that I love, by the way. Tetris Inventory from Resident Evil 4. One of the best additions to the genre ever. I love Tetris Inventories. They're so addicting. Oh my god, the daddy boy. I need to take care of the dogs really fast. Doggy! It's okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, they're friendly. They're friendly. They're friendly. Very good. Very good. Very good. Nice. Tools too? There's a second item box? I don't think I need it, but that sounds nice. Okay, you know one thing that I personally think this game has missing over, like, most survival horror games. This game doesn't have, like, the rich, like, soundtrack of, like, the better Resident Evil games. Like, this is really missing some, like, really, really memorable soundtrack. This battery doesn't seem to be running at the moment. Like, right now it's mostly just, like, atmospheric sounds and, like... A little bit of goofy music here and there, but mostly the areas are just kind of, like, empty when it comes to music. It is pretty fun, but I would appreciate some cool soundtrack. Oh well. It is just like a two-man development team. I can't really complain that much. What's the index? What? What did that do? Get items. Nice. Did that take care of my tokens or something? Grenades. Uh, I am not going to need the film developer for a while. I am going to move this and put this in the office. And what else would I need to take with me? Uh, I'll save later, honestly. Like, I don't need to do it right now. Thank you, Kiara, for the nine months. Nine months! The toxic baby is coming. Ew! That's not how it works, man. Mm. Is this an off-limit area? No. You can see the puppet just stuffed into the garbage can right there. I really hope that I don't find a boss. Fill your ammo! What? What? Oh shit! Why am I so low? Hold on a second. It took my ammo! Oh, because the the grenades are just like films. Like feels like it could be spring apart at any moment. Yeah, this took my my pistol ammo and it turned it into a grenade. Oh shit. Well, good thing that I had some spares. That's actually really smart. So you can turn like your pistol ammo into a grenade if you want to. Yeah! It uses, like, full clips for that. Interesting. Just save right here. 
I really like the grenades, but I would appreciate having some uh, ammunition. So I'm not going to do that. Again. But I will take this. Do 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 Eh? Stall now? Hmm, need something to power in. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. I will come back here. Oh, maybe I need to take power from the other one? Hold on a second. Let me turn this off. Yeah! Uh, rooster. Let me open up this box over here. Yep. Only one of these can be opened at a time. Fair enough, really. Okay! So, you know what this means, boys? Okay, uh, for the ones that were here on the Signalis stream... Do you know what this means? Oh, baby. This is a boss fountain. We are gonna fight a boss in like a few seconds. For those that do not know... When a survival horror game gives you a shit ton of items... That means that you're about to fight a big boss. So, we, oh my god, yeah, we have a lot going on over here. Fair enough, fair enough. Boss battle time. Let's see. Or not? You serious? Maybe it's on over there? This has to be a boss battle. Come on, bro. That cannot just have been for free. Boss fountains like that are, like, obvious. Come on. There's no way that just gave... You just gave me, like, that amount of resources for free. Hello? Over here, maybe? I'm just waiting for it, honestly. I guess these guys could, like, count as, like, hard enemies, but they're not boss battles. This is just the... back on stage four. What the hell? Oh man, that's kind of disappointing, actually. This is just back on stage four. Aww. I thought I was gonna fight a boss, okay. It was just for free. Oh well. I hyped up the chat for nothing. Oh well, oh well. What else do we need now? Yeah, we just have so much for absolutely free. Ah, oh, well, let's go put our stuff in the item box. That's so weird, man. Maybe it's for the dogs? But the dogs don't really attack you if you don't come near them. 
There's no room in the toolbox. <gasps> this is the the dog chow food. Food, 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 food for the dogs. Okay, we can we can feed the dogs with that. Hold on a second. Put this over here. Stash, 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 stash. Man, my inventory is a mess. Hold on a second. We're gonna solve that really quickly. This should be enough. Wait, the boss fights are the puppets you befriended. Yeah, but I would still like appreciate like a proper boss fight. We fought like a giant wall of flesh or like cotton, I guess, but that doesn't really count, does it? Bag mostly full of dog food, right? We will use that on the doggies so that they leave me alone. We just need to go all the way around for that. I am running out of tokens, so I will not save for now. Riss up the puppets. Riss up the puppers. As long as you, I don't come near you, you'll be fine, right? Seems like it. No. Seems like it. This is more survival uh, horror than mascot horror. What the hell? I know, right? I like that. It feels like uh, the developer, like, tricked a bunch of, like, YouTuber idiots into playing his survival horror game by adding, like, a bunch of cute puppets to it. Which I absolutely approve of, by the way. If you're gonna trick the internet into playing your actually good game, instead of just a stupid, like, mascot horror game, I 100% approve. I mean, why not, right? Mascot horror is very marketable. Survival horror is very densely packed with gameplay. Might as well have like a, you know, a little marriage between the two. There we go. Yo, puppers, come out! Yeah! Cerberus. No, 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 calm down, calm down. You're not so bad at all. Yeah! My man, Gordon! I love you, Gordon! Oh. Gordon helped the doggies. Yep, uh, I think that we just need to keep doing this for every single area of the game, so we can get the good ending. Didn't the dev say a couple times that it's not mascot horror, just comedic survival horror? I know, Sean, but like, that's... It's still considered mascot horror because he's using a bunch of marketable characters for the main enemies of the game. Like, whether he likes it or not, this is still mascot horror, at least in the, in the eyes on the internet. But you know what? Good. Good job. Mascot horror needs good games. I will absolutely, like, please include this in the mascot horror lineup. Because, like, I need a W for this genre. Please. There's so many greedy assholes that just focus on the marketable characters and don't make good gameplay out of it. Like, thank you for including this. Like, for allowing us to include this in the mascot horror genre. Like, holy fuck. This genre needs a win. Desperately. Alright. Now that we are done with those, we can put the film in the office and we can put... Hello? Hello? What? What is that? Okay, that was extra, extra toughy. You, you stay right there. Right there, sir. 
Wait, does that mean that every single statue is going to come alive at some point? Interesting. Anyways, like I was saying... What was I saying? I forgot. I'm sorry. What do you do when you get upset? You now that we are here, we can... Go into stage two. Yes. If you can swap our army, then we swap our wings. One by one, each piece was swapped, and then... Why would you build a stage on a sewer? Are you stupid? The last item needs to be around here somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. We fixed it. Where's that last item? Come on, bro. This? No, why is it red still? Rats, 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 rats. Is there like a very, very specific item that I'm not paying attention to? Look at those cute rats. Why is this room... Hello? I'm going crazy. Where's that last item? God. Oh my god. There we go. Nice. How could you ever tell me that's a shelf? All right. Fair enough. We only need the lower waterway to be able to complete. The sewers map. But where is the lower waterway? Where is this place? Go to the other boats. I can't. <laughs> yeah, this this room over here has a cave in. I'm wasting so much resources checking this. Yep, that got caved in. Shit. Uh, Phil, in the demo, there were a few off-map rooms you could get to marked by a large gathering of rats. So if you see a lot of rats somewhere, check around for secrets. Thank you. There's a lot of rats over here, but there's no secrets. Wait, how do I get back up? An assortment of the best bugs the world has to offer. Well, that one just appears in my house. Shit. Ah, fuck. Be 
And this is where the boat should be, but it's not available. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, try to use the grenade in the blocked off area. Dude, I'm holding paper. That's a paper grenade. I don't think it's gonna do shit. To rocks. Is this a soft lock? No way. There is no way that this is a soft lock. Hey Phil, try the grenade on the cave and explosive. Uh, if nothing else works out, I'll try to do that. How about it? It's not that I'm stuck, by the way. Like, I can easily go into the office right now. It's just that I want to get to the sewers. Oh well. Paper beats rock. Fuck off, that's not a real thing. Okay, I guess this game would be silly enough to do that, but no, 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 there's no way. Alright, now that we're back on the office, we can uh, unlock a bunch of these green key rooms that we couldn't before. Oh, there was one on stage four. Fuck! There is nothing else on the sewers, though, right? I guess we have to come back there eventually for the soundstage ba basement. But aside from that, the sewers is cleared off. Now we need to explore the offices once again. So the green triangle should be... Learn the alphabet. What's the alphabet? Oh, that team. It's what words are made of. Don't worry about those guys. Drop when you go to the park, bring some food for all the wild animals. For birds, you can bring sunflower seeds. We're all friendly here. Oh. Oh. Dang! Dang! <laughs> Oh, there's another gong. Why? <laughs> so violent too, Gordon. Bunch of tapes. <gasps> Giant mallet. Thursday, February 19th, 1981. My Friendly Neighborhood Studios Market Survey. In recent years, television viewership has surged and television programming has multiplied and diversified. As broadcasters scramble to capitalize on a growing audience, new favorites like Crime City and Drama Daily have grown quickly in popularity. As the war generation ages and their children, beginning to enter the ranks of adulthood, imitate their parents' viewing habits. In the same period, however, My Friendly Neighborhood's ratings have plummeted. While surveys suggest that the show is as popular as ever with the under six crowd, the new generation of parents is less and less interested in showing it to their children, preferring instead more mainstream offerings like Dinosaur Mayhem. This has prompted the City Network Broadcasting Group to put pressure on MFN Studios to reimagine the core principles of its series. And the puppets didn't take well to that. At all. <laughs> out of tape. What do you mean out of tape? Oh yeah, for the puppet. Right. The puppets didn't take well to that at all. What else do we have missing over here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, no cabinet. Nothing over here. I would watch Dinosaur Mayhem. Dude, I will watch the shit out of Dinosaur Mayhem. B. Maybe the gong is like... Something with the gong, maybe? Nope. Hmm. <laughs> 
nothing. Do I really need to do something with the gong to clear this room? What are out the fixing puppet's room? I think I saw a ladder in the back. Maybe it was covered by trash. Uh, username 1020 says, uh, on the f $5, uh, donates $5 and says, What about the fixing puppet's room? I think I saw a ladder in the back. Maybe it was covered by trash? I don't know what room you're talking about. Usually you can't really move. Oh no, yeah. The, the gongs are just gongs. They don't do anything. Ray's room? Mm. <gasps> that is absolutely Ray's room. Oh, you're so right. Shit, I'm gonna have to come back to that. Don't worry, I'll clear off the offices before we go back. Promise. But you're super right. Where the hell is that last item? My friendly neighborhood. Come on! We befriended Ray, yeah. Where the fuck is this thing? What? Oh! So that is an actual room. But you can't go through it because there's a bunch of trash in the way! Ugh. I hate feeling like I'm missing something. Look, it could be like a tiny little, like, magazine. But I don't know what it is. Fuck. Finally, it's just one coin! <laughs> it's just one coin! Oh. <laughs> uh, I wish that I could see that immensely. A single coin. Alright, what else do we need to cover? Uh, I'm back. Oh boy, what happened? Oh, don't worry, I'm just like... Obsessively covering every, like trying to cover every single bit also, of this first game. Also, first time super chatting, just to make sure you saw the message. Lol. Thank you, username. Uh, you are absolutely right, by the way. Thank you for your donation. That's a fucking coin. Oh my god, I'm just missing coins on the floor. That is so mean. Uh, this may be a stupid question, but is this game complete or is this still demo stuff? Nope, this game just came out. It is completely 100% finished, so you don't have to worry about that. Like, go buy this game. It is finished. It is great as well, so please go buy it. I'm shilling the fuck out of this game. Survival horror meets mascot horror, my beloved. How much is this game? I think about $35, uh, according to people that I've been talking to on Discord. Gonna kill this guy. Dang! But which little, small, little item am I missing in this place? Small little tiny coin, like, somewhere in this building. I am going to find all of them. I hope that you understand that. There we go. Clean! That guy understands. What do you do when you get upset? Do you let it 
We're all friendly here. Friendly, friendly. Come on. The problem with the bullets of this game being like physics items is that sometimes they just get like stuck in the environment. Kind of a, like unfair when they just like plonk off a place where they're not supposed to. When I'm clearly just like aiming at the guy. Ah, oh, it's just a single coin. You gotta be shitty. I'm just missing single coins. Oh, that's so frustrating. All right. Now we need to go into the back room. RE2, 100% all items. Pretty much. That's what I'm trying to do anyway. $25 on Steam. Check the prize not too long, but it could still be wrong. Sometimes we would swap our arms, then we would swap our legs. One by one, each piece was swapped, and then we were back to normal. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. Thank God that I taped up that girl. Uh, just go up in here and do that. <gasps> oh, I hate this. I hate those guys. Yeah. Fucking sick, sick skills, by the way. Shut up. The board room, projector room, whatever you call these. Coins. Mine. That's the all- That's all that there is here?! What?! I opened up the green... ...key that has been bothering me the whole game, and it's just two coins?! Not even, like, cool lore or anything?! Fuck outta here! You're collecting cash, dude. Not enough. It's like at least a hundred bucks. At least. All right. Where's the Where's the single coin in this area? Come on, game. Ah, it's fine. That's good. Honestly, that, that's actually very good. I like that. Okay. And now we just need to put all the projectors into place. Check tools too, please, Phil. That is back in the R... in the... In the R... A aviarium? Aviarium? Yes. I did check, and it was just empty, so I don't know what you want me to do, man. Uh, Phil, the way that the puppets just keep babbling on is funny and annoying. This is like one of the best games I've seen of mascot horror at the moment. Absolutely agreed. You know that they have like a, a thousand lines for each puppet, at least according to what the chat told me? If, if they are right, that's fucking nuts. Where the hell is the projector room? Uh, gonna go on the right side. Hey Phil, have you heard about Project Ill? I have not. Will you play Pikmin 4? I... Like the look of Pikmin, but I've never played any of the games. I could probably play a Pikmin game, but I don't have a Switch, so I don't think I'd be able to stream it. All right, let's look at tape number one.
Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh! Seven... Twelve... Four. That... Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. Where was that? Chat, where was that? 7124, 7124. Where was the combination save? Oh my god. Uh... Oh, I, I remember that from somewhere. Was it on stage four? Studio four, Phil. All right, let's go in there. You didn't grab anything. No, no, I need to put one more projector into that room. Don't worry about that. 7124. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, Chad. You're all very kind. Thank you very much. Are you well, Phil? Yep. Okay, okay, so 7124 for the combination save. I completely forgot where that combination save was. Shut up. Yeah, it was here in here? No, in set storage. It was in set storage. I'm gonna go downstairs for that. Opa! <laughs> Bitch! Oh my god. <laughs> what are you laughing at me for? I like that you can sometimes, like, when you're streaming, you can use chat as, like, your personal notepad. They'll just scream the numbers at you until you remember. Alright! Thank you very much, chat. Fuck, I already... F Hold on. Seven... Twelve... Twelve... Four. Yeah! Oh, what is this? Trumpet polish. Fuse. An old breaker fuse has a symbol on the end. Star symbol. Oh, the green key is already all used up. Nice. Hold on a second. Is that a different fuse combination? Oh, <gasps> that's a different fuse combination for the fuse box. Spade, star, diamond, heart. And it open. I would open up that locked door in the in the basement. Nice! Okay, 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 okay. That's perfect. Thank you, Pinku Cat, for the $2. Just got done watching your Hollow Knight video. Thank you. I fucking love Hollow Knights. Uh, Piss Week donates $5 and says, It's time to put on makeup. It's time to dress up right. It's time to play the music for the Muppet Show tonight. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Piss Week, uh, I just want to let you know, and everyone that has, like, funny usernames on the chat that is donating, I want to uh, warn y'all, because... Hold on a second. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I want to warn all of you that uh, their Streamlabs has a new, like, filtering system for the donations uh, on stream. Which means that if you have, like, weird usernames, like Piss or, like shit or whatever like you will probably get your donations will probably get filtered out through that system which i'm sorry piss week because like you're actually a pretty cool uh member of the toxic cesspit but your donations will not be able to appear on stream like unless you change your name so sorry about that but ju just want to let you know just in case 
because you donate a lot, and I don't want those donations to, like, be completely, like, eaten up every single time. Wait a second! I got rid of my green key! But... What the fuck? But the green thing is right there. What? It's in the storage? No? I got rid of it. You may need to find it again. Shit. You dropped it in the save. Should I go check out my item box and make sure that it's in there? Hold on. It is not in here. Fuck. That is mean. <gasps> oh, that sucks. Oh, that fucking sucks. That is mean, game. Why would you do that? I'm not sure it's a bug. I think it's just an optional area, but still, that sucks. Okay. Let's not get rid of any key items for now, okay? They may be useful in the future. Fuck that. I really dislike that. I'm not even sure it's a bug. I think it's just the way that key items are intended, but still, I want to get everything in one go. I would appreciate if the game told me what items are actually useful and which ones aren't. Oh, that's harsh. Eh. We'll come back from it, don't we? Oh, and even the dog food. Oh well. Don't worry, we can optimize our exploration now. We know exactly where the items are, we just need to collect them really fast. At least we can feed the doggies again. Yeah! Man, that's mean. That's mean, game. I actually genuinely don't like that. Alright. Let's go into stage four, open up that door, and do everything correctly. Insane puppets. Everything in the main st stage four is complete. It's completed. You mean like the word that I see in my books? Go over here. No. Fuck! Come on! Come on! I shot him like four times, dude. Alright. Where is the green key room? It is... Downstairs. I think you might be ahead of Daku. Alright. Oh, Doc was playing this game? Fuck yeah. Alright. 
so we are gonna do this again. Seven, 12, and what was the last one, Chad? Four. Perfect, thank you very much. You can technically solve this without even seeing the reel on the projector screen, which is a neat little time saver. Are you still streaming this game, Phil? I have a lot of stamina. What do you want me to say? Whenever I like a game, I play it really hard for a very long time. All right, so let's see if this works. It works. It absolutely works. That is upsetting. What the fuck? That's a key item. You need to be here. For the playground. So you can just throw away a key item and softlock yourself from content in this game. Okay, that is... That is probably definitely a bug then. Okay. A literal key item, yes. That is not good. Like, you can, you can, like, you can absolutely, like, discard this, for example, like... Like, you can, yeah, you should just be able to discard that, no problem, but... A key item? Like, no, man, that is... Really not good. Hmm... Discard one shell, why not? You should not be able to do that. Alright, well, at least I got the playground key. And does that fix everything in here? Nope, we still need the set storage... And the dressing room. All right, let's get out of here. The curse strikes once again. Uh, QA here, I have reported this issue and this will be fixed soon. Thank you, Phoenix. Absolutely no problem. <gasps> oh my God, these are the... <laughs> that is filled with enemies. I don't want to go through there. Is that the only way to go out? No. But it's pretty much. Ah, uh, let's kill some puppets. Hey, can club. Been a while since I caught one of your streams. Welcome. Here's ten freedom bucks. Oh my God, the dogs are here! Get away! Get away from the doggy! We need to go back to the park. Well, this thing is also here. <laughs> All right, we need to go back to the park, feed the doggies, and go to the playground. Fucking launched. The 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 physics are so funny, man. Feed them. I will, I will. Don't worry, don't worry, Corbin. Calm down. I love this. I love the main theme. Hey, piss week! Oh, you got out of it by replacing the letters. Good on you, man. Thank you for the two dollars. Them dogs are hungry. There you go. Look at them poppers. 
think you're saw enough for the $5. Can I quickly mention how much I love the progressive addition of enemies in previous locations as you progress? Absolutely. That, well, this is one of the best things you can do in your survival horror game. Add new enemies as you progress through the, through the locations. It adds a lot more of it, a lot more unpredictability to locations that you've already been to. This game does it a lot, actually. Like, survival horror games like do it like once or twice per room, like per like area, but not to this level. Good job, piss week. All right, now I can use the playground key in here. Sort of God, if the playground has a key item, then that's like a really bad bug. Can I quickly mention how much I love the progressive addition of enemies in previous locations as you progress? Absolutely. What is this? Looks like pegs in that bucket can go in here. What is this supposed to do? One, two, three, four. <gasps> oh, you need to see where these guys are at. Okay, so in the playground. Postman is in here. Oh, this is such a fun puzzle, though. Okay, 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 okay. So, Postman is on the right. Uh, Ray is at the bottom left. Uh, Ricky is behind us. The woman is on the left side. Woman here. Woman spotted. Let's see. No, 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 no. Where's woman? This is where woman is. This is the postman. This is Ray. This is Ricky. Let's see. Right side. Right side is the bird. Where's the bird? Oh, this is the bird. Kind of looks weird. And you know how I bullshit this puzzle? There you go! <laughs> oh my god, that was absolutely a key item. We need this to progress in the game. That is very bad, actually. But yeah, that's how you brute force a puzzle, kids. Oh well, at least we fixed that bug right away. Let's, now that we have that uh, taken care of. Wait, the green key is still not? Where the fu- Oh, cause we haven't gone back to the offices yet. And we need to go back into the office and we need to go back into the basement. We'll do that later because like we already went there, so. We are going to stash the projector for now. 
We're gonna take the weed killer and the film develop. Uh, we're gonna take the pegs away. We are going to... Instead of removing our stuff in, in our inventory, we're just gonna stash them, because, like, we don't know what could be bugged. So, uh, honestly, like, the playground key just seems like it has like, one obvious use, so I'm just gonna, like, remove it. But other keys, they may also be bugged like that. I don't want to take any chances with that. We're gonna move this... Honestly, this is for the basement, so we don't really need it. Uh, where the hell was the other key item? Was that back in the Was that back in the office? Do I need to go back to the office? Oh, I absolutely need to go back to the office. Okay. Take this. Take this. Stash this. Phil, save the game! Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Just take a moment. Just calm down a little bit. Talk, to calm down a little bit. There you go. Happy? There we go. It's alright, Chad. I know all you want to do is help. And let's go back to... Let's go to the basement first and then go to the office. Uh, hey Phil, first time making to, to a stream. Loving the gameplay so far, even though it's been five goddamn hours. Keep it up. Boy, this is not even how off- how- This is not even like a long stream for me. Like, we're probably gonna go for 12 hours until, like, I finish this game 100%. Listen, do you have a favorite type of plant? Mm, I like roses. Like, red roses. Because apparently there's more than just red roses. I like flowers in general. Give me that. Give me that. And... Done! Kane Carter asks, can someone tell me if this game has any weapons that actually feel natural in the world? Are any truly makeshift, or are they all just real-life weapon but mixed with a typewriter for some reason? Nah, they're all just bullshit. They're, they don't even have that, that like an actual reason to be here. They just seem like funny little weapons. Like, there hasn't been any lore or notes so far as to why these weapons are like typewriters. They just seem to be there because, you know, like, the whole idea is like, this is like a Muppets kind of game. And so you're shooting the alphabet at them. First time making stream been here since Sal and One. Thank you, Sal. Thank you so much. Uh, Phil, on in the demo, it says that they were used to fling the puppets during the show. That doesn't make much sense, honestly. But it's a silly little game, so... I'm not gonna, like, complain about that. Mm. Silly, silly little game. Alright, so... 
When we last were here, we took a coin from the floor. We went over to the right. Climbed up over here. Put on the projector. Press the first button. Uh, where is the entrance to the crawl space? That is on the other side. Hey, Bomberman! Hey, sorry I passed out. No problem, man. What did I miss? Uh, essentially, we've just been trying to complete the areas that we've been passing through. We need to go into the basement to do a special puzzle. To maybe obtain, like, ore power of some shit. We've been trying to teach the puppets some lessons to make them not hostile towards us. Uh, from what I'm thinking, I think that the reason for why the puppets are trying to... Are trying to kill us is because... Oh, nice. Is because they were left forgotten after everyone turned more violent because of the war. And the puppets are desperately trying to regain their popularity by hijacking the signal from TV. And now we're just a little guy trying to solve the problem by teaching the puppets some actual life lessons. This game is 9.5 sillies out of 10. What's the general consensus on this game? Does Phil like it? Is it worth $30? Dude, uh, this game is 100% a full-ass game. This is not like uh, one of those like cash grab mascot horror games that are like no. overcharged. Oh. Oh, no. Like I am, I I feel like I'm two thirds, like maybe a third of the way through the game. Like this is completely feature complete. This is absolutely worth thirty dollars. Like this is a proper ass survival horror game, through and through. And, yeah, I absolutely love it. Like, if you want to get into survival horror, if you want to, like, get into the genre that I love the most out of anything, you need to start with this game. It is very, is it is very, like, uh, beginner-friendly when it comes to that. Uh, someone said you all had already finished it. Uh, dude, no, I, th like, I think I'm halfway through, maybe? Oh, obviously, like, I'm going for 100%, and I'm, like, trying to... Uh, do as many things as possible, but I don't feel anywhere close to beating it. I think we have like maybe like two major areas left in the game. Something like that. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a bit. I wonder if there's gonna be an uh, arena type mode. Uh, maybe. Like if you look in the main menu of the game, you can see an uh question mark question mark question mark like uh option in the menu so maybe it will have a uh, more than just the main game in it i'm not going to be disappointed if it doesn't though welcome 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 so fucking funny And there we go. That's the last key item that we need. For the offices, we just need the live audience to clear the live audience room and the projection room. But aside from that, we're done with the office. I think we're over halfway there to the end of the game. Nice.
Uh, Phil, question marks are cheats that can be found in tapes and beating the game with requirements. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. Uh, yeah, I don't need to go through there. Need to go into the live audience section. That is... Through the red diamond door. Okay. Would you say there's any bad features? Well, there is some bugs here and there when it comes to, like, key items. Like, I almost got softlocked. Like, a few minutes ago. Uh, as for bad features, I really don't like the guns very well. The guns, like, are made out of, like, actual physics objects, and that can really fuck up some in some spots. But for example, if you try to shoot a character through a door, the projectile will like, get stuck in there. And sometimes you won't be able to, like, properly hit them. It feels a little bit unfair, but it's not that big of a deal, you know? Do, 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 do. Where the hell is the item in this place? Phil, have you gone to stage five yet and gotten the treasure? I have not. Last time I'll donate since I'm home now. It's Aura. It's genuinely nice seeing you enjoy this game. Smile, it's nice background noise for doing my art. Yeah. My kitty doodle page is being cooked. I am no problem, Sora. I'm just having a good old grand time. If I can fucking find the items, though. Where the hell was this? It was like a coin somewhere. Coin, 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 closet. Coin, 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 coin. Fuck. So small. All right. And there was one in here. You sound like the birds from Finding Nemo. There we go. And those are the offices cleared up. Now we need to go back to the garden. We need to go into the basement, find the fuse box, and get to raise hideouts. This is the wrong way. Spend coin, receive men. Get away from this place. Blah 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 Fucking love this game. This is like scratching an itch that I have. Like, whenever I feel like overwhelmed, whenever I feel stressed, I just want to play through a survival horror game. Kind of a shame though that I've played most survival horror games, so like I don't get to experiencing anything new. This is like this feels new. It doesn't feel like very revolutionary when it comes to the genre, but it absolutely scratches that itch. That makes me love this kind of genre. Need to organize a hark mode for this game. Uh, Kane? That would fit right in. And I think it's actually really easy, because the files for this game are just available. Like, when you download the game. I think you can just replace models. It's a Unity game. Like, I think it's very easy to mod. So, that would be kind of fun, actually. I like how laid back this game is. My only criticism, my only huge criticism that I have with this game is that there is no banging soundtrack. All the environments are kind of plain because they have no music going on in them. That's like my big complaint with this game. It needs a banging soundtrack. Especially when you're like backtracking through all these areas so often. It would, this game would benefit a lot from a good soundtrack. Uh, 
Not through there. This asshole needs a grenade in his mouth. God damn it. Yeah, the the physics can, the physics can be very janky. Oh, <laughs> okay. The physics can be very janky sometimes. Uh, Phil, is there any unique mechanics, or is this like bendy when it comes to uniqueness? There is some small things that I can tell you. For example, uh, there is a universal currency in this game that is used to both heal yourself and save the game. In most survival horror games, you for a hard mode, you usually have like ink ribbons exclusively to save in your playthrough. But this game actually has a currency that you're able to spend that you can choose between saving or healing. And I like that a lot. Uh, you can also uh, spend, you can also grind up your magazines for your pistol and turn them into grenades, which is also very nice. So like, not, a, not a, it, there's not anything revolutionary here, it's just a very nice example of the survival horror genre, you know? Alright, that's done. How are you doing, Ray? Everything good, my boy? Yeah. Trading your resources like that is quite cool. Yep, yep, absolutely. There's also the concept of taping the enemies. Uh, Kane. If you want to know, uh, one of the best things that, the, that this game does is that it gives you a lot of resources to defend yourself, but the moment that you leave a room, the enemies get right back up. Unless you use tape on them. And they will be like, stuck in place if you do that. Like, for example, look at this guy. I taped this guy, like, uh, an hour ago. Shut up. And now he is unable to get me. S there, there are, like, some survival horror games do that, where they will make the enemies come right back up after a while if you don't burn their corpses. Like, that, that is, like, Insect Nolis and Resident Evil 1. But this game has a lot of emphasis on that. Because the guns that you use, just like knock them out. Like they just send them flying. But if you actually need to get rid of an enemy permanently, you need to tape them up. Which is like, I love the focus on that in this game. Thank you. Hey Phil. Hey Atomics. to take care of some stuff, but I saw you're still streaming, so I'm back. Hello there. How's the game so far? Pretty excellent. One to ten. Uh, from one to ten, I would say maybe seven or eight. It really depends on how the game is going to end, you know. But yeah, you can't kill these guys. You just need to tape them up because they're puppets. All right. Uh, what is the combination for this? Uh, spade, star. Diamond Hearts. Spade, Star, Diamond, Hearts. What is behind this door? Nothing interesting? Hello? Where are we going? Treasure hunt. Gain access to stage five. Oh, this is the pirate cove. From the newspapers. Oh, yeah. This is more like it. I could use a vacation. Shut up, Gordon. Nah, this is not a boss fight, Chad. Definitely not. This game doesn't seem to have many boss fights. Which is fine, but... Don't put a boss fountain if you're not gonna have a boss fight. Mm-hmm. 
This does not have a map to it. Don't talk about bursting, man. That's gross. Treasure! Ah, shit. Needs some items. Hold on. Where do we put that? Ooh. Diamonds. There we go. Time to find some diamonds. Time to find the Chaos Emeralds. Hey, Toxo. Thank you for the five dollars. It does have boss fights. You can just avoid wasting resources by being friends with the boss puppets instead. Wait, have I been missing out on boss fights by befriending the puppets? Yo, bitch. I remember hearing about this game a long Holy time shit. ago, and this honestly looks really cool. Hope you have a nice day, Phil. Smile. Thank you. Holy shit, these pirates! Oh my god! A lot of health, huh? Hopefully we don't come back to this area, otherwise these are gonna get back up again. We need to find the diamonds before we head out. Those guys are a problem. Uh, are there headshots? Not that I can see. It seems that they don't really react to headshots much, which is why I haven't been bothering to do it. Alright, we got the green Chaos Emerald. Tape them? No, Neon, we are not gonna come back here. Uh, after we leave this area, we're not gonna come back here, so there's no reason to tape these guys up. Whenever you are permanently taking care of an enemy in a survival horror game, you need to think about if you're going to come back to the area a lot or not. Since we are here just for the treasure, we are definitely not going to come back here again. So it will be a waste to use the tape on them. <laughs> oh my god! I knew I'd make a good Hello, baby! Shit! Eight size. Let me open up my inventory for this. The conclu conclusion. This will bring him to a. <laughs> All right, minigun. Also, there are some coins in there. Can I pick them up? That is very mean, game. That is very mean. I can't believe we just got a minigun in a survival horror game. That is awesome. Is this map done? I think it should be done. And also, we skipped, uh, I think that's all the weapons that we need to, that we're gonna have, because we got the pistol, we got the shotgun, we got the grenades, and now we got the minigun. I think that's all of it. Don't forget the ladder. I won't, don't worry. That's probably the exit, honestly. Oh, by the way, Kane. Uh, one thing that's very important about this game, uh, that it has over other survival, uh, not survival, uh, mascot horror games, you can't jump. So you can't just completely trivialize most enemies by just jumping on a, like, shelf. And not have to worry about them, like, hitting you. The fact that there are so many mascot horror games out there that just give the player, like, a random jump button for no reason is so frustrating. Like, come on, dude. There's no reason to give your players a jump button except that you kept it on from, like, the default first-person player movement in Unreal Engine 4. Like, think about the way that your player is going to use the abilities that you give them. Come on. 
Benthi got a jump, but it's useless. Yeah, I know. Like, most mascot horror games would be scarier if you remove the jump button. Because it would give the players less of a chance to absolutely bullshit your AI. Hey, Phil, I just realized, have you found any ducks in this game? Yeah, I have. I found a lot of ducks. I just can't do much with them. And I just did a full loop-de-loop -loop for no reason. No jumping being a plus sounds so funny, but yeah. No, I know, right? It's stupid. But yeah, no, like, if you're gonna put jumping in the game, put it for a reason. Don't put it just because it's, like, there. Oh, <gasps> we're above the, the, the main stage. This is very nice. And are we gonna do a shortcut? Oh no, it's just, just jumping down in here. <coughs> Alright. Let's use the dissolving liquid to go into the hotel. Here, you can jump now. Just make sure you don't glitch the get. Yeah, and then you just immediately use it to glitch the game. Uh, Phil, so fun fact about the ducks. One of the devs behind the environmental designs actually put a duck in every single room. That explains the ducks. That was one of the Samansky brothers, the guy that has a doc in his, like, as a profile picture on Twitter. That was his fault. Alright. We have successfully cleaned out most of the locations in this game. Let's just uh, get the mixture from the... Let's get the mixture from... What is this? From the garden, and we will be able to... go into the hotel. I... Don't believe you. Sound soundstage basement is not complete. Oh my god. Ah, we're not gonna come back there until the game is over. I refuse to go clean up those little spots. We need to make some progress. Any items that we're missing over here? Not this. Hmm? No. There's like a little... There's something we're missing here. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's gonna drive me insane. It's gonna drive me insane. Where is it? There you go! Let's make the mixture now. Alright. Finally, back in here. So, according to the notes... Solvent instructions. Uh, add one jug of Luma Lux film developer, one gallon of weed out, weed killer, and one tub of virtuoso trumpet polish. Turn on the water using the tap. Press the following buttons for the indicated times. Red, 1 to 2. Green, 1 to 2. Blue, 3 to 4. Green, uh, green 2 to 3. Final solution will be dispensed below the mixing station. Okay. It even has the colors of the Resident Evil 1 uh, mixture. 
All right. Uh, it's empty. Looks like it drains if the chemical is wrong. Turn on the tap. Okay. So, red, green, blue, green. Is that good? Oh! That didn't sound good. Fuck! Should check the directions. What did I fuck up? Uh, red, green, blue, green. I just didn't do the seconds correctly. Oh, one, green, one, one, three, two. Fucked it up. Fuck. I'm horrible at this. One, one, three, two. That's it, right? We good? A fluid. Old. Gross. Perfecto. I guess we are going to go into the final area of the game. Because there is literally nothing else. Aside from just, like, some small little items that we are still left to get in the other areas. But nothing big, I think. Yeah, like... I think we are gonna go into the final area of the game. Let's go. We're going to the roof now, I think. We'll see. There was an item here that I missed, maybe? Yes. Shut up. <laughs> Oh, did I did I miss something in the in here? Yes, I got a candy bar. That was from the beginning of the game. There you go. All right, Ricky. Solve your shed. Finally. Let's get this done. Yeah! Yo, Ricky! <gasps> he got candy bars and health items for me! Thank you, Ricky! That's very nice. I... my, my inventory is quite fold up right now. He did say, say he had snackaroos. Oh, that's adorable. Apparently there's a concessions here. Can I put a... Oh my god, we can put the tokens here and get an actual snack bar. There's no room in the toolbox size too. We can get? Yeah, okay, we can put snacks in here. We, we can put, um... Tokens in here and get some snacks. That's actually great. I'm quite full up right now.
I already went through here and I didn't get much, right? Everything's closed up. Everything's closed up. All right. I wonder how this all ends. Well, either we go into the top of the tower and we destroy the signal, killing all the puppets. Or we befriend all of them. Not sure. Bill, please save! I will find a safe room somewhere around here. Do not worry. Going on over here. Oh! This is definitely the final area. Okay. What the fuck? That music's gonna drive me crazy. Gordon, you're very stupid right now. Or fearless. That's a spider right there, yep. There you go, see chat? That's our safe room. Is that an actual... Soda? Same pop with a cardboard can. Just discarding? What's that for? It's locked! <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay! Arnold's Imagination Penthouse Evening. When Ricky enters, Arnold's penthouse is in utter chaos. Furniture is lying upside down. Cardboard sheets are pulled off the wall. Art is lying on the floor. Arnold is in the corner, digging around inside his chest. Arnold, what's going on? Are you looking for somewhere? So something? Arnold looks up. Cat! You lost your cat? Have you looked everywhere for her? Yes! Have you looked in the kitchen, the bedroom, the patio? Arnold nods. He waddles over to the piano and holds out a sheet of music to Ricky. I wrote song! Hmm, I see. I take it you want me to sing this? As a reply, Arnold begins to play the piano. Ricky sings the song. Lament for cat. My cat is gone. I am sad. Where are you, cat? Cat, 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 cat. You're not in your bed. Man, this show's writing is fucking awful. Everyone say it with me right now. You sick man. Huh. All right. Well, I'm gonna stash these chocolate bars. I am. Do we really need a minigun in the main game? No, not really. We also don't need this. We also don't need this. And I'm gonna stash the green key. The green key, but I'm not gonna discard it. And this needs to be stashed. We have a chorus going on. Just came back and now you're in Elmo's world, Lamau. Yeah, I think this is the final area of the game. Pretty sure, at least. Let's save. Penthouse. I like how my item box inventory is all full filled up. Can you tell that I have experience with survival horror games? I don't know. I don't think you noticed. Let's take this and take a grenade because why not? There we go. Locked from the other side. Purple Max super chats two dollars and says. Uh, says you don't need a minigun, yet has a pipe bomb. Ah, grenade is not that useless right now. 
I am very afraid of this creature. Me. A real looker here. Mommy must be proud. <laughs> what the fuck, Gordon? My house. Oh, I got the map. Oh, it even like fills everything up in like crayon coloring. That's adorable. Don't you dare get back up. This reminds me of like Ib. For anyone that was on that stream. Kinda of weird. But there's definitely something in here that I'm missing. Red. Locked. Me when I take your five plush away. Me, f me when you take five plush away. <gasps> you can see the regular, like, room floor underneath the cardboard. Race car bed. You know what would be really nice to have here? A lighter? Check the internet. My god. <laughs> Where are my socks? Fish, 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 fish. To do, find my cat. Hi, how are you? This is adorable. Games. Secure login. Cam A B Sounded like that came from the other room. Oh, <gasps> you can open up the f you put you can open up the paintings using this. That is so stupid. I like that. Yeah, yeah, guys, we have cameras over here. We have cameras over here. You got a, you got something to say about that? Fuckers. Aw, look at Ricky! MFN. Oh! Hello there, Goblet. Switch game. <laughs> Alright, what do you want with the Switch game? Oh my god! This is indeed a Switch game. <laughs> so stupid. Puts a smile on my face. The jump game. <laughs> Car game. Oh, that asshole. This is so dumb. All right. Best Switch game of the year. Not from this room. No wonder they're crazy. These games suck. Hey, they're trying their best, man. I need to put stuff in here. There's nothing to wash. Why is Gordon taking this seriously? Is that a real light? Phil, sorry, but I'm gonna say the F word. God damn it. Oh my god. Oh my god, I need to cook. We need to cook. We're gonna cook! We're gonna cook! Oh, get the chocolate bar. Nice. Grab the can. Grab this. Grab this. Alright, so. We need to put the milk in the microwave to get cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh 
Oh, this area is beautiful, though. All right. We need to put... We need to use the tomato and the knife to get ketchup. Well, obviously. <laughs> I fucking love this. All right. We need to put the cans... We need to put the cans on the stove and not look at it for 20 seconds to get a pot roast. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah! That is so cute. That is so cute. That is so cute. Oh, we need to put the cheese with the knife to get a banana. <laughs> and put the ketchup in the in the microwave to get oil yeah 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 sure yeah whatever you say buddy what was she cooking all right and finally we need to put the oil the pot roast and the banana inside of the microwave for five seconds to get a key all right all right, I'll, I'll play your game. I'll play your game. All right, just wait for f one, two, three, four, five. Gordon! Cardboard key. A piece of cardboard with a picture of a key scribbled into it. Where's the lamb sauce? This music is driving me fucking insane, by the way. Good. Oh my god. It's locked. Yeah, I know. Could we use the purple key for that? No. Maybe? Can't use it on this. Yeah, obviously. Like, obviously this is not the purple key box. Obviously. Well, you asked for a soundtrack. Here's your soundtrack. God. You s <gasps> That's the real key, though. What? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, that's... Oh, that's fucking funny. Gordon, why are you playing along with this man? Come on. You're better than this. <laughs> this is so fucking goofy. <laughs> the fire. Oh, you can quick turn. Shit, I just found out you can quick turn. That's weird, okay. My Art by Arnold. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. You're an artist, mate. That's it. Amazing art. Just mwah, mwah, beautiful. Just mwah, beautiful. Oh, 
what the fuck? All right, we done with these rooms. I wonder what this game would look like with ray tracing. <laughs> All right, we need three more. Purple chest on the left. The gone on the first room, Phil. Let me go check that out. Ah, shit. <laughs> Get one of those and some of these and some of these. I had locked with the purple pentagon key. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure, buddy. I'm sure it did. <laughs> I'm I'm very sure it did. Is that fucking Arnie? <laughs> hey Phil, Hold on a second. Have you ever thought of playing the Hail Walled Loophole? If you have played or watched it, any thoughts? Uh thank you. Thank you, Jairus uh MC for the twenty dollars. Hey Phil, have you ever thought about playing Hail Ward Loophole? If you have played or watched it, any thoughts? I have no idea what that is, Jairus. I have no idea what that is. I guess I'll try to look up, look it up later. That's actually Beta Norman. Oh yeah, right, I remember when uh, the main puppet in this game, Norman, had a blue and red striped shirt. Shit. Is that a giant skull? Is that fucking cardboard water? It's stuck to the. How are you? How are they doing that? Where's that noise coming from? Oh my god! Shut up! <laughs> There's so many fucking chattering. Oh, we actually need to pay the pay attention to the art. Fuck. Oh, we needed to actually pay attention to the kid's art. Oh fuck. Hold on. Uh there. And okay, Chad, do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? The doggo was two. All right. Um. The fruits was the last one. Shit. What the fuck? The City Tribune, Saturday, January 1st, 1983. Box Office Report. A puppet winter song, the eighth film in the My Friendly Neighborhood franchise, opened over the holiday weekend to an underwhelming 1.4 million box office, signaling that the film will far short of covering the 25 million budget. Yeah, this place got shut down super hard. Fuck. Super hard. Yeah. It was a massive flop. Floppy, 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 floppy. Oh, that is, that's why they have speakers. Now it makes sense. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, the shapes was the first one. Then it was the fox. I know the fruits were the last ones, so the third... Mm. 
Mm. Colored blocks? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So does this game have a mechanic like in Resident Evil, where there is a chance to blow off an enemy's head and have them permanently dead? There is not. I don't think there's any mechanics where you can just like instantly kill them. Which is kind of sad actually, I really like the 10% headshot, blow the face up chance. Wrong, co wrong colored blocks? Ah oh, shit. Let me go reset it. Nope. Alright. We will do these first. Then this. Then... This. And... Lines? Go check the book for fuck's sake. No, I refuse. Lines slash circles and then fruit. Haha! -ha! Who needs to go check back when you got chat? Thank you. Nice. That's actually very much appreciated. Thank you, chat. Fuck off. <laughs> I fucking love these guys. I'm running out of room for my safe room box. That is fucking funny. Yeah, I can't put any more. Maybe I should just actually... Eat one candy bar, maybe. Alright, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna save, I'm gonna eat the candy bar, and then... It says that you don't need to use the purple key anymore, but I think that's a lie. Have I even used the wrench once properly? I don't think I have. Alright, let's use the save station. Grab the minigun. But we need it for when a boss shows up. Hello! You look creepy. Are you okay, my dude? Oh, you look really creepy, actually. If you didn't stop banging on the piano like that, my ears were gonna start bleeding. Uh, no. Yes. Do it. Do it. I can't read music. <laughs> Get off me, you bitch. Get off. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh. Yama hi. <laughs> what a weirdo. Great. Sounds good, buddy. I'm gonna go now, okay? Adorable. Gordon helped Arnold. Miss it for four hands. We going up? Are we at the final area? Bye bye, Arnie! I think we uh, crossed the point of no return. July 15th, 1983. Mr. Gerwald. We are writing to inform you that, effective immediately, the show My Friendly Neighborhood has been cancelled and the production company MFN Studios has been dissolved. All assets and equipment, including puppet performers and the studio lot, remain the property of the City Network Broadcasting Group. All employees have until 
close of business on Friday, July 22nd to vacate the premises. Respectfully, Lawrence Blacksoul, Vice President of Programming, City Network Broadcasting Group. I can... Stop. Internal error Fine. could not terminate broadcast. Yes, I'll go out and do it myself. So let me guess. This would be the main ending of the game, right? But there is a weird energy sphere ball in the bottom of stage four that I haven't done. There's a dressing room that I never opened up. There's soundstage, soundstage basement still has an item left over. The projection room is still missing one reel. And there's an item at the start of the penthouse that I haven't gotten. Yeah, there's a, like a weird orb. But the thing is, how do I do the demon core? Like, there is... I don't have any notes or anything that tell me how to take care of, like, a weird demon core. Is that, like, a secret that I have to find in the game? That's probably the last reel. The symbols were above Arnold's fireplace. Hold on a second. Yeah, I know that's the end of the game. I don't want to go into the end of the game. Oh look, he's just hanging out in there. Yo, bitch! Alright, time to reload. Yeah, we are at the end of the game. We are gonna do 100% and then we are gonna disable the radio station. If you didn't start banging on the piano... Hey, Philly Cheesesteaks, do you think you'll eventually play the Resident Evil 4 remake? DUDE! No. I played- I had like seven streams of that game! That's my favorite game of all time! What do you mean, Mr. Nice Guy? Okay, okay. That's like my favorite game of all time, dude! What do you mean? What do you mean have you played the Resident Evil 4 remake? Come on, bro! Thank you for your donation, it's still very much appreciated. But that's like one of my favorite games of all time! So yes, I have played it. Stop avoiding the question, Phil! What do you mean?! <laughs> Alright. Anything to do in here? Probably just use tokens for those, right? Don't have any tokens. Do I need to get every single candy bar to do that? That would be... Horrifying. Please don't tell me I have to do that. L let me know if there's like an item in here that I can pick up. Because I do not want to do that. Ring the bell on the desk. I can't. I already did. I think you can put clothes on the busts. Huh. Where is Arnold? Shit. Hold on a second.
Did Phil get the five masks? Oh yeah, a long time ago. We're at the end of the game, buddy. That's like the middle portion of the game. What a weird location. Oh yeah, I very much like it, Kako. Can you try the cheat modes after you complete the game? Yeah, sure, why not? You mean this fireplace? Square, circle, diamond, circle, square? I think that just doesn't mean anything. Hmm. All right. What else? Like, what do we need to solve this? Like, there is one last puzzle that we need to do to co properly complete this game. And after that, we can finish it properly, you know? The shooting range minigame? I... beat that, didn't I? I already beat that, yes. Phil, the damn shooting gallery gives a reel, probably. Well, if you go into the offices, it doesn't show the... It doesn't show the shooting range as incomplete. The garden is completely cleared up. The penthouse is completely cleared up. The hotel... The first floor hotel is not cleared up, but that's probably because of candy bars. Hmm, set storage. I guess we need to go and check that out. And we need to go into the east basement. Phil, you might have needed the chain cutters for the thing in Studio 4. There's no way. Please don't tell me that's real. Oh, that would be so bad. You can't tell me that there's two items in this game that are bugged up and they allow me to just this get rid of them. This game is the result of Bioshock and Sesame Street having a baby. You can't tell me that that's... that I got rid of a key item in this game. Oh, that would be so bad if that was the case. Because I got, like, like almost everything done. Please tell me that's not true. Ah, shit! Come on! There we go. This is the dressing room? No. Nope. This is the dressing room. It's taped shut. No, like, bolt cutters aren't not used for this. You don't use bolt cutters to open up Duct tape? That's not true. You're fucking with me. What? What? Hold on, what? Wait, we, we, we complete- What? So- So it's just not- Just don't need to open this? What? I found the tape! And that's it? That's what was missing here! No, it was not the gong, it was the tape that I got, but... 
you just don't need to open this. This very obvious openable spot. You can't actually open it. What the fu- okay. Uh, uh, okay. That- That's fucking weird, man! Okay! No! Everybody, everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. Phil, maybe it's a difficulty thing? Fuck if I know. I hate this guy. Where do I go? Here? That's very odd, man. Hey Phil, are you gonna make a stream of the entirety of the Henry Stickman collection? I have- I have been meaning to play through those games. Maybe. Maybe. Phil, in the novelist room, there is a blueprint of the device. The code is there. Huh. Thank you, Max. That is on the basement, right? We are gonna go check out the basement right now, so that would be very useful, yes. Alright! Let's go get that code. Phil, will you play Ruin? Is your mother a whore? Just asking, you know? Where else do we need to go? Soundstage basement. We can finally get the tokens and take this and take this and take this and use the cola and use the candy bar because why not? Hey Phil, will you play any any of the Yakuza games? Dude, I love Yakuza, absolutely. Sleeping can be the best part of your day. Welcome. I move really fast. This is very good for speedrunning, actually. Right? Got that. And finally, we need to go into the Novelist area to find the code for the. Sure is, uh, sure is lonely these days, huh? oh. Hey! Hey! Oh! Oh, yeah! Into the novelist area to get the code. This is not the place I needed to go. Lunch is my favorite meal of the day. I always eat the food that Actually, yeah, maybe it is. What genre of books do you like to read? Uh, mystery is always good. Friendly, friendly, friendly.
da 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 Phil, apart from PvZ, have you ever played any recent new good mobile horror games? M mobile games. I have not. I don't play any. I don't play any mobile games. What's your favorite animal? Capybara. 100%. There's no other animal that compares. Maybe a goat. Sheep in general. I love sheep, honestly. Yeah, okay. There's a, It's a toss-up between a sheep and a capybara. Sheep slash goat. Like, you know, goats are just less fluffy sheep. That's adorable. But that is not the item that I needed. What's up with this? Do I need more candy bars? Or am I just missing an item around this location? Get the minigun. Oh no, dude, I, I already got the minigun like an hour ago. Huh. I guess I just need to use more... I need to get more candy bars. Really, is that is that what I need? Is there a code in the vending machine? I don't know. B two A one C three. There has to be a code. Check way to staircase. Like, if I come up here, this is- this place is clean. Maybe in one of the pots? This is so frustrating. Gonna head out. Gotta work on a script and footage. Thank you, Spot On. Yeah, the only thing that I can more or less figure out is, like, the concession stand. A, B, C, one, two, three. A, B, C, one, two, three. Ah! That would be so funny, though. Yep, no, doesn't seem like it. Like, I feel like we're at, like, 98% completion of the entire game, and that bothers the shit out of me. A, B, C. It's as easy as one, two, three. Na, 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 na. A, B, C. One, two, three. Maybe you met me in... Didn't someone say something about the novelist room? Yep, I am currently going toward there. Thank you. Hey Phil, have you ever played the point and click game Zoom Beanies? I have not, Ashton Miller. Not in there. Novelist, 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 novelist. Where the hell... Where the hell did we find the shotgun? It was somewhere at the start of the basement, wasn't it?
Okay, now I need a fi AI. Fuck! Get frustrated. Where the hell is the novelist room? <laughs> Wait, oh, my God. Oh, oh, geez. Jesus Christ. Oh, man, that's gonna hurt. Jesus Christ. In the noir detective room. It's the room right close to the boat arrow near the elevator. Oh! Alright, I'll go there. Thank you. Hey, DK! Hey Phil, chat and I think there was a token on the table closest to the counter back in the room with the candy bar vending machine. There was a token on the table closest to the back in the room with the candy bar vending machine. If that's the- if that's the one thing that I'm missing from the room, I'm gonna pull my hair out. But thank you. Okay, this is the novelist. Oh my god. The mystic maze. All right, chat. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. All right. Very nice. We found a secret in the game. Whoever told me to go into the novelist room, thank you sincerely. Because I would have been... I, I'm going crazy trying to find all the secrets to this game right now. All right, sick. Demon core time. Thank you so fucking much. I like that the chat likes to call it the demon core. This entire area is clear now, right? Yes. We don't need to ever come back here ever again. Put a screwdriver in it. You're welcome, neighbors. Thank you, Max. Very much appreciated. And is the offices completely cleared up? No, we need to go into the... Project. We need to find one last projector reel. Got it. Oh, we're doing 100% now, boys. We're doing 100%! Of horror games! Hey, Phil, have you played Purgatory? I have not. Thank you, Maku. 100%, let's go. We can have a hot percent. Set storage still needs to be done. Philly's paster locked in your basement. And he is currently on house arrest. Okay, so. Token on the table closest to the counter in the room with the candy bar machine. No, this is not a token. This is just an ashtray. Is there a token around here? No. No. Yeah, no, this place is just completely cleared up. Like, if I... If there was an item here that I was failing to pick up, like, that would be ridiculous.
Let's go into the demon core room. I am still so flabbergasted that there is... No way to open up that taped up closet. Alright, let's go to set storage. I must be mistaken, my bad. No problem, DK, you're just trying to help. Uh, where was the set storage? Over there. There we go. Hello, Demon Core. So, we need the cup, the double P, the three scratches, the triangle, and the double J. Oh! Velvet Mask. A velvet mask could have been used in a play or a horror movie. Where do we put that? Where the f fuck would you possibly... I mean, I guess the mask room? It would have to be the mask room, right? Alright, let's go into the office, I guess? Maybe that one that was scared of the spiders? Let's try it out. Huh. Statue's room. Statue room in there. One of the statues in the lobby? No. There's a room there's a room back in the, the offices with a with the statues that you actually put the masks on. Actually, maybe I should save. I've been doing a lot of uh, a lot of stuff right now. I should probably save, just in case I lose any progress. You know what I mean? There we go. Where does this lead again? Eh, whatever. Hey, Phil. Just finished the game myself. Hope you like it. I thought it was a fun time. Oh, I'm just having fun, like, getting 100% every single thing in the game. Thank you, Piss Week, for uh, the food and the $5 super chat. Alright, so... For those that wanted to test out the busts over here... Oh! <gasps> you can place it on these! Hi Phil, I just finished Shit. the game myself. Hope you like it. I thought it was a fun time. One, two, three, four, five... Do I need to get the masks from the other statue room? How do I know which masks will go where? 
It is time for chat to have coffee and snacks, hamburger, chips, slice of pizza, hot dog, taco, coffee, There's tea, more. tropical drink, cup. Is that why it, it is red? Oh, shit. All right, hold on. Let me reload. Back to the garden. We are going to put the mask over here. We're going to use the bottle. Stash, stash. All right. We are going to go get the masks from the statue room. And we're going to place them over there. But how do I know what emotions are which? Is this like a super secret ending that I'm getting at the moment? Like it doesn't, this doesn't feel like it's part of the main game. This feels like a, this feels like a secret that I'm doing. You know what I mean? Has anybody figured this out? Because the game just came out today. You may be the first one, not gonna lie. Well, that's a motivation to keep going. I'm gonna try getting the other masks. <gasps> Fuck! Well, Spiff, fin uh, Spiff finished the game, like, hours ago. Well, did he get the... what I'm going for right now, though? Did he get, like, the super secret ending, or whatever this is? Hmm. Hi, Fist Gnome. Hello there! This is my first super chat, and I wanted to say I love your content. Thank you! You are my favorite streamer. Thank you, Leshy. Very glad that you're enjoying this. Hmm. You're running out of ammo pretty bad. Yep, that I am. Good thing that I saved the... Good thing that I saved the grenades and the minigun for the final boss. Still don't know what that looks like. <laughs> Thank you. Hello there, hey, DT Gaming. Hello, FNAF Plus going. Hope everything. Also, remember to take your time and focus on yourself before finishing the game. Can't wait to play too. Oh, thank you, DT Gaming. Uh, don't worry, the game is going well. It, actually, it's going to release tomorrow, so look forward to that. One more mask. Put it over here. Put it over here. And take the big mask. Now this is gonna be difficult because I have no basis on understanding which mask to put where. You know what I mean? Like are the are the, this does this say anything? Does this? Let's try it out. Like this is a 
One, two, three. There's no reason for this to be here. Like, this is driving me crazy! Norman, Junebug, Leonard, Liliana, George. And these doors, like, are not open. One, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three. Like, what are these doors for? This is driving me crazy. All right, just, okay, just maybe put the masks the way that they were before. So, Junebug was happy, and George got caught off in traffic, and Liliana, I think, saw a bug? No, uh, Norman had a shitty day, and Liliana saw a bug, and this is freaky. Oh, what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Swap Leonard and Liliana. Okay. Oh! This area is off limits. This is driving me fucking crazy. George saw a bug? No. George got caught off in traffic, I know that for sure, because George is the taxi man. You can always check the note. I know, but that I don't think that I don't think the note is part of this. What does it mean? Do the room numbers work on the vending machines? Seemingly no. <laughs> Let me go check the notes. Question, if I were to have a theme song, would it have the freedom light motif from Deltarune? Ah, probably not, Ashton. I don't think Fi is being controlled by anything. Uh, okay, let's go to the office. New save. On the war. Oh, there's not. Oh, no, no, you can't even check the notes because the puzzle. Yeah, the, the, the thing with, where the puzzle was is not a note. George angry <sighs> Junebug. Happy, Norman angry Liliana. Scared. George is angry, Junebug is happy, Norman... Liliana scared? Liliana is scared? Norman is angry? Okay, why? Wait, you said angry twice. I can't really put angry twice. That doesn't work. Try typing one, two, two, then go to the door. Okay, I, that, this just seems like pure speculation. One, two, two, and then we go to the door. This is definitely not gonna work. Definitely didn't work. <sighs> this 
This is driving me crazy. The solution to the masks are in the meeting room in the office. Fuck! Okay, let's go back. I knew that fucking room was used for something. That's why we could go there. Fuck! All right, let's let's take some like boosters to help us like go there faster. Take my fucking candy bars. Like you guys don't understand. I'm fucking stubborn. Like I'm gonna fucking crack this shit no matter what day one. I see a secret, I'm fucking solving it. Where's the meeting room? Where's the meeting room? Conference room. And near where the statue room is. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Let's go. Most stubborn person alive. Dude, like, this game is cool. Like, I want to get everything 100%. Yeah, we're very fast with this. Holy shit. Of course, it had to be the conference room. What do you do when you get upset? Candy bars are very useless, gotta be honest. All right. Why? Oh, there's just nothing in here. Yeah, there's just nothing in here. Oh, well. Guess that room is just useless. Could we find emotions for all five characters? Maybe the projector? <gasps> Maybe the projector room. Maybe the projector room. Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. Maybe the colors match the color of the characters? I don't think that's the case, honestly. Yeah, they don't have mouths, so it's not like you'd be able to see what they're feeling. Right? Hmm. Strange question, but if I plush real, what about Fi Pillow Pet? A pillow pet is a plushie that doubles as a pillow. I would love that. <sighs> That's not gonna work out. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? 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 Maybe emotions from the notes slash scripts? If you read the scripts, maybe that will be something? But try to read that. Episode 16 script. 
Stevie. No. Episode script. Stevie and Ricky enter. That is, those are not the characters. Episode 346. Ricky. Goblets. Yeah, these are not the characters. Ricky Arnold. Yeah, these are not the characters, so they don't show any emotions through there. Uh. Shy Mike has been member for four months and says, Hi Phil, drove to LA all the way from North California only to find out that my hotel reservation was canceled. Oh my god. Hopefully you're, you're gonna be okay, buddy. Oh my god. This is driving me nuts. This is driving me for real fucking insane, though. This is fucking... New Game Plus puzzle? No way. Junebug had a good day, Norman had a bad day, Liliana found a big mouse, George got cut off in traffic. Goober? That is not the puzzle we're talking about. This is the other mask puzzle. The mask puzzle that I'm not sure people have even found a way to solve yet. Which is kind of crazy if you think about it. Liliana in episode 16 was getting pushed around. Hmm, maybe ha that has something to do with it? It could be anything. That's the thing, like... It could be literally anything. Could be the opposite of the original puzzle? Yeah... <sighs> Phil, what if we just try out all the solutions? Do you really want to do that? I can do that. It's just that I'm asking you, do you really want to do that? Brute force it for two hours. All right. If you, if you want that, there's no room in the toolbox. Put some music while you're at it. Super speed. All right. We're gonna brute force the shit out of this puzzle, boys. Oh boy! Super speed. All right, so. That doesn't work? Hold on. Shit, well, I just ran out of ammo.
I forgot what the fucking oh uh. That is Fuck Phil try the order angry scary Shocked sad happy, okay Angry Scary Shocked, sad, happy. Did I hear a click? No. What the fuck? Well, well thank you, that random guy. Oh. What the fuck is going on, even? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What? 718? Random guy W? We can't brute force this. 718? Why? Shout out to that random dude. This is definitely some ARG bullshit. July 18th. Who was that random guy? Who was that random guy? Am I hearing Morse code? Type banana. Ba na na. What? Eight thirteen? Did that change because I did? Okay, that changes because of the numbers here. If you change this, you get a different number, I, I guess? No. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Thank you, memes and music, I guess. February 21st? Try Gordon. Maybe get it to zero. This is so fucking annoying. This is absolutely a mascot horror game. People here that th that said, No, Phil, this is not a mascot horror game. This is just a survival horror game with puppets. Look at what I'm doing right now! This is a survival horror game. This is the kind of shit that MatPat gets to talk about in his theories. Huh. August? Oh. Fuck. Oh. This is so annoying to spell out. This is so annoying to spell out. <laughs> there are no numbers. A, B, C, one, two, three. A... B... C one Fuck. T 
two, three. Okay. The noises in the background are Morse code. This is not Morse code. Maybe the lower the number, the closer you are to the correct answer. Okay, what if I put zero, 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 zero? At least I got the combination right. Like, other ARG solver people are gonna be able to do this. Can't wait for Matt. Like, can't wait for a month to pass, and then I see Matt Pad, a uh, Matt, Matt Pad, fucking YouTube upload. The secret, the disturbing secret of my friendly neighborhood. It's totally gonna happen. This is a spectrogram. Yeah, this is a, this is a, this is like Portal Two level of secret. I cannot solve this on my own. Yeah, no, the I. I give up. I give up. That is like a- that is a spectrogram. If you know- if you've, uh, been to the Portal 2... Uh, fucking... What's it called? The Portal 2 Potato ARG? Potato Sack ARG. Uh, and you've played through Portal 2 and you've seen some Portal 2 Easter Egg videos, you know that that is a spectrogram image. And for a spectrogram image, you run it through a specific machine that'll translate a sound into an image. That is 100% a spectrogram. Where are the com- why is this combination the way it is? It's so fucking funny. Well, uh, let's finish the game. Actually, let's actually just finish the game, okay? I think that I've given up on getting 100%. My friendly neighborhood is actually real. Game theory. Stash this. Stash. Let's get prepared for the final boss. Ah, shit, right, I need the minigun. There we go. Honestly, who the fuck is going to use the wrench? There we go. Save up. And... Heal up. And now just garf down all this... all this juice. Whatever the fuck the final boss is, they ain't got oh, shit on me. I feel sick. <laughs> Alright, let's see how fast this is. <laughs> Yo, Ricky! <laughs> Yo, Ricky! I'm a bit hopped up right now. Do you know where the... you know where the antenna is, bro? bro? I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> oh, we ran out. That is sad. 
Imagine being a speedrunner and doing that for the entirety of the game. Final boss is about to get wrecked. Pizza Tower Lap 2 be like. All right, let's go. Fine. I guess I'll go out and do it myself. Man, Gordon has really long arms. I like that this is just in the middle of a city, by the way. Sad music. Still in a dream, Snake Eater. All right. Mama, not to haunt her. Yo, Ricky! You gonna prom me destroying this tower, or are you just gonna, like, stand over there and not do anything? Oh, you just had a screwdriver up your ass all this time? I guess he did. Gordon! You don't have to do this! I knew it! I don't want you broadcasting, Ricky. You're gonna hurt kids. Hurt them? Gordon! We want to help them. They need us. You need us. Uh huh. Okay. For what? Gordon, look at this city. The buildings are dark and the streets are empty. No one knows how to be a friendly neighbor. Do you? It's a city of shuttered up hearts, and they need someone to let in the light. Weirdo. I don't think that's you. You know why I think we got cancelled? Why? Because people like darkness more than light. Fucking why would edgy they bitch. Maybe it makes them uncomfy because it shows how. Don't say uncomfy. What are you talking about, Ricky? I'm talking about our show, Gordon. We show them how to be friendly, and they hate that because they're not friendly. I don't think that's the problem. Really? Are you sure about that, Gordon? Do you really think the city network suits care about anything except their bank account? I mean, that's true. Do you really think people won't take any excuse to ignore their own issues? Come on, Gordon. We both know. Deep down, you want to be friendly. I mean, he's right, but also, he almost died, like, several times. So, fuck you. Oh! That was okay. not the final area. Where are we? Ah, oh, shit. Stage six. Okay. That is new. Oh, shit, we're not done with the game. Oh. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Oh, that ain't good. I still have to play the game. 
Also, did the stream just disconnect? Hello? Where's everyone going? Bingo? I don't have any tokens. Where are my leftover tokens? Did I use them all? Nope. Save! Hold on just a second. Apparently, YouTube chat just disconnected completely. That is weird. Alright, uh, well, I'll just keep playing. Do, 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 do. Reflection, part two. Driven by a restless spirit, I go up on the roof. And there, above the wreckage of the city, I see stars, pure and beautiful and very close. Something about them stirs a vague memory in me. Like I'm looking into a wondrous other world that I've forgotten. And as I stare, I suddenly hear something speak to me. Something that says, I am with you. Someone who can reach down, pull me out of the pit, and bring me home. Do super chests still work? Yeah, they do, Ashton. There we go. There's Chad. I don't know what the fuck happened with you guys. Can't go in there. It's so dark. I'll probably trip over a stage light. I I thought for sure that my, I had disconnected Hello? for a second. Gordon. Ricky, I'm here. Oh, Gordon! Thank goodness. So what are they? Bad puppets? Oh, Gordon, I really hope you wouldn't find out. It's so embarrassing. What? We were all curious. What do you mean? We wanted to know what other shows had that we didn't. We'd never been allowed to watch television before, but after we got canceled, no one was around to stop us. Okay. So we turned on one of the old sets, expecting to see something amazing. But it wasn't amazing. It was mean. It felt like we were dying, Gordon. We all got a little twisted then, but some of us. Great. Then how do I get out of here? Well, there's uh, th th there's an elevator somewhere. Uh, should be at the end of that hall. It said it's locked down. Oh, that means you'll have to pull the security release. That's on the other side of their stage. There. Of course it is. If I ever get out of here, I'm going to make you into a hat, Ricky. <laughs> I like that Gordon oh, just accepts you, this. Gordon. Just do your wham blam fight the puppets thing. Give him the old ABC one, two, three. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. Flashlight. Not sure. Don't think they do. All right, let me get some... Take this and this. Flashlight time! What the hell is gonna happen now? Okay, that is the emergency release. Got it. The unfriendly. Ah. These puppets are like fucking children. They just imitate everything they see. That's kind of fascinating. Is Oh my god! Whoa! Ooh, that's creepy! Fuck this shit! <laughs> ah shit!
Uh. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. <laughs> this is so fucking goofy. Destroyed. <laughs> Idiot. Anyone else? No. Oh my god. Horrifying. Get wrecked, idiot. Yeah, this is why you save the minigun for the final boss. All right. What about the other guys? Do the other guys also want some, like, a piece of Gordon? No? Alright. Man, I wanted to see more of those creepy puppets. That was kind of like a small section of the game. Oh well. Hello? What is this? What is this room? Oh my fucking god, this is the... Dear children, I am sorry to announce that this will be our final episode. I wanted to take a moment to address you personally, so that you may have a final lesson to remember after we're gone. Our world can be hard and scary. It can sometimes be difficult to know what's right and wrong, because the world is broken, and we're broken too. Our hearts are hollow and Thank dark, you. unfriendly, and there Wait, is nothing in this Gordon world that can fix us. No beauty, brother, no power, no food, no fame. With that name. What we need is for our light beyond our world, the light that is also love, to reach down and seize our hearts and bring us back to itself. In our show, we've tried to give you a glimpse of that light, so that the message I want to leave with you is this. Have faith in the light. Sometimes it may be scary. Sometimes it may hurt. Sometimes it's hard to know what's right and wrong. Because good and bad are all jumbled up and confusing. And when that is when that happens, it can hurt a lot. But have faith in the light. Because the light will rescue you from the darkness. It's still not the fucking thing that we needed to see. <laughs> Sorry, that was a beautiful message, but I... It, it's missing my completion percentage. Oh, well. Oh, well. So I guess that's it then. Nothing more to say, Ricky? Guess not. I'm gonna see that 99.8% completion rate and I'm gonna lose my mind. I wanted the horror section to go on further. Me too. Me too. There's like one room, really. Well, I guess Gordon's Gordon, job is done. You're alive. Hey, bitch! I'm so proud. Good. I'm leaving. Yes, you should. Job well done, Gordon. Turned off our antenna and survived the unfriendly neighborhood. You're a handyman extraordinaire. Don't mock me, Ricky. Mock you? I would never. Oh, before you go, 
I was wondering if you'd do us a favor. Oh? You've been hanging around the studio. You know a little bit about our show. Spit it out, Ricky. I was wondering if you'd help run our studio. What? Huh. See, everything's really old and falling apart. Really beyond our ability to care for. You think? And on the personal side, I think it's obvious that we need a bit of a guiding hand. Are you kidding? Gordon, do I look like a sock that would kid? <laughs> Ricky, I'm just a maintenance man. I don't know how to run a studio. Oh, I think you can handle it. It can't be that hard. Besides, look at how much you've helped us just since you got here. I talked to the other puppets. Review. <laughs> yeah! What if you end up like them? I don't think we're the ones you should be worried about, Gordon. Come on. Won't you be our neighbor? Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha! I mean... Oh, I should have saved before this point. Say yes for the true ending. All right. Hey, crazy Arso. Hey, Phil. Thank you for the twenty dollars. Grim War and Tangle Tower. They are a pair of point-and-click murder mystery games that are part of a larger story. They have a lot of passion put into them that I think you might like. Mm, I'll put that on the list, crazy Arso. Thank you. Fine. We'll give it a shot. Oh, Gordon, I'm so glad we will have such fun. I'm not living here, though. Well, we'll talk about that. Oh, <laughs> Gordon, thank you. Thank you for being our friend. I am bursting at the seams. I must go tell the others at once. Tomorrow night, then? Uh, no, 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 it's no. It's decided. Tomorrow night. See you later, Gordon. Arrivederci. Toodaloo. <laughs> 23 skidoo. Ciao. O'Brien. What have you done this time? I helped the neighbors get a slot on public access TV. It was late night on weekdays. I don't think anyone watched it. Within a couple of weeks, though, word was starting to get out. Aww. Some people loved the show, some people hated it. That caught the network's attention. And by the end of the year, we had three channels wanting to sign for a whole season. Yeah! Of course, after my boss found out I was involved, I got fired. Aww. But somehow, I feel a little hopeful about it. It's hard to describe. It's like you've been lost in a tunnel. Until suddenly a voice calls your name. And you turn around, and you see the rising sun. And it's so bright, maybe it hurts a little to look at. But you don't care. Because it's leading you home. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely more going on in the story than then. But good ending, though. Very nice. Yeah! Created and directed by John Samansky. Uh, Piss Week donates $5 and says, Wait, is Gordon O'Brien a reference to Big Brother? I have no idea. Oh, the lyrical version! Aww. And yes, Arlo voiced Ricky. This is adorable. The rest of the game had better, like, oh, had any soundtrack, uh, though. I think I ended early. Can Aww. we uh, go back to the beginning? Yeah. Five hours, 37 minutes. B. Zero deaths, 24 saves. Just like a survival horror game would, just giving me the results at the end. Unlocked at cheats, modes, speedrun mode, 
free cam mode, infinite ammo, tiny Gordon, veteran, long arms, jointless ragdolls, chinkmuck voices, different bullets, mega wrench. Holy shit. Speedrun mode, free cam mode. This is locked. Infinite ammo. Mega wrench, jointless ragdolls, chimp muck voices, bullet model change, long arms. Interesting. Well, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. I find it really cool how this was made by the Iron Lung Devs' two other brothers. Yep, Nick. Uh, those are the Szymanski brothers. They are just a powerhouse in game development. And specifically survival horror slash horror game development. Like, I love New Blood Entertainment. So whenever I heard that there was a game being developed by one of the Szymanski brothers that was also survival horror and mascot horror, I needed to check this out immediately. Purple Max donates $5 and says, Man, this ending was beautiful. Now time to play GTA and tell people to oof themselves. Now! I think a piss week for the $2. Yo, Arlo is a VA in this? That's so cool. Yeah, we talked about it at the beginning of the stream. So, I'm kind of conflicted, honestly, because this is a really good introductory survival horror game for people that don't know about the genre, but this is nowhere near like the best survival horror game out there. There's a lot of little kinks that bother me about it, like it, like I'm gonna be a like a nitpicky asshole here, but like the bullets being like, uh, the bullets being projectiles that are shot out from the gun as fast as possible makes for really cool like dynamic projectiles, but they are very unreliable in certain areas. Like there's a lot of areas in this game that are very cramped that have like invisible hitboxes that will plink off the projectiles and will make it so that you don't actually hit the enemy when you're trying to hit them, which is very annoying. There's also the fact that there's some areas that are very, very annoying to get 100% completion on. I have no idea what I missed on the main lobby area. Like I still don't know what is actually missing in the lobby, lobby area and that bothers the shit out of me. There's also, like, the problem of, like, I know that there is a very secret ending in this game. Like, we saw that. Like, we, like you all saw that, right? Like, we, we spent, like, three hours, two hours trying to get, like, a super secret ending that is not available to us. I like that kind of thing, but, ugh, I just wish that it was easier to find because, like, ugh. Like, this feels specifically made for, like, the theory crowd, the... ARG theorist crowd to be able to like open up and like get the super secret ending or whatever is hidden in that room. I just wish that I was like able to get it, but I guess that's just more for like a group of people to figure out, not for a single person to figure out. It is mascot horror after all. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't expect it to have that kind of stuff for mascot horror. Like I, expe I expected it to like have just survival horror with puppet characters. But no, you actually had some ARG Easter egg mascot horror lore, which is unexpected. Uh, ah, it feels unfinished. Like, I feel like I want to play more, but I really can't. Well, I'll probably do it in my own time, though. Uh, there's also the softlock bug that allowed me to throw away the green key during the middle of the game, and if I hadn't reload that save, I would have been just completely shit out of luck. I would have not been able to complete the game if I had thrown away the green key, which is upsetting. A, a survival horror game should not allow you to throw away key items that are, like, key for progression. There's also the fact that it bothers me slightly how janky the game is. Like, th this game needs a lot of polish right now. Like, it it feels like some parts are kind of rushed in some areas. There's a lot of rooms and, like, 
there's a lot of rooms and cabinets that don't seem to have anything in them. Like we went to the projector. Like remember the pro the the conference room? That room only had like two tokens, and it didn't have anything else. Like no notes, no anything. So like, is that because I chose a harder difficulty, or is that because that was just there because because of its own sake, you know? There's also, like, the interactions of the items. Like, it's very hard sometimes to see the tokens. Like, the tokens are very crucial for game completion because it clears up the room whenever you find them. And also because you need to use them for saving and healing. But it is very annoying to have to scour through an entire giant room to find, like, a single pixel of a token in the room, you know? And the bosses themselves weren't really that interesting. Like, after you get the minigun, like, that final boss is trivial. Also, the, the one good thing that I saw about it, though, is that you don't really need to fight it. You can totally just press the lever and then just go around it in circles until the door is open. So that's good, I guess. But I wish that there was more, like bosses like there was an area in the avia the the aviary area that was like a giant boss fountain i was expecting like something to pop out of there but no it's just to give the player like a shit ton of items which is not good for a survival horror game because you need to pace those out in from room to room you can't just give the player like a giant stack of items to help them through the game when you're not going to have a boss like right next to that area like those are bo the bo boss fountains are made for a reason they need to give the player enough resources to get through the boss but aside from that you should not just give them enough resources that the next the rest of the game will be trivial after that hmm what was up with the gigantic eye wall boss yeah i have no idea about that they just kind of showed up in the lobby of the office and then it just I just killed it, and then it just exited out of the of the room. Like, there was no note, or there wasn't any lore that explained what the giant wall boss was. Like, I understand the concept of the puppets seeing TV and getting a little bit mad and angry and fucked up because they get the wrong lessons from TV. That's very good. But what about the giant, multiple-eyed wall boss? That was kind of out of nowhere. Huh. This game definitely does deserve praise, though, and it is definitely one of the best mascot horror games... ever? But that's because it's pulling, like... It's like a... It's like a small fish on a big pond. On a, it's like a big fish on a small pond, you know what I mean? Like, if you take this as a mascot horror game, this is one of the best mascot horror games of all time. If you compare it to other survival horror games like Resident Evil, Signalis, uh, Silent Hill, uh, it falls short in some areas. The balancing was also kind of whack, because now that I think about it, why would you ever need to use the tokens for healing when you can just save scum and just save every single time, isn't saving just, like, infinite health anyways? Like, I was expecting the tokens to have, other, like, more purposes other than saving and healing. Like, maybe you could, like, upgrade your weapons with the tokens, or maybe you could unlock different areas with the tokens. The only other thing that the tokens were used for was for the chocolate bars. But the chocolate bars are so... Useless in gameplay unless you're a speedrunner that I don't really I didn't really see any use for them I think it's because you befriended the bosses no Dave's like I'm pretty sure that you can't fight those guys Can you fight those guys like okay the the bird I'm very sure that you can't fight the bird because the, the bird didn't actually seem that it was gonna kill you Uh. The guy in the piano, I am pretty sure you can't fight the guy in the piano. He is, like, scripted to take you to the top of the tower. Uh, Ray, you can attack Ray when he's, like, near the 
sewer tunnels. The, the sewer tubes, but aside from that, he doesn't really do much to you. Um, the, I guess, Goblet was kind of like an enemy. Yeah, Goblet, but you couldn't really kill Goblet. Goblet was just like a roaming entity in the in the office. And the dogs were a regular enemy that got got up really fast that you could befriend by putting the food on the on the houses. Yeah, no, like those are not bosses. Those are just regular enemies or like scripted sequences. Uh, Purple Max donates five dollars and says, "Honestly, I feel like this game could have benefited from some more horror moments, like with the underground neighborhood or interesting characters." I feel like Ricky was a really interesting character, but he didn't really have enough cutscenes in the game. Like, he had the one in the park that was really interesting, and the ending at the beginning, but aside from that, not much. I would have appreciated if, like, I could speak to Ricky, like, somewhere in, like, through loudspeakers or something around the neighborhood. Uh, I would have appreciated some more horror moments, like, the horrific versions of the neighbors didn't really get anything. Like, I expected that area to be its own survival horror area that you can explore and kill the horrifying horror versions of the puppets. But no, it was just one chase sequence and then you got to the boss of that area. Like, that seemed very rushed. Like, didn't that seem rushed to anybody? We just got one room with the safe room. We went through one hallway and then we got to the boss. And the ver the horror ver versions of the neighbors were just like kind of glimpsed at, like once, and that was it. Uh, David Baron super chats eight Canadian dollars and says, "Just wrapped up the game myself. Such a goofy ass game, lol. The small wall gremlins are easily my favorite." Oh no! Yeah, 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 yeah! Absolutely, David. Like, I I, I am w once again I am nitpicking the hell out of this because I'm a huge survival horror like fan, but. If you look at the, you know, the whole totality of this, this is an absolutely wonderful game. Like, I'm not going to say that this game is shit at all. Like, this is, like, very goofy, very fun. I loved every single area. Everything was very smartly used. There was just, like, these little tiny things that prevented from being, like, one of my favorite survival horror games, you know? If you want to try out the genre that I've been obsessed with for well over my entire life, you should play this. I loved how this game has a positive message. Nothing really evil happened. Just corporate greed and no insane soul shit. Yeah, parad Paradisus. Though, that is, for Mascot Horror, that's always, like, under the surface. Like, I feel like something is going on with the secret messages in the... In the banana room, I guess. And we're just gonna call it the banana room. Like, it feels like there is, like, some secret soul shit going on with the puppets and the uh, the neighborhood and, like, the way that the... that Jerwaltz, like, brought these characters to life. It is also extremely hilarious to me how Gordon just does not question why these puppets are alive. He's just like, yeah, living puppets, yeah, that's cool. Excuse me, can you just, like, take me to the roof? I gotta, I gotta, like, fix this shit. That's it. Like, he didn't really care about why they were alive. That, the, like, the reason as to why these puppets are alive doesn't seem like it matters. It just seemed like they always were alive in this world. It doesn't really need to be. Uh, there doesn't really need to be a reason, honestly. Just, I just find it humorous that, like, the game doesn't even bother to explain why the puppets just are alive. I guess. Hmm. But yeah, Gordon's very chill. Like, I like Gordon. He's one of the best, like, mascot horror protagonists, in my opinion. He just wants to do his job and get the fuck out of there as soon as possible. Also, I love the little cutscenes of Gordon teaching the different puppets, like, actual real life lessons. Like, don't, like, don't, uh, force, uh, your way through a problem, always think of how to properly fix things instead of just bashing uh, stuff into place. Uh, you, um, 
like it's okay to feel different like while looking in the mirror like uh what, what other lessons were there have you messed hey, David. with freecam mode yet dev forgot to disable achievements for it According to Steam, I beat max difficulty in Jesus. 46 seconds S plus LOL. I have not. I literally just beat the game right now, and I'm a bit miffed that he didn't get 100%. Gordon got his priorities straight. Exactly, Tony. What was the what were the lessons like? Uh, Gordon taught Ray that it's okay to take a step back and actually try to fix a problem instead of, like, bashing stuff. Uh, taught the bird to... Be okay with its reflection. Uh, I just, I guess he just gave the dog some food. Uh, helped out the guy with the piano. Uh, there was one other one that I forgot. Oh yeah, uh, taught uh, Gobliet that it's okay to be sad sometimes. Those are good lessons, you know. Thank you, Purple Max, for the five dollars. Honestly, putting it into my own review, the stud review, it's an eight. 5, barely 9 studs. A good game, but could have been more than shoot Kermit. I like the message. Like, I like that there's, like, an actual message behind this game. The story seems to have actually have a point to it. You know how most mascot horror games are like, Ooh, I wonder who possessed the Sploinky Doinky, and I wonder what's really going on behind the scenes. Woo! Find out in chapter 3500. Woo! Like, no, this game actually has a purpose to it. It actually has a message that it wants to give out. I very much respect that over like, Ooh, find the pieces of the puzzle to solve wh which character was the one that did the, the, the dick punch of 37. Like, this actually has a point to it, which I like very much. Anyways, I think that's about it. Uh, very, very good work. The game is definitely rough around the edges. I would probably change some stuff to, like, adjust the difficulty, adjust the balance of the game uh, for, like, survival horror um, fans. But... Uh, oh, and the weapons are definitely very annoying to use sometimes. But overall, this was a wonderful time. Definitely not at my top favorite survival horror games of all time, but if you want to have an introductory game for a person looking to get into the genre, absolutely play this first. This is an excellent way of getting into survival horror. Thank you, this is for the $2. Also, the last letter sounded like Mr. Rogers. What? Thank you. Anyways, I think that's about it. That's about all I can say. I will see you guys on Sunday with Nicholas, with Nick. Uh, we'll be playing some uh, fighting games, and we're gonna get pissed drunk! Hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And once again, Season 4 will start up in October. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye!